You know, some of you laughed at me when I came up with that fantastic poem to remind you what times the streams are. You were all, no, Josh, it's not going to work. No one will remember the poem. Who's, who's laughing now? Who's, yeah, see, told you it would work. You come up with a good poem, it works, straight up, guaranteed. Some of you are like, no, Josh, it's a silly idea, silly idea. No. Right, listen, all right? First of all, well, yeah, back in Morrowind. We're back in Morrowind. We're going to carry on the stream, push to Morrowind. I hope you guys can remember the plot, because I cannot. So you're going to need to remind me what's going on. For those of you who are new, uh, welcome. If you have seen the Dawn of War video, which did remarkably well, I'm really happy with that, then thank you very much for watching that. Hopefully you enjoyed it. What will the next Was It Good be? Don't know. Working it out as we're going on now. What will the next Worst MMO ever be? Uh, I'm actually in the middle of playing that. I was playing that earlier today. We'll be playing that tomorrow. So that will be coming out hopefully next Saturday. That should be the plan. But people, people laughed at me. If you are new, remember that the Twitch streams now have a set time every week. On Saturdays, I will stream at 7 o'clock until late. We'll just go into the evening. And on Sundays, I'll stream at 4 o'clock until late. We'll just go into the evening. And if you can't quite remember, Saturdays at 7 o'clock and Sundays at 4, I've come up with a handy-dandy poem that you can just remember, and that will give you the timings. So the poem is Saturdays at 7 and Sundays at 4. That's the poem. If you remember that, then you're pretty much going to be spot on for the timings. It does require you to work on, you know, UK-based time, but I just assume that the rest of the world does that anyway. I I kind of have a very British-centric view. When someone says to me, other time zones, I'm like, oh, <laughs> you silly. You silly Billy, you, you silly goose. Everywhere works on English time and specifically related to English time. Because people are always like, you know, three hours ahead of England, four hours. I think what happened was in the 19, I think it was 40s. You can check this, I might be wrong. But I think in the 1940s, England actually invented time. And it, before that, chaos, absolute chaos. No one was ever on time for anything. No one knew what was going on. Everyone was late, although they, well, they would have been had there been a concept of time. But no one was actually either late or early or on time. And in the 1940s, all of us went, you know what? This is just silly. We need to put a stop to this now and work out when people need to be places. So it took us about a weekend, but we invented time. And I think it's one of the best things we've given the world, without a doubt. You're welcome, by the way. So yes, Saturdays at 7, Sundays at 4, and we will be playing Morrowind. You laughed at my poem. You laughed. But I suppose every great poemist gets laughed at when they created a work of art. All, all great rhymists were mocked in their day. Eminem, Jesus. That's it. That's all of them. Um, oh, whoever wrote the, the Green Giant jingle for Sweet Corn, they were pretty... They were pretty bang on with what they worked as well. Where is the book? I thought Saturday was the book day. Listen, if we only spend, like, five hours every week playing Morrowind, this game is going to take years to finish. So we need to very much push through this. Good old William Shakespeare, he wrote a poem or two. Right, so we very much need to push through Morrowind and finish it. I do not have enough magicka to cast my spear spell, so I, I can't rest when enemies are nearby, so we must now continually just rest until I can cast... There we go. Okay, so, F5 quick save. We've got to kill some stuff down here. Let's go quickly. They, yeah, get your attention. Just remember that... Oh, nearly died. About to. Oh, my God. Okay, that's... Ooh, goodness me. That is some very, very tight health we've got going on just there. Oh, that's just... I'm going to pop back through this door. Have a little bit of a... A little bit of a rest until healed. Ooh, that was a bit too close for me. Let's let's not do that again. So for those of you who are just joining us, welcome. Uh, with luck, you'll get to level three today. Let's not push it. All right. Let's. You want the volume up, do you? You want the game to be louder? My, you, God, you you are demanding you lot. You really are. Hang on. I do everything for you. Okay. The game is now louder. There you go. Copyright strikes incoming for the music. You are welcome. 
Wondering your thought. My wife and me had a discussion. Interesting. Okay, let's just hang on. Spy Wolf Text put a, an interesting thing up in the chat. We'll go through it. Ooh. My English class would let us use song lyrics for the poetry unit as long as no plagiarizing. Yep, yeah, H-Bomber guy would be proud. That's impossible with sampling. I just watched the Name the Song vid that I lost due to all the songs being from remakes and remakes and remakes. There is nothing new under the sun, and there is nothing new in Hollywood, and ultimately everything is a remake of a remake of a remake of a remake, of a, remake uh, of a rehash, if you will. So that kind of harkens back to the whole Ice Ice Baby thing, where they just take the opening riff from Under Pressure, and when you play those two, they're just exactly the same, and you cannot tell them apart. Do you think that when something is taking inspiration from, or... You know, just directly paying homage to something else, they are effectively trying to ride on the coattails of the success of something previous. If something takes something else and improves upon it and uses the foundation that was built to make something that can only exist because you are improving it and it was solid to begin with, that's when it's pretty good. Is this going to turn into a Pal World talk? It is now. Uh, no, in all seriousness, it's going to turn into a Morrowind talk, okay? We are a Morrowind family here, guys. This is a- we're a Morrowind stream, and even though we may just make slow progress... Oh, nearly died again. Definitely died. There we go. Okay. Yes, we- There'll be a lot of quick saving and quick loading in this stream, so please don't- Don't get annoyed at that. It's gonna happen. Just deal with it. Okay. Hang on. God damn it, it hit the thing. Hang on, where's my spear gone? Bound spear. There it is, there's my spear. Okay, cool, that's dead. Quick save. Josh, I'm 30 minutes late. Could you please start the stream from the beginning? Yes, I can. Uh, this is it. This is the beginning. It's fine. This is all it is. Glad to see the schedule is back in order. Missed your stream last weekend. So, I wasn't streaming last weekend because I had to go to a stag party. It was... Oh, lads, lads, lads. Lads on tour. Oh, yeah. Crazy. It was mental. Uh, we spent about four hours playing Ticket to Ride uh, in an Airbnb, and that got very intense. Very intense, because I, in the first game, took the tunnel, which is very important when you play the European version of Ticket to Ride. And then in the next game, somebody else, they took the tunnel, which was not on. You know, it's, you don't do that. You, you just don't do that. It's not, that's just not cricket, as they say. So what am I doing again in the, what am I trying to do here? I, hang on, let's just have a quick check of what the hell we were actually doing. Where's our journal? Okay, uh, options quests. The Fighters Guild, the code book. That was it. Address Fire asked me to code book, not that one. Um, let's just find the other, the other quest that we were on. We were on a quest somewhere, weren't we? Was it the Mage? Beauty and the Bandit? No. The Dark Brotherhood, the Imperial Legion. What quest were we doing? We, we were in a, uh, we're in a mine for something. Was it, oh, the Imperial Legion, that was it. Yeah, her husband. That was it. Widow Vabdas. Her husband was killed in the Nisus egg mine, and we had to go to the Nisus egg mine because apparently it's a little bit weird and stuff's going a bit, you know, wrong. And we're here now, and it turns out that actually a load of the the Legion, which I thought are only the good guys, are doing something dodgy. The Legion are doing something dodgy. I have so many Command and Conquer sound bites. Oh, Command and Conquer was great. The world of sampling is super interesting. Oh, with the fact that you just take a sound and it gets used again and again and again. Should have strong-armed the widow. Look, we are... We're playing morally correct here, okay? We are the morally... We're the morally superior bunch. We are making the right choices. You remember every single detail in Morrowind. I love Morrowind. I very, very much do love Morrowind. I think it's... It's a better RPG than Skyrim and Oblivion. I'm gonna keep... Casting until I get my spear. Because if I don't get my bound spear, I very much just don't really have a defense so we just keep going until the bound spear is successful what's down here oh that's the queen okay hello queenie uh you're not aggressive so i'm not going to attack you that's fine you just kind of hang out chill relax do whatever you're doing 
Kwama eggs and leave those alone. Yeah, because there were some, some thieves and stuff stealing them. I have no reason to kill you. I'm not going to kill you. See, you're just, just hanging out, doing your own thing. Just having a good time. You are... Okay, cool. Yep, the Kwama... Wo diseased Kwama worker. Interesting. Josh, today you're on my bigger monitor. My goodness. I don't know if I'm ready for that. Can we sleep in someone's bed? They've got drinks. I'm going to take them. I want these. What do they do? I'm going to drink them. What do they do? Flynn. If I was Flynn, what would I do? I would... Hang on. What's what's happened? We now need to work out what the hell has come from the Flynn. Oh! Fortify attribute. Willpower and strength. Both from Flynn. Fantastic. All right. Okay, Flynn's a good thing to drink. We're going to have more of that, guys. This is great. We're going to drink more Flynn. Borrowing's Josh's 4K monitor, Josh. Oh, an underground cavern system. Now, I know it's quite dark, so I will... I was going to say, I will at some point get a light spell, but we've just been approached immediately by a ghost. Do not fear me, Argonian. Listen, and I will tell you how I was murdered by Lugrub. Grow Ogdom. Ah, this is Mansilmat Vabdas. This is the guy who got murdered and then they're harassing his widow. So we may have actually found the ghost of the guy that we were sent to talk to. Inter land deed. Tell me about the land deed. Do not let them take my lands. Avenge my death and let my wife live in peace. Alright, I'm on board with this. On the same level. Lubgrub. Tell me about Lubgrub. Lugrub, sorry. I came to the mines to fetch fresh Kwama eggs for my family. Lugrub Gro Ogdom was sleeping, and I snuck past him. When I found enough eggs, I went back the way I came, only this time Lugrub was awake. Lugrub murdered me, so no one would know he failed his duty. He dropped the broken axe he used next to my body in the water behind me. A broken axe, you say? Take the axe from the water behind me as proof of Lugrug's crimes. Well... Okay, like, that's very circumstantial evidence. I appreciate that you're a ghost, that you've been killed, you want me to pop into the water and find an axe, but can we just agree that finding an axe, it's not really proof of anything. It's just an axe. You could have put that there. Any, don't say DNA, all right? We're not doing CSI Tamriel. That's not how this is going to work. CSI Vardenfell is a couple of seasons behind where we need to be. I do, however, have water breathing for 120 seconds on self. So, let's water breathe. Right, now let's find an axe somewhere. There apparently is an axe somewhere in... Aha! Oh, there it... Hello. There's your body. Lugrub's axe. Taken. What do you have on you? You've got clothes. You know what? I'm not gonna... I'm, I'm gonna let you die in dignity. I'm not going to steal your clothes. And that is not something I will say often to people. So I've done you a, a great favour there. You can keep that. I have found Lugrub's axe. It's not a bad axe. You know, it's, it's an alright axe. I'll, uh... I would use that axe. So what about going this way? Hey, I, uh, I found the axe. You have heard my story. Do what you will. Got the broken axe, mate. Show the axe to Darius. You know what? I will, but I'm going to go this way across the cavern to see what's out this way. As long as you don't disturb his pole arm. Hey, he's dead. All right? He's dead. We're not going to do that to him. Make sure he has a good life. I'm going to get my axe out, however. Yeah. Got a spear. Oh. Remember, the Kwama workers, they're chill. You're just doing the thing. You don't need to attack them. Let them do it. Show the axe to Darius, the singer from Pop Stars. Yes, he had a, a varied career after the Pop Stars fame kind of died down, and he decided that the best thing for him to do was to eventually just start working. In can we jump? It's a shame you can't jump and swing. Yes, Darius decided to just look after a Kwama mine. A quick save before I try and jump this. Yeah. Oh, whoa. Do we? Did we? Can we? Are we going to? I'm jumping a lot. We'd, I'd refuse to give up. Never stop, never stopping, guys. Come on. It's just... Whoa. Whoa. 
Okay, now we're out of stamina, so we're going to take a minute. We're going to wait. We've got to believe in ourselves. We really do got to believe. So I'm going to need some some support here. Quick save a couple of times. Damn it. No, no. Oh, maybe. This got us closer. That was a little... Okay, no, that was worse. That was very much a fall down kind of thing. What? Why are we being pushed back by the wood? Never let the wood... No, God, no. Now we've totally failed and fallen down everywhere. Oh, that was not what I expected it to be. Okay, cool. So we can't... We can't leave this way. What about... Is there anything this way? Any kind of secrets? Let's just see what we can find. There might be... Oh, there's a tunnel. I don't think there's anything down here that we really need, to be honest. And I... While I do know water breathing, I can only use my innate water breathing skill once a day. I do have a water breathing spell, but I... Oh, God, there's a fish. Hang on. I'm not very good at fighting, so just... Oh, now I need some breath. Right, let me just spear this fish to death. This is the the thrilling gameplay that you all come here for. I know it is. Can you imagine if I die? Okay, I'm very much trying. Oh, God, breath. Oh, nearly drowned. Ne ne <laughs> nearly died. We've gained medium armor by being bit by a fish. This is classic Morrowind. I am going to put the water breathing spell on, so I think I only have, what a... Okay, the chance is 13%. So I have a 13% chance to cast this spell. Now, do remember that Morrowind has a really weird way of training spells up. If you successfully cast a spell, you gain experience in that school. It doesn't matter how much mana you spent on the spell. So if you spend 100 mana and succeed, great, you gain a little experience. If you spend 1 mana and succeed, great, you gain experience. So one of the best ways to train skills is to just make a spell that's really cheap to cast and then constantly, repeatedly try and cast it. This fish is absolutely wrecking me, so I'm going to try and get out the water. Give myself the advantage. I can't. I'm, I'm stuck in the water. Me and this fish. We're going to have a bit of a, bit of a thing. All right, give me your scales. Not all of them. I can't get out the water. I have not put all my... I can, there we go. Some points into athletics. Oh, hello. I've... I've randomly stumbled upon some kind of book. The Ransom of Zarek. You have gained knowledge from this book. Your athletics skill increases to 54. Do we just randomly... Jail Mill stood in her garden and read the letter her servant had brought her. The bouquet of Joss roses in her hand fell to the ground. For a moment, it was as if all birds had ceased to sing and a cloud had passed over the sky. Her carefully cultivated and structured haven seemed to flood over with darkness. We have thy son, it read. We will be in touch with thee shortly with our ransom demands. Zarek had never made it as far as Akgun after all. One of the brigands on the roads, orcs probably, or a cursed Dunmer, must have seen his well-appointed carriage and taken him hostage. Are we continuing on? Are we going with the entire thing? You just got the buff from opening a book. Just boom, straight away. What it was, it was a very tough book, and it took a lot of... The Book of Gains, that's what it was. I see. Jail Mill clutched at a post for support, wondering if her boy had been hurt. He was but a student, not the sort to fight against well-armed men, but had they beaten him? It was more than a mother's heart could bear to imagine. Don't tell me they sent the ransom note so quickly. Called a family voice and a familiar face. Appeared through the hedge. It was Zarek. Jail Mill hurried to embrace her boy, tears running down her face. What happened, she cried. I thought thou had been kidnapped. I was, said Zarek. Three huge, soaring nords attacked by carriage on the... Firm Vo Frimvorn Pass. Thanks, Todd, for making all these words so difficult. The Frimvorn Pass. Brothers, as I learned, named Matthias, Ulin, and Korg. Thou should have seen these men, Mother. Each of them would have trouble fitting through the front door, I can tell thee. What happened? Jailmill repeated. Were thou rescued? I thought about waiting for that, but I knew they'd send off a ransom note, and I knew how thou dost worry, so I remembered what my mentor at Aggun always said about remaining calm, observing thy surroundings, and looking for thy opponent's weakness. Zarek grinned. It took a while, though. 
because these fellows were truly monsters. And then, when I listened to them, bragging to one another, I realized that vanity was their weakness. What did thou do? They had me chained at their camp in the woods, not far from Kale, on a high knoll overlooking a wide river. I heard one of them, Korg, telling the other brothers that it would take the better part of an hour to swim across the river and back. They were nodding in agreement when I spoke up. I could swim that river and back in thirty minutes, I said. Impossible, said Korg. I can swim faster than a little whelp like thee. So it was agreed that we would dive off the cliff, swim to the center island, and return. As we went to our respective rocks, Korg took it upon himself to lecture me about the fine points of swimming, the importance of synchronized movements of arms and legs for maximum speed, how essential it was to breathe af after only third or fourth stroke. Not too often to slow thyself down, but not too often to lose one's air. I nodded and agreed to all his fine points. Then we dove off the cliffs. I made it to the island and back in a little over an hour, but Korg never returned. He had dashed his brains on the rocks at the base of the cliff. I had noticed the telltale undulations of underwater rocks and had taken the diving rock at the right. But thou returned, Jailmill astounded. Was that not when thou escaped? It was too risky to escape then, said Zarek. They could have easily called me again, and I wasn't keen to be blamed for Korg's disappearance. I said I did not know what had happened to him, and after some searching, they decided he had forgotten about the race and had swum ashore to hunt for food. They could not see how I could have anything to do with his disappearance, as fully visible as I was throughout my swim. The two brothers began making camp along the rocky cliff edge, picking an ideal location so that I would not be able to escape. Anders, thank you very much for the gifted subs. Remarkably kind of you. Welcome to the stream. One of the brothers, Matthias, began commenting on the quality of the soil and the gradual incline of the rock that circled around the bay below. Ideal, he said, for a foot race. I expressed my ignorance of the sport, and he was keen to give me details of proper technique for running a race. He made absurd faces, showing how one must breathe in through the nose and out through the mouth, how to bend one's knee to the proper angle on the rise, the importance of sure foot placement. Most important, he explained, was that the runner keep an aggressive but not too strenuous pace if one intends to win. It's fine to run in second place through the race, he said, provided one has the willpower and strength to pull out in the end. I was an enthusiastic student, and Matthias decided that we ought to run a quick race around the edge of the bay before nightfall. Ulin told us to bring back some firewood when we came back. We began at once down the path, skirting the cliff below. I followed his advice about breath, gait, and foot placement, but I ran with all my power right from the start. Despite his much longer legs, I was a few paces ahead as we wound the first corner. I didn't even make a joke about the line, willpower and strength to pull out in the end. I'm growing as a human, as a person. See? I've evolved. I'm better than I was before. Previous Josh would have made a joke about that, would have spun it into a whole 20, 30 second segment. But I wouldn't do that anymore. I'm better than that. With his eyes on my back, Matthias did not see the gape in the rock that I jumped over. He plummeted over the cliff before he had a chance to cry out. I spent a few minutes gathering some twigs before I returned to Ulin at camp. Is this guy just killing these dudes, like, indiscriminately? I bet this is a complete lie. Also, I'm pretty sure nobody has ever read this book before, so I'm very excited to read it to all of you. Now thou were just showing off, frowned Jail Mill. Surely that would have been a good time to escape. Thou might think so, agreed Zarek, but thou had to see the topography, a few large trees, and then nothing but shrubs. Ulin would have noticed my absence and caught up with me in no time, and I would have had a hard time explaining Matthias's absence. However, the brief forage around the area allowed me to observe some of the trees up close, and I could formulate my final plan. When I got back to camp with a few twigs, I told Ulin that Matthias was slow coming along, dragging a large dead tree behind him. Ulin scoffed at his brother's strength, saying it would take him time to pull up a live tree by the roots and drop it by the bonfire. I expressed reasonable doubt. I'll show thee, he said, ripping up a ten-foot-tall specimen effortlessly. That's barely a sapling, I thought, objected. I thought thou could rip up a tree. His eyes followed mine to a magnificent, heavy-looking one at the edge of the clearing. Ulin grabbed it and began to shake it with tremendous force to loosen its roots from the dirt. With that, he loosened the hive from the uppermost branches, dropping it down onto his head. That 
was when I made my escape, mother, said Zarak in conclusion, showing a little schoolboy pride. While Matthias and Krug were at the base of the cliff and Ulim was flailing about engulfed by a swarm, Jailmill embraced her son once more. Publishers note, I was reluctant to publish the works of Maribor's soul, but when the University of Gwimlim Press asked me to edit this edition, I decided to use this as an opportunity to set the record straight once and for all. Scholars do not agree on the exact date of Maribor's soul's work, but it is generally agreed they were written by the playwright Gore famous for popular comedies and romances during the integrum between the fall of the first Cyrillic Empire and the rise of Tiber Septim. Are we going to... is that... there's notes? I don't need publishers' notes. It was a fun little story. That's all I need now. And they... Okay, so this dude was like... So he died, but he died reading a great story. And we have a burned-out torch. I'm going to take that. That might be useful. Which way were we going? <laughs> what were we doing again? I can't remember. Just finished the VOD. Great timing. Welcome to the stream. Hopefully you're all having a lovely time. I want to know the notes. Look, you don't get everything. All right? If I... if Take the book. I could just take the book, couldn't I? It might be important. Maybe I could sell it later. I might read it later to myself. I have a fancy of reading it again. I'm just going to take the whole thing. Sweet. The book is mine now. Let's continue onwards. Um, that is a fish that I successfully killed. So now we can swim this way. Oh, there's a door. An underwater door. Can we go in? It's a door to Nisus. But I'm guessing it just... Oh. Intro. Oh, God, a fish. Hang on. I am actually quite low on health, so that got us outside. And where are we? First of all, can we just appreciate the fish are really scary in this game? Right, we're outside. Let me just... Oh my god, the Argonian swimming animation. My goodness. Like a windscreen wiper. This is one of those annoying games where if you want to have the camera above the water but not have the character swim down, you have to kind of really carefully position it exactly like that. Okay, so now we are here. So Nisus is over there and we've just... Oh, I guess you can enter the mine through the underwater bit. Simple. We need to go and show this captain something. We need to show the captain the thing that we've got. I'm quick nap. Hang on. Rest until healed. There we go. We need to show the captain the axe that we got to prove that the dude was killed. Out of quick save by now. We I quick save a lot. I'm pressing F5 all the time. It is the most used key on the keyboard, without a doubt. Oh, goodness, hang on. More more combat. More exciting underwater combat. Yeah. Nobody messes with me and my spear. Yeah, he might have just drowned near an axe. You don't know this. You have absolutely... The best part of the game, the music is too quiet. Hang on. There we go. Slightly louder for you now. You're welcome. Hey, man, what quest are we on? We are doing the Legion quest at the minute, and I believe we have just... This is the whole quest about the woman's... The widow wanting to keep the land... Her husband has been killed, the land deed has been sorted out, and we need to... May your kills be quick, and many! Thank you, Dolgro. Let me go chat to... the captain. Darius, wasn't it? Where's Darius? If I could choose a zone in Tamriel to live, where would it be? I'd probably live in Mournhold, but without the whole plague thing. Right, Darius was, if I remember correctly, downstairs in a some kind of big building. Where the hell was Darius? This is why I've got you guys helping me. The trade house? Is he in the trade house? Morrowind's graphics might not hold up, but the atmosphere does. Without a doubt. Okay, the atmosphere very much holds up. Darius is in... Oh, yeah, he's downstairs in the trade house. Why are I, you away from your post? Why am I away from my post? I would argue, but the fact that you are just levitating means that you are above me in the hierarchy. I've not yet learned the levitation secret. Fight well. Yo, Darius, Why are you we gotta, away from your post? We gotta have a chat, dude. So, I have found this axe. Lugrub Grow Ogdom. Lugrub's one of my best soldiers, though he's sometimes rash and quick to anger. Uh, can I show you this axe that I've got on me? 
Where is the axe? Right, let me just... I've got to... Do I have to equip it or something? Report on the land deed. Oh, there we go, land deed. Vabdas was murdered. Murdered? Do you have any proof? What kind of proof do you have? Uh, I had a chat with a ghost. I don't care if you saw the ghost of Tiber Septim. I can't tell the Legion officers in Cyrodiil that I condemned a soldier to death because you talked to a ghost? Okay, right. Get this. The ghost told me there was an axe. There was. There you go, here's an axe. Yes, this is Lubgrub's axe. I can see how it's been damaged from hitting bone here and here. With this, I have no choice but to believe your story. Lugrub Gro Ogdom is an outlaw. Find him and kill him. Then justice will be served. All right. You know where he is? <laughs> well, yeah, I'll go and get him. Straight up. Um, hang on. Oh. So I just talked to him again. So, you killed Lubgrub. Good. Now the... I did. Convenient. It, it's a shock to both of us, mate. All right, we're both very impressed. Clearly, in part of my murder hobo phase, I just happened to kill him along the way. The axe was signed. Lubgrub was here. Now the widow Vabdas is avenged and justice has been served. I have more orders for you. Are we just not going to take the land deed from her now? Does she get to keep that? I'm okay with that. Cool. Uh, more orders for us. You've proven yourself so far. Perhaps you can help with the Nisus egg mine. I've literally just been there. The egg mine was closed recently because of the risk of spreading the blight. But the miners here need the egg mine to support their families. Find the blighted Kwama queen and cure her. Either cast a cure blight spell or speak with Hetman Blibibli, who has scrolls of cure blight. Okay, so a cure blight spell. I'm not a wizard. I don't know where you could learn the spell Cure Blight, but I've gotten scrolls of Cure Blight from Herman the blah, 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 blah. Perhaps here's someone knows where you can get some. Scrolls are more reliable anyway. Oh, ye of little faith. Are we going to... Well, I'm going to go and learn Cure Blight. Yes. What is it? And then I'm going to cast Cure Blight on that queen. I like the fact that it's an RPG game, and there aren't that many RPG games where you absolutely need to cast magic. In fact, very few. The fact that you can become Skyrim's kind of master wizard by just casting the most basic of magic to get into it, and then you can rise all the way to the top of owning the entire thing. It, it's silly. It really is silly. Right, what I need now is the local map, and I need to find the Wizards Guild. If I were a Wizards Guild, where would I be? Surely I would have, like, a big hanging banner out the front that says Wizard Guild. These are some sad houses. They're giant shells, I believe, aren't they? Or is that the other one? That's Old Ruin, it might be. Right, Wizard's Guild, where would they be? You do need yes. to play Morrowind again. What is it? This is the, the Dunmer Temple. Oh, that's probably what I teleported to. If I were a wizard... I can just take the Silt Strider, can't I? That's what I'll do. I'll take the Silt Strider. And that'll take me somewhere. Yeah, exactly. That's a perfect way of putting it there, Chris. Magic Novice, I cast Firebolt. Grand Magus, I cast Firebolt again, but more. More fiery and bolty than before. Right, travel. Let's go to... There is definitely a Mages Guild in Old Rune. So we can travel to Old Rune. I should be able to find the Mages Guild from here. We need to create a spell. One of the cool things in Morrowind is you can actually make your own spells. We have travelled all the way to Old Ah, oh, that's the Mage's Guild symbol, the I. Now I know where I am. You shouldn't be here. Why not, Lewis? Oh, um, hi, hello, that's nice to meet you. No, you didn't meet you, Lusty. Uh, for a second, I th thought you were at the courier with a message that is with word of my, uh, my, my airship. Wait, is that it? Uh, up in the sky there? No, 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 that's just a clear phrase. Um, yes, your airship. Tell me, Louis, about your airship. I built an airship, you see. It's quite a beautiful craft, and if I may be so bold, some scavenged dwemer and parts, a few, you know, long-lasting levitation spells. Very, very clever. A capital idea, I know. Even hired a gang of 
uh, well, a crew, I guess you'd call them. Uh, they were to fly far to the north, uh, away from all this dust, to Solstheim. Uh, I paid them, paid them rather well. Uh, they were to locate Rothman's Barrow and find a certain um, item. Mate, tell me about Rothman's Barrow. Rothman's Barrow was grave, well, crypt. It is said to lie, that is, the, the barrow is at the eye of uh, the wolf. There's a formation, you see, rock, ice, that sort of thing, shaped like a, a wolf. Uh, the wolf that killed Rothman is said to be uh, entombed at the wolf's eye. It's only visible from the sky, or as well, an airship, that's why I built it. You know, I build the airship, hire the crew, they find the barrow and recover the amulet, and they bring it to me. Perfect plan. I thought uh, that, yeah, they would recover a special amulet, according to stories, legends and such. Rothman was quite the, uh, well, had plenty of lady friends. Uh, he was ugly, uh, too ugly as a troll, but he had a magic trinket. He wore it, the Amulet of Infectious Charm, it was called. Uh, uh, by all records, he was buried with it. That's why I built the airship. I had the crew. I just, I, I must have the amulet, Lusty, but there's, there's been no word. I fear the crew has failed me. Crew has failed you. Did they? They fl Okay, right. This dude has an amulet that lets him bang people, despite the fact that he be fugly. I'm dropping all quests, and this is now the focus. This is all we're doing. Did they fly? Of course. Maybe, maybe they found the amulet and they flew away to, to meet women. No fair maiden could resist a man with the amulet of infectious charms in an airship, no less. Say, lusty. I, I don't suppose you're well for hire. I mean, I might be, but not the way you're thinking. But we can go the way you're thinking for now, and then we'll come back to other ways. Um, I would pay you greatly to find my airship. I need proof of what happened to it, of course. Evidence, as you would just, just to be sure. And of course, bring me the, uh, the amulet. I need the amulet. You have a deal, Louis. I'll head to Solstheim. I'll bring back some evidence that shows what happened to your airship, and I'll recover the amulet of infectious charm. Now, Morrowind has a thing where it names items kind of in a bit of a paradoxical, jokey way. Is it going to be an infection? Like an actual full-on infection? It might be that. The Kwama Queen. Forgot about her. Don't even care. You know, totally gone. Did somebody... Um, I've seen... Some people have uh, put some bits in, so thank you very much for that. Remarkably kind of you. And someone said that they have redeemed an adder boy. I will double check that later and send you a message if you had. Yeah, this is just the amulet of STDs. That's what it is. It would be called the amulet of crabs. Does it make you look sick? Like in the cool way? Like in the cool 90s way with like a skateboard and a bandana? I'm sh my millennial is showing because when someone says they look sick, that's where my brain goes to. It's like a very Bart Simpson kind of family friendly version of sick. Like fat with a PH. That's what it is. That's how millennial I am. You have a deal, Louis. I'll go to Sol's time. Oh, that's that, that's fine. I, I understand, Lusty. Well, wait, did you say you'd help me? Why, that's a splendid. I mean, wonderful. As, as I said, the airship was headed north to Sol's time. The amulet of infectious charm is, well, it's supposed to be at, uh, that is Rothman's Barrow, the eye of the beast, the wolf, I mean. But you must say that the wolf's name, to enter, say, on Jake. Answer wrong, and the barrow will be forever sealed right so go north to Solstheim. how do we get there frozen island up north right sounds awful to me uh, if you're looking to get there you might check for transportation in cool okay cool right so how do we get to cool nothing matters now apart from this this is the only thing that's important we gotta we gotta get to cool somehow yo guard Hey, um, you Solstein. Terrible place. There's a boat from Cool. if you have any reason to go. How do I... Where's Cool? Silt Strider. Can we just take a Silt Strider to Cool? Might be able to. Let's find out. First you've got to find Cool, Then you can become sick. Solstheim, that's not the expansion pack, is it? I'm just... I'm double checking that we're not immediately jumping into the... Is it the expa... Yeah, we're doing the expansions right now. Okay, so this is the Blood Moon expansion pack, isn't it? Is that wise to do the Blood Moon expansion pack? Because enemies in Morrowind are not scaled. They are really, really hard. Like, this is super high-level stuff. I fear we may die, like, immediately. So I think what we should probably do is that kind of goes on the back burner for a bit. But don't get me wrong, we, we do go back to it. The Patchwork Airship. Yes, Soul's time. We go back to that eventually, but for now, 
we learn to do the thing. We, we make a spell. We go make a spell. <laughs> you may die, but it's a risk I'm willing to take. We need the scroll of cure blight. Do we need a scroll or do we need a spell right. of I'm cure blight? Because I could just make a spell. Training for the right prize. Spells. Uh, where's cure blight? None of that is what I need. Okay, cool. One of you will have a cure blight spell somewhere. Spells. You don't need an amulet. I believe in your charms. Thank you. Riz later. Medicine now. Yes. Yes. At this pace, we'll never get to blood moon level. Look, we'll get there slowly. Right, we'll get there. Someone may need to tell me where I can get the cure blight spell from. I will not be using kind of guides, but you guys will be helping me. So who sells cure blight? What is it? Blood. What do you want? This is the vanilla game of the year edition with a widescreen mod and a couple of graphical mods. But as far as kind of mechanics go, nothing has changed. Hit chance is exactly the same as it would always be. Someone in a temple. Right, so we can check the shouldn't be here. We can check the temple. Why do people keep telling me that I shouldn't be here? Speak, traveler. No, I'm good. Speak, traveler. Ye no. Hey, do you sell cure blood? Any time now. No. Let's try a temple. It's also not a low-level spell. Right, okay, Quickly so it's actually quite a high-level spell. Much time. So we should probably buy a scroll of cure blight. And who sold them? Who was selling the scroll? My Training? athletics has increased. Fantastic. Okay. Who was selling Can the you scrolls? Ask your question quickly. Because the scroll wasn't even in this place, was it? It was back in the other place. Do they react worse because you're an Argonian? They might do. They very much might do. Hey, guard. Appreciate you being here. Um, kind of need some cure blight stuff going on. We're gonna. Maybe I'll just get the Silt Strider back. If you're expecting fast-paced gameplay, this is the wrong stream. Uh, travel to... We could have cool. We could. Travel to Nisus, because that's where we need to be for the actual quest. Why walk when you can ride? I do love that soundbite. That is a good soundbite right there. Is that a mini-map for ants? Look, I have already increased the scale of this. I will listen, Outlander, but make it quick. Yo, uh, egg mine. Yes... Scroll down. Someone in particular. Ah, uh, that was the dude. Hetman is a village. There we go. Where do we find that dude? The Velothi Dunmer Hetman. And yeah, he... where do I find him? Where is he? Just thanks. You've told me what they are, but I have no idea where they are. Telus Salvani in Balmora spells it. Does what someone do in Nisus sell it? Somebody in Nisus should be able to sell it. Have I thought about doing radio commercials? I would love to. I would love to. If a radio wants to pop over to me and be like, yo, say this. Where would... Was it this dude? Hey. Hetman, how's it going, man? Uh, Barter, you need to sell me a scroll of cure blight. Maybe it wasn't this dude. Oh, there we go. Scroll of Daria's Blessing. Cure Blight in 10 foot on target. I need you to sell me... Let's buy just one of them. Total cost 114. Would you accept 113? Art of the deal. Art of the gosh darn deal right there. Follow me for more financial advice. Not a financial advisor, not financial advice, unless you are playing Morrowind, in which case I will be able to save you one coin. Straight up. Citizen. Guard. Speak, traveler. I will save you one coin, if you ever need that. All right, we can go this way, I believe. I will hold you to that. Yeah, we've got Mercantile XP right there. One whole coin. Straight up Mercantile. Because, you know what? When it comes to business, I am ruthless. I am. I am absolutely ruthless. I used to have a secretary called Ruth. Do not have her anymore. 
That's the level of puns you can expect by joining and staying on this stream. Just so you're aware of where we all are. Okay, that's that's the, the vibe that we're going. Isn't the mind the other way? In many ways, yes. In other ways, okay, yes, yeah, so it was the other way. The mine was on the hill, wasn't it? I remember the hill. I should probably buy some kind of like fortify speed potions or some go faster juice. We do have a matured humor. I thought it was a good joke, all right? I straight up thought it was a good joke. Our dad joke's part of the Dilf arc. That's how you know you're in the arc. Straight up. I mean, I will never, I don't ever want to be a dad, but I am preparing the jokes just in case. Very much preparing. So it wasn't this way, was it? wasn't up there either. Where the hell was the mine? I think it was up there. Let's go up there and find out. Past those lights. Was it up this way? Past... Ah, maybe I should be on there. Up there and over there. Can I go up and around this way? Use my amazing climbing hills skill. Yep, we got it. Skyrimmed our way up. We're all fine. I know what I'm doing now. Let's just keep it going this way. I'm reading the uh, chat while you guys are there. So what's everyone up to this week? I have been painting some more Warhammer, building some of that. I enjoyed doing the Dawn of War video. You may speak. Just generally having a good time with that. You talk too much, Outlander. What have you guys been up to? Playing Persona 3. I've not played any of the Persona games. I very Say much want to get into them. I haven't had the time to play too many... Your know, game's for f you know, fun for a bit, but I really do want to Say find some want, time. Go away. But I've heard really interesting good things about the Persona games. I want to start at the... I know the first one isn't the best, but I very much want to start at the start, because that's just how I play games. You know? Playing the Frost Fallout 4 mod and the World of Warcraft Season of Discovery. How's that going for people? You enjoying the Season of Discovery? I've heard good things about it, but again, not had too much time to dive into it. All right. Ah, here you are, Queenie. Where is the queen? The blighted queen. Hey, how's it going? Okay, so... You don't seem too diseased, but that's okay. That's not for me to, to decide. Scroll of Dea's Blessing. Cure Blight. All right, let's give it a go. And we have cured her. Well done. You are no longer blight... <laughs> you are no longer blighted. Perfect. Now we go back and let them know that we have sorted that I've cured the blighted Kwama Queen. Let's go back and tell uh, tell Darius that we have sorted that blighted. Sorry, I was overtaken by the spirit of Jonathan Ross for a moment there. That's a very specific joke that only the British will get in here. But now we can go back to Darius. I should probably start using the mark and recall spells more because I do not use them anywhere near enough, and there was a lot of uh, a lot of walking in good old Morrowind. I have a very good friend in Wome called Blighted. Oh, classic Monty Python. That sound you effect always sounds like a hissing cat. There. The sound effect, I like the sound design. I didn't know this as well, but you know I did that Dawn of War video. Was it good Dawn of War? The music in Dawn of War was Jeremy Soule. Of course it was. Every good soundtrack, it's bloody Jeremy Soule. Always. Wealth beyond measure. It's just, he's, he's there all the time always making good music. You can't stop him. You can't move for a Jeremy Soule soundtrack in almost any game. Uh, he's the guy that did the music for Morrowind and Oblivion and Skyrim. He did so much stuff. He is just absolutely iconic in the... Uh, and Guild Wars 2. God damn him. He's everything. Man, I got a bone to pick with you about the Dawn of War video. I mean, you can pick a bone with me if you want, but I guarantee you every single thing I said in that video was objectively correct. You know, James Workshop himself watched the video and agreed. So if you you can't point out a single mistake in that video, there's no mistakes at all. Tell me one mistake in that video. Fight I'll wait. Well. I'll wait. You got time. Every time someone makes a Dawn of War video, I'm obligated to reinstall it and lose a weekend. That's true. That is true. The same thing happens when you talk about Deus Ex. The, um... The video game on PC. As soon as you mention it, someone will reinstall it. There's a couple of video games where when you mention them, someone will reinstall them. It works really well with Roller Coaster Tycoon. 
some of you out there right now there are you know 1200 people watching i guarantee one of you has just gone yeah i'm gonna reinstall roller coaster tycoon i'm gonna play the first first level and then never again that's all you're gonna do it's reinstalled straight away there you go you're welcome You've all lost your... It's Saturday. Just reinstall it. Just play it. GOG sales spike incoming. So, you know what? I I am fully aware... This is a, a true business thing. I am fully aware that when I make a video about a video game, there will be a sales spike. I do not particularly work with the companies that I'm making videos about to, you know, manage this spike. Unless it's a specific sponsored video like the Albion Online one was, which I still stand by being an enjoyable game. When I made the Adventure Quest video and the Adventure Quest team responded to me, of course I'm aware that they would have made money off people buying Guardian and buying stuff and you know having the sales spike. When I made the Dawn of War video, I'm sure that good old games, which are currently running a 75% offset on the game, they are definitely going to see a spike in it. But what I would be interested in is... There are many creatures beyond the cities. Not so much the, the money, but the data. I would just be interested in the data to know how many people purchased a game after I make a video on it um, just because then if a company ever do come to me and say hey how much would you charge for doing something I would be able to have a look at the data but yeah so I'm not affiliated with good old games although I have chatted to a couple of the guys from good old games and they seem decent I know that Mandalore Gaming does a lot of stuff with them I think if I was going to team up with any kind of gaming group or conglomerate I think good old games would be a good choice for what I do you know? Yeah, like a measurement of shillability. That's a good way of putting it. When someone comes and says, hey, what are your rates? I'm like, that's a good good question. Let's find out together. Let's go on this journey together. But no, I very much do enjoy. Yeah, good old games are pretty cool. I would work with those guys. Why yeah. are you away from your post? Darius, I was doing the mission that you sent me on, mate. You can't demand that I... Also, what is wrong with your eyes? You can't demand that I go and do stuff and then get annoyed when I go and do stuff, mate. Come on, pick a lane and stick in it. Right, we've done that. Word of your accomplishments has spread fast. You are ready for advancement. You're a good soldier, Lusty. I am proud to give you the rank of Spearman. And this shield, Imperial Shield, has been added to your inventory. I mean, thanks. If you were to look at me, you would see that I am a... a spear user. But... thanks, I suppose? So we can just punch things. Where is the single? There it is. So when I go into fighting stance with a shield, you actually don't get to use the shield still. See, I go into fighting stance and the shield disappears. Okay, uh, cool. Maybe I should did I put that? Maybe I should just find some other put my spear back on. There we go. Cool. Yeah, Yo, you got any more orders for me, mate? Darius? What about orders? Have you dealt with the Nisus egg mine? I have. Was the Kwama Queen cured? Yes. You you know they were. You just advanced me. Good. Now the miners can get back to work. We'll still have to put guards in the lower parts of the egg mine, but at least the villagers can get their eggs. Take these 100 drakes as a reward. Drakes? What? 100 gold? Thank you. These your language is all over the place. My goodness. But thank you very much. I appreciate that. Any more orders for me? I Just tell me what to do, dude. Yes. I need a spearman to find Maduru Saran, who's missing. Can do. We can do this. Yeah, Drakes. That is not very raven of him. Darius might have a small memory issue. He should see a doctor. Yeah, he's got a memory leak issue. That's what he's got. I have a report from Ald Velothi that one of their own... Madaru Saran is being held hostage in an outcast Ashlander camp just south of their village. Go there and escort her to safety. Okay, cool. Have I broken the game yet? Didn't need to. It's already broken. Old Velothi is being held in an Ashlander camp south of the village. Old Velothi is directly north of here along the coast. Right, I guess we're going directly north along the coast then. Let's, well. let's do this. You know what? Do I still have that axe? I don't. That's a shame. I would have used that instead. I know that spears aren't the greatest weapons, but they've got a long reach, and I appreciate that, so I'm sticking with that for the time being. Fight well. Thank you for telling me to fight well. I appreciate being told that many, many, many times. World. I need to find 
Okay, so Al Valothi is literally just like straight north from here. Let's go straight north. Can you go straight north? Yeah, you go through there and then just turn around along the coast, pretty much. A septum has a dragon on it, so yeah, someone could refer to it as a drake. And it's another one yes. of those quirks that gives what Morrowind that very um, local feel, if you will. Spears are king of the medieval weapons, without a doubt. That they really are. It's just a knife on the end of a stick, and it's very effective. Right, we've been streaming for about an hour. I tend to take small breaks roughly every hour, pop to the bathroom, grab a drink, stretch my legs, that kind of stuff. So guys, we'll take a five minute break. When we come back, we shall continue with uh, with Morrowind because I want to finish this game. I really do. I want to finish as many quests as we can find. I definitely want to find that stupid amulet of being incredibly attractive. That's like the only thing I'm bothered about right now. We'll follow the signs to Old Velothi and we'll have a classic RPG adventure. So guys, Give me five minutes. Let me just set a timer so you all know that I'm being serious with this. I'll see you all in five minutes' time. I will enjoy my pee. Thank you for those good words. I might even take my phone, browse Reddit while I'm there. Really, really enjoy it, you know? Alright, I'm back. Don't worry. Morrowind can continue. We can carry on. Wasn't gone for too long. It's only gone for a few minutes. Hopefully you guys are all okay still. I know, it was, uh, it was a while ago. Is Saturdays the British version of Saturdays? You're going to make me look at the title and realise that I spelt it wrong now, aren't you? I actually meant to do that. It was a test. It was a test to see how many of you were paying attention. And... You, you won. You won the test. It was an observation test, and you know what? You observed. Very well. It's Benorth all over again. Yo, yo, Benorth and Weast. Completely legitimate directions to give someone. If I'm traveling and I say, yo, where am I going? And they, go, they say, go Benorth, I'd get it. They say, go Weast, I'd get it. So, I don't appreciate this toxicity in the chat. I don't appreciate you attacking me. So... I think we all need to just learn a bit of a lesson and not be as vile as you are all being to me, okay? I, it was a test, it was an observation, it was a social experiment. Do you remember that period of time on the internet where if you got caught doing something dickish, you, the immediate response was, it's a social experiment, and they're like, nah, no it's not, because... To be an experiment, you need like a control group and you need to have a hypothesis and you need to have a reason and you need to have a specific thing that you're trying to find out. You need to have very controlled and you know, recorded variables to make it science. You can't just do something shitty and then be called out for it and say, oh, you all fell into my well-orchestrated social experiment trap. Like, no. No, you, you were just called out for being shitty, and now you're trying to save it. it yeah, it's, like you say, it's, perfect. it's Schrodinger's joke, isn't it? It's both funny, it's both a joke and not a joke, until the people that you're with have confirmed whether they do or don't agree with you. That's, uh, it's normally a dog whistle kind of thing for it, where you'll say something really shitty, and if everyone agrees with you, you're like, yeah, I meant it. And if people around you don't agree with you, you'll be like, yo, bro, it's just a joke, man. I'm just, I'm just telling a joke. I'm like, no, no, what you were doing was kind of probing the vibe to work out how shitty you could be. That's what you were doing. So don't do that. Just come forward and be a decent person. Yo, you're standing out here by yourself. That's kind of suspicious. What's going on? What can I'm I like, do for you, friend? You're very suspicious, Sinet. What's going on? Excuse me, my lady. Might you take a moment to help a lady in distress? Sinet, straight up, what do you need? Well, I dropped my ring and I can't seem to find it. I think it must have rolled down into this pool here, but I can't go in to get it because I am expected at the keep shortly. You see, I'm a... dancer. 
And I can't very well smell like muck water now, can I? Would you please get it for me? I'd be forever in your debt. Yeah, sure. I'll go and, uh, go and grab your ring. No problem at all. Yeah. Jump down. See what I can get for you. Look, if you're a concubine, just own that, okay? Just completely own it. I... Oh, that is that is a five head right there. Very impressive. You must be incredibly smart. All right, so you said that you'd lost some water. A ring, had you? What's, uh, what's down here? Oh, it can't see a bloody thing in this water. My goodness. What's... Oh, God. It, the thing with Morrowind is that it's like... It's... The ring will be the size of a ring. And I know that sounds really simple, but it will actually be the size of a ring. And it will be somewhere. We have to find this ring. I should cast light or something. We have night eye. Why don't I use that? Night eye. Hang on. That's just... You failed. All right, sweet. This hasn't helped at all. Like this. Aha! Nope, that's a leaf. Okay, I also need to remember to not drown. So, she's lost a ring in this pool somewhere. If I were a ring, where would I be? I understand this is not the most thrilling of Twitch streams, but you will all just deal with it until we find this ring. Wherever it may be. Someone on a finger, the ring, t she's pranked you, mate. She, she hasn't pranked us. She's a genuine, loving, caring individual. No Got good it. deed goes unpunished, Outlander. What? What? Well, I, I just picked up the ring. Why are you angry at that? Why are you attacking me? What? Okay, no, hang on. Hang <laughs> That is not a social experiment. That's bullshit. Get tricked, idiot. <laughs> what the hell? I grabbed the ring for you, and you were like, nah, mate, now I'm going to kill you. Okay, hang on. Just... Okay, the chance of me casting Bound Spear is very low. Got it. Save. Go. You'll be dead soon. Okay, so this is a problem with Morrowind. The NPC AI is literally just run backwards. Die, Fetcher! We just succeeded. Ooh, okay. Do I have a bounty on me currently? No. No, I do not. Okay, that was a very close call. Thank you, Obese to Beast. I appreciate that. Quick save. Right, what have you got on you? You have got on you Amulet of Shadows, Chameleon for 80% for 60 seconds on self. I want that. That is mine now. Let me just make this slightly bigger so I can steal more things from you. All the gold, that's mine. Oh, Chitin Cuirass. What do I currently have on? I currently have on a common shirt. Oh no, I've got my Imperial Chain Cuirass. I'm rating 16. I'm rating 2. That's terrible. Don't think I need anything else. Possibly a longsword? If I take the longsword, I could use the shield. No. Not in any of you. You're fine. Cool. But what about you? Let's loot this lady over here. You do one nice thing. Seriously, one nice thing for someone, and then they try and kill you. Oh. Dire Viper Blade, Short Blade, Poison, 5 to 11 points. That could be very useful, actually. Like, legitimately very useful. Give me all your gold. Cruel Viper Bolt Ring casts Poison. Once again, we're poisoning things. Uh, no. Yeah. You can just stay there. I don't care about you at all. I, I can't... I actually found your ring. Hang on. We did find a ring. Expensive ring. Lovely stuff. Okay, cool. Let's get back to what we were doing, which was going this way. We were going to... Ald somewhere. Ald Velothi. And then from Ald Velothi, we were going, I want to say, south, in order to find something. 
Was this ambush supposed to happen? Yeah, apparently. So she wanted us to go down into the the pit to find a ring, and as soon as you find the ring, they attack you because you're then at a disadvantage. It's effectively in this this watery grave, if you will. So, yeah. Onward, but south. You type one direction wrong once, and the internet never let you forget, do they? You make one mistake. One gosh darn mistake. This isn't Aldvalothi. This is somewhere else. Aldvalothi's there. What is this place? This place seems new. I'm going to quick save because, you know, scared. This is a Dwemer ruin. I mean, we don't you know, don't need to be here. I don't think we're meant to be here, but we could just pop down, see what there is. That's a, that's a Skeever. We can stab you. No problem at all. That's a Cliff Racer. We can get rid of you too. The Skeever has scoved off. So, come on, Cliff Racer. I know you want to. I don't think we need to be here yet. So... Oh, yep. Come on, Cliff Racer. Now we're good. We're good. Don't need to be there yet. It's fine. Josh, quick save. Hey, look. I'm not just quick saving. I am a chronomancer. I am role playing as a chronomancer, which is a wizard, mastery of time, and I will quick save and quick load as I wish. It is the one thing that I'm very, very good at. So Aldvalothi is this way, it seems. That is a, I want to say, Quama Hound or Nyx Hound. Oh god, it's angry. Hang on, I need my lover's kiss spell. It did not work! Guys, we are in trouble. Like, legitimately in trouble, because my health is super low. So, hide. Invisibility. 0% chance to cast. Okay, let's not do that. What do I have that will work? Ring of Healing. Yes. Quick, heal my ring. Should not have said that, but that's going to be a clip right there. Hello, YouTube. How are you guys doing? Hopefully you're well. Uh, if you want to see these clips immediately, as and when they happen, you can come and join us on Twitch. Uh, remember the rhyme, and that will tell you what time the Twitch stream is. And the rhyme goes Saturdays at 7, Sundays at 4. This is because the streams are Saturdays at 7 and Sundays at 4. Watch as we run rings around this rock and just master... Morrowind. Just straight up mastery of the game. Master. There it is. Straight up mastery. Don't need any more of that. Let's just quick save and then have a nap until healed. Let's just rest for a bit. My rest has been interrupted by a rat. Not a problem. Sorted you right out. Okay, Old Velothi is there. I met the ring, met the woman, retrieved the ring. She was a horrible person. What was the thing? Imperial Legion, rescue those. Old Velothi, her name is Marudu Saran. Hostage in an outcast camp south of the village. Okay, cool. So we're looking for an Ashlander camp south of the village. The Lady's Ring is still a quest. I thought we killed her. I thought we killed her too. But I think that you keep... I have agreed to retrieve Sinet Jeline's ring from the pond. She then attacked me. Maybe she's around somewhere. Howdy, Renegade. How are you doing today? Welcome to the stream. Her ghost will come back to tell us something. Potentially. That does sound like a very Morrowind thing to have happen. What we're looking for right now is an Ashlander camp to the south of Ald Velothi, because that's where we will find the kidnapped people. That looks like a camp down there. There's a boat. That could potentially be it. That, to me, looks like... That's Ald Velothi. We'll go and ask in Ald Velothi about this woman who's been kidnapped, and we should be able to get some more answers. What if you put the ring on her corpse? That's a lot of effort for a dead person. You know, I'm just going to take the ring. We're all very sad. We'll have a, a funeral. We'll have a remembrance party at some point. But we're just going to ask about... Yo, I... Have you heard of Madru Saran? Some rogue Ashlanders have a small camp south of the village. Look for the camp past the lighted tree up on the hill. 
Okay, so south of the village, the lighted tree up on the hill. Watch yourself. If you know where they are, guards, why don't you just go and get her? Like, yes, we saw someone be kidnapped. They're over there. Okay. Rescue them? No. No, that would be too easy. Instead, you must do it. You must sort out all of our problems. Anders, thank you very much for the subs. Remarkably kind of you. Welcome. Josh, why am I such a big liar? You say you like to paint Warhammer. That just isn't true. Nobody likes to paint Warhammer. Hey, I set up a glass display cabinet earlier today with my Ultramarines all in. I will put a picture on Twitter at some point. But no, they're all there. I do. I find it very relaxing. I... Are they dead? Hang on, let's just... Are they dead? That boat down there, there's a boat. And I can see like a body in it, but they might be dead. I legit do like painting. I'm not great at it, but I cheat with contrast paints because, you know, everyone should. And I enjoy it. I like to zone out, stick a podcast on, stick a couple of YouTube videos on. A fish! Thrilling stuff. Gotcha. Sweet. Yeah, there's a, a boat just there. Let's see what happens with that boat when we pop over to it. No, I do like it. It's it's relaxing. It's nice. It's chilled out. You don't need to be great at it. You just need to enjoy it. And that's that's very much what I do. Hey, how's it going? Hello. Viciously clawed dead smuggler. Viciously clawed. You want anything on you? Shard arrow, frost damage, naught to seven, common pants, longbow, an amulet. Might be worth something. Oh, apprentice's probe and apprentice's lockpick. Probes and lockpicks are about disarming things. Alright, cool. So we've we've got your stuff. What's what's going on here? What's in this crate? Scroll of Flugvig's gem feeder. Soul trap. Yeah, I'll take that. That'll be useful. Some gold. Uh, a kite in right gauntlet, nothing else. Telvani bug musk, I've heard that's quite sexy, I want some of it. What's in these barrels? What I love is that you can just find random stuff in barrels that ends up being... Look, look at that! Iron claymore, long blade, two-handed, might be really good. Iron warhammer, blunt weapon, two-handed. It does weigh a lot though, that's the only problem with that. I like the fact that so much was just random in Morrowind, you can sometimes find really good items. Iron Tower Shield. Exclusive Restore Luck. I'll take that. Why not? Okay, so... I'm intrigued. You have been clawed very badly, and your boat is right next to this door here. Stone Cavern Door to Palansour. Let's go inside. What is in Palansour? But I am quite nervous right now because we are in a place that we definitely shouldn't be. And I am walking slowly. I want to know what's going on in Palansour. We should not be here. Grab the large chest. Not like that. We're gamers, let's not pretend. Gold. That's a, that's a soul gem. I will make some soul gem things at some point. Don't you worry about that. That will definitely happen. Why have I got so many gem feeding scrolls? Like loads of them. Iron spear, 5 to 20. Iron halberd, yes, yeah, the same thing pretty much. And what else going on in here? Ask for, yeah, just ask for consent. It's all about the consent stuff. Don't need any of these things. Cool. Let's quick save. Uh, alcohol has good value. It does. Looking at the inventory takes me back 20 years in the best way. It'll take you back 22 years, because this game is 22 years old. It really does go to show that if you make something that's good, even if it's 22 years old, it stays good. Bound Spear. I have a 16% chance of casting this every time I try and cast it. I might need to grind leveling some spells up at some point, because the way that Morrowind's leveling system works is really weird. If you make a spell that has a 100% chance to cast and costs one... Okay, I wasn't going to attack you until you attacked me, mate, but you started this. So, sorry, scamp. But you started that. So with Morrowind, if you make a spell that costs one... 
kind of mana to cast, you'll get the same experience from casting it as if you cast a 100 mana spell. It's really weird. I am performing a very hit and run technique here because that's how spears work. How can broken games become so popular? Because ultimately they are fun. And something that something a lot of people forget is oh god there's a huge troll over there that's not what I wanted to have happen balance can sometimes be really boring if every single I mean if this ends up as a YouTube clip that's fine but what a lot of people don't get is that sometimes I can't fully explain the intricacies and nuances of a system or a design within a small clip balance can be boring if everything is as effective against everything as everything else, there is no reason to ever be one thing over something else. Yeah, I died straight away with that. Let's see what else I can do to kill this. Sometimes it's nice when you have a thing that just absolutely wrecks something else. Sometimes it's nice to have a, to have a design that is overpowered in a silly way. Message 9 to ask Josh to acknowledge the fact that the Tau are better than the Space Marines. I mean, you can type it as many times as you want, mate, but it is, one, wrong, and two, spam. So you could consider not doing that, which would be, you know, be appreciated. So fun is more important than balance in a single-player game, because ultimately you can just do an overpowered thing. And, I mean, I think it was Mark Rosewater from Magic the Gathering Design who said that if he puts a card out and everyone responds yeah this is quite good to the card that's boring if he puts a card out and half the people absolutely hate it and half the people absolutely love it that's decent design as far as he's concerned because yes some people might hate it but they have an emotional response to it some people might love it but they have an emotional response to it if you put out a weapon that is overpowered in a silly way let's see if i can cast this lover's kiss You've already used that power today. Alright, you stay... Is he going to stay there? Is he stuck? Alright, guys, hang on. Hang on a tick. Cruel Viper Bolt Ring. Alright, so... Okay, cool, so we just send a load of poison at that guy. Item has no charge now, that's bad. Ring of healing, gem feeding, unhinging, summon skeleton. What about um, Amulet of Shadows, Chameleon, Soul Trap? Wasn't those like go invisible for a bit? I'm sure there was a, a fully invisible spell. I don't know what else I can use to attack this person, not from a distance anyway. Can we have a nap? I can't sleep, but I can have a, have a nap. I'm going to go back and have a nap. It's fine. Trolls regenerate. That's fine. We'll have a quick nap over here. And after having a nap, I will come back in and try and use the lover's kiss. Always try and kiss the troll if you can. There's probably going to be an exact position that I can find. I can't rest because of enemies. There's probably a position that I can find using the halberd. Where... I can attack him and he can't attack me. Let's find this. Let's... Oh, no, he's he's escaped. Okay. Oh, your weapon has no effect because trolls do regenerate, don't they? What if I were to attempt to summon the bound spear again? Does that have an effect? Yes, it does. Substantially. Ooh. I'm actually leaning back in my chair a bit now. Guys. Took the Ogrim down. Daedra Heart. Hell yeah. All right. Quick save that one. Troll Slayer, guys. Now, remember, in Morrowind, there's no actual level requirements to use stuff. There's just skill requirements. So whatever's in here, we're about to get some good stuff. Now, we could find... You could easily find... Oh, god damn. Okay, Dead Smuggler. Red. Red. We could easily find, like, the best armor in the game and just wear it. That's fine as well. Hannon's Wake. Shirt, shirt, shirt. You guys have got nothing on you. 
and upon that year of the reign of Wolfhart and his sons, the magnificence that was Mordrin Hanin ended in this world. Representative of I'm not reading all of these words. I'm sorry, Todd. I love you and I appreciate you, but I'm actually not reading all of these words. I will, however, steel dagger. I'll take it because it looks badass. Uh, iron war axe don't need human flesh. I see what was going on here. You guys were having a little midnight sneaky snack. That's what was going on. He wasn't a bad guy. He was just a little bit hungry. You know, he got the munchies. That's what was happening there. There was a recipe in there. There was a recipe in there, but we're not going to use it. Two parts blood of traitors, one part heart of Daedra, one part mixed bitter green petals, void salt, green lichens, and bone meal, one part moon sugar, five parts flynn. Combine blood, heart, moon sugar, and large ebony alembic, heat fire fed by bones of traitors, condensed vapors, and large ebony flask. Okay, cool. So, like, there's a, a lot of crazy drinks going on. I don't know if you can actually make it in the game, but that's a crazy ass drink right there. That is a that yeah that is a funky recipe. That's the go blind recipe. What is that? Hang on, this place over here looked pretty interesting. That looked pretty funk. Well, okay, so steel spear stuck in some fire. Another steel spear stuck in some fire. Some guys hanging upside down. Um, nothing on them that we need. That one's doing a little high five, a little wave. He's having some fun with it. That is a chest. If I jump, I can... <laughs> I'm so broken. <laughs> you can jump and open it. You'd be like, yep, grab. Got it. Sweet. Right, what we got? Chitin spear, not better. Chitin war axe, don't need it. Common ring, fortify willpower. Spirit of the Daedra. Should I read these books? Just jump up and grab them. Bargain. Oh, sweet. Spoiled cure disease potion. Don't need you. Corpse preparation and spirit of the Daedra. Darkest darkness. I want to know what these things are. Let's just, can we read them? That was spirit of the Daedra and darkest darkness. In Morrowind. Both worshippers and sorcerers summon lesser Daedra and bound Daedra as servants and instruments. Most Daedric servants can be summoned by sorcerers only for very brief periods, within the most fragile and tenuous frameworks of command and binding. This fortunately limits their capacity for mischief, though in only a few minutes most of those servants can do terrible harm to their summoners as well as their enemies. Okay, this is about summoning and binding Daedra. It's quite interesting. We don't need you. Corpse preparation. I don't... I'm not learning anything from you. I'm mainly learning stuff to see if... Reading books to see if I get knowledge from them. Because it's all about knowledge. Remember that. Knowledge when you've got... That is a huge throne. I want to sit on it. Let's just check it's not trapped. Can we jump up? Flynn? Oh, there's some Flynn. Sweet, we're taking the Flynn. A tankard. Skulls. Oh, this dude just sits here and hangs out. This is his chill-out throne. What's in these crates? More gem... F He's soul-trapping people. That's why all the soul gems are here. Dude's using soul trap on everyone. Anything in these barrels? Single coin. What about you? More. Oh, an unhinging spell. I'll take that. And some gold. See that right there? That's environmental storytelling. That's what that is. There's a drink up there. If I if I jump and spam E. Hang on. Yeah, got it. What was it? What did I get? It was a thing I picked up, I'm sure. It wasn't bug musk. Not quite sure how the how this organizes it. Is it magic? It counts as magic. It was some kind of that was it. Lightning shield. Sweet, we got a lightning shield potion. Cool. Do I need one of these spears? No. No, I don't. Alright, fare thee well, troll cave. That was fun. We, uh, we found a troll cave. What a bargain lightning shield. It was. Bargain lightning shield. Be nice there was an item log or something. Ah, no. Morrowind was made before that existed. Made before the idea of remembering what you were doing was, uh, was even a thing. No one fully remembers 
anything in Morrowind. Very much a game designed to be played multiple times. A worn cavern door to the West Gash region. Oh, okay, this takes us out to here. And now we are here. I'm guessing that that wasn't the... That wasn't the kidnap place. It can't have been. There's, There's got to be a different place for the kidnap place. They said go to the... Go to the tree on the mountain or something and then look from there. I would argue Morrowind was made in a time where people still remembered things. Oh no, I, I was around when Morrowind was made and I forgot things all the time. I think it was just a case of nobody expected to finish the game. Like, you'd, you'd get to the end of it, but you wouldn't see everything in it. So, let's just go to quests. Uh, rescue Mordra Saran. Mordra Saran is some rogue Ashland, a small camp just south of the village they took over there. Look for the camp past the lighted tree up on the hill. Okay, lighted tree up on the hill. I have no idea where we are meant to be looking for this camp, but it is raining, and I want to rest for a good few hours so we get the sun, because then I can see what I'm doing. Right. Have I played Metal Gear Acid? I have not. I have not. I need to actually play low more Metal Gear games. I've not played anywhere near enough. If any of you know or have a guide as to where this camp is, feel free to try and give me directions. I, I won't follow them, but they might help. Not a big fan of first-person games? Not a problem. Playing third-person. That's fine as well. But combat I tend to do in first-person just because it's a lot easier. Which camp am I looking for? The one where they have took... What's her name? Uh, let's just have a look at the quest. What was it called? Rescue Medora Saran. Medora Saran is in an Ashlander camp south of Ald Velothi. And Ald Velothi is kind of over there, there, I think. So we've been told to go to the lighted tree to the south. Levitate to get a good look around. I could use a levitation spell, but I haven't actually got any levitation. I think you walk past the lit tree almost immediately outside of Old Velothi. When we say the lit tree... Unless they mean... I've got no idea what they mean by lit tree. Like, is it a tree where there's just always a party happening? It's, just, it's crazy fun all the time. That's what it is. The tree that has a lantern, the littest tree. It is, it's the littest tree without a doubt. It is a tree that is just, it is crazy. Parties all the time. Let's, I swear to God if it's this. There is no way that it's just this. Speak quickly, Outlander, or go away. Hey, yeah, I'm looking for a Mordra Saran. You'll have to talk to Asabel, he's inside. Okay, like, is this... Is this the camp? Old My Velothi is over... Is precious, so make it quick. Over there. Hey, so, uh, I'm gonna summon my spear before I go in, because there's a chance I won't be able to summon it when I'm inside. Speak, traveler. Yo! Oh, hey, it's you! Hey, I need that person back, because apparently they've been kidnapped. Where, where's the tree? Who cares? We've solved the problem. Doesn't matter. Not a problem at all. Yo, Mordra Saran, why is she here? No, foreigner. We will keep this pilgrim. Alright, cool. Let's just, uh... Hey, Mordra? Can you get me out of here? Let's travel together. Yeah, y yes, I'm her. I travel together. Do you want me to follow? Absol will try and kill me if I leave. <sighs> Silly. Silly, Absel. You wait here. Don't worry. Wait here. I've got a very smart plan. Die, Fetcher! <laughs> you will <laughs> suffer greatly. <sighs> that was my plan. Give me your stuff. That was great. But I think that worked really well. Started a fight with no fatigue. Hey, I think our, our plan went really well. That, solid plan all round. Everything worked. Just wait there while I loot this place. I don't I'm one have of... a lot of patience for questions, Outlander. I literally just killed a guy to save you. You will shut up. 
and then I will help you. Okay? Let me just loot this place, because like I said, I am the good guy. So, all of their stuff is now mine. They have nothing good. I'm taking that. This is my gold now. Grab her! What? Who's attacking me? Oh, those people outside, yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, yo, wait here. I need to kill some more people. Just, just let me summon my spear again. Just let me summon my weapon. Hang on. Let me... I need to grab my spear before I go and stab these people. My magical, ethereal spear. Alright, cool, there we go. Quick save, out we pop. There has clearly been a misunderstanding. <laughs> Neither of you are attacking me. I will, uh, take my leave and go and get the person I wanted to get. Hey. Travel together, follow me. Lead me to Old Velothi Outpost. There is no escape. You will suffer greatly. Okay. Cool. Let's do this. Uh, you go. Well, now you attack me. Why are you fighting? I'm meant to be protecting you. That was easy. Alright. Got any cool stuff on you? Got any games on your phone? No? You're useless. I really hope that I'm hope I'm helping the good guys. I, you know what? I respect that. You may be dead, but you're going to plank. Bring in planking back. Planking and T-posing. You've combined them into one thing there. That is, that's forward thinking. I respect that. Uh, no, you're good. So, let's just put this away. Yo, old Velothi, let's, uh, let's do this. Going north. Come on. In fact, we're going over there. You you could have seen this from there. You the guards could have just could have just come to help. Hey, wait for me. Come on, you can do this. I believe in you. Escort quest and all this. Please kill her. I'll up the amount to eight thousand bits. You no. Know, you cannot. You can't do it. No. You cannot bribe me. I am a pure, honourable, virtuous, good, Christian schoolboy. You cannot bribe me. Speak, traveller. Hey, you're here now. Let's travel together. Yeah, follow me. Where do you want to go to? Old Velothi. Please get me back to the outpost. We're literally here. This is the outpost. In we pop. Thank you for getting me to the outpost. You are welcome. Is there something you need? Oh my god, no one is appreciative of anything I do. Yeah, I don't care about you too much. Let's go and tell Okay, our... Outlander, but make it quick. I don't want to talk to you either. I see by your outfit, Lusty, that your affairs have prospered. Can I help you? I do appreciate the fact that when you look slightly wealthier, people respond to you as if you're doing better. Right, where are we going now? Let's go back to Thingy -ma Bobby. Back to Nisus, pretty much. And Nisus was where we spoke to the dude, wasn't it? Which means I can just use Recall to then... You don't have enough Magicka. That's fine. I'll just stand here until I do. Then we teleport to it. Love the Dawn of War video. Oh, thank you very much. I did try a couple of mods for it. I wasn't able to get as many mods as I wanted. But yes, I did try a few. Is it Old Rune, the Guild of Mages? I think it was Old Rune we wanted to go to, wasn't it? Not Nisus. Let's go to Old Rune. Can you kill children in this game? Yeah, I think so. I think that's fine. I don't think they had the unkillable special ability until... I think it was Skyrim? Have I played Guild Wars after I release my video? The problem is that I try and play as many games as I can after putting a video out, but... When I put out a video every one week or every two weeks, and people are like, have you played this, have you played that, have you played the other? If I spent one hour I a day... I must be going, so if you could make it quick... If I spent, say, one hour a day playing every video game that people want me to play, I would have a 60-hour week of just playing 60 different games. That's the problem. So I try to find time to play, but I very rarely have time to actually play instead of 
work, if that makes sense. Well, like this, to, this right now to me is this is me playing Morrowind. That's what it is, without a doubt. This is me playing Morrowind, and I love Morrowind, and I love sharing it with you, I'm having all that kind of energy. But if I weren't streaming, I wouldn't be talking as much. I would just be enjoying Morrowind kind of quietly, silently. Have I played Flife? Not yet. It's on the list, but not yet. There's lots of games on the list, without a doubt. I'm here. I remembered the poem. Saturdays at 7, Sundays at 4. It's a good poem. People took the piss, but it is a good poem. I'm going to be remembered as a good poetist. Well, why are you away from your post? Darius, we really have to have a conversation about this. You can't ask me to go places, then be annoyed when I go places. I have done the thing. I have saved the woman. The What was the woman's name? Mordra. So, you got Mordra Saran out of the camp and in one piece. Good work, Lusty. Hey, can I advance yet? You're a good soldier. I'm proud to give you the rank of trooper and this armor. Imperial Steel Cuirass has been added to your infantry. Is that better? You're over encumbered. Thanks. Is that better than what we currently had? Let's have a look. So, Imperial Steel Cuirass, armor rating 5. Imperial Chain Cuirass, armor rating 16. Weight 21, medium. So, that's medium armor. That, however, is heavy armor. I'm just, gonna, just gonna drop it on the floor right in front of him. Be like, I don't need this. Just take it. Just thanks, and just drop it immediately on the floor. That is a. Uh, this is the Imperial Legion, not the cult. Yeah, the Imperial Legion. They're great. They're the good guys so far. You got any more orders for me, mate? Let's see what, uh, what you want me to do. Any more things? Push through the Legion. Find out what happened to Ragash Grash's grub. She was sent to Arv's Drelen, but no word has been heard since, and I suspect foul play. Find her, and bring her back. Careful with old Baladas, though. I don't trust him. Okay, cool, so... Arv's Drelen. I don't know where that is. Baladras keeps to himself, has his food and supplies delivered to the door. He's been a good neighbour. Quiet. No trust. <laughs> I don't trust this man. Why? What's he like? Fucking brilliant. Just chills out. Hangs out, never bothers me. Good neighbor, quiet, no trouble, no problem whatsoever at all. It's been great. What? What do you want? Do you, do you want me to hate him or not hate him? Right. Arv's Drelen. Where the heck is Arv's Drelen? You haven't found her yet? Ask Baladas about her. Baladas. Right, let's go and try and find this Baladas fella. Wherever they may be. When you say, like, the Why best neighbor, your post? are we talking different building? Or are we talking just different room in the same building? Go ahead. Your very your voice is very deep. Let's go up here. Probably a different building. Would I trust someone called Bald Ass? D I don't know. I might do. I love this game. First real RPG I played. Well, welcome. Hopefully you're having a lovely time. Right, where's bald ass? If I was a bald ass, where would I be? Let's find out. You know what I do need is a torch. I might buy a torch in a second. I'm pretty sure I picked a torch up, didn't I? It was a weapon. It was a burned out torch. Yeah. So, that's pointless. That's a shame. What button do you press to, a, to use the torch? Or does it just drop it immediately? Like, there's, there's no use for that. It immediately gets rid of it. That's annoying. I was hoping to be able to use it. Let's stick the Iron Halberd back on. Right, Baldass, where are you? Is more than one way you could stack spoons? Probably. Torches are considered shields. Okay, gotcha. And the torch had zero time remaining. Okay. Right, bald ass, where are you, mate? The world is so goddamn dark. It I'm is waiting. so dark. Yo. I will listen, Outlander. Yeah, where's bald ass? Make it quick. He's a rogue Telvani wizard. Came here over 20 years ago and set himself up in Arvus Drelen, the abandoned Velothi Tower on the northwest edge of town. Thank you. See? You just need to tell me exactly what I need to do, and then I can go and do it. You seem worthy of my knowledge. 
you may spend. Let's try and find this dude. Here at the Dunmer Temple. I need to sell something to some traders at some point, don't I? Because I am running out of stuff. Maybe we should wait for a bit, because it's currently 11 p.m. So if I wait 12 hours for 11 a.m., we're going to get the sun. Oh, okay, it's, uh, it's a little bit foggy, but that's... What absolute dominance. Doing the moonwalk just in the air. Your actions show promise. Thanks. What do you want? Maybe this is the tower. This is the northwest edge of town. Maybe this is where the dude lives. I expected there to be some kind of door, but apparently not. Maybe you have to go up the top to find it. We'll find it. Resist common disease. What was that? Uh, what is the cup in the bottom of the screen? Oh, that's a donations cup. Uh, if someone subscribes or cheers or donates or bits, they fall into that cup. I think I just forgot to take it away, to be honest. Ah, Arv's Drellen. Here we go. I'm going to save the game, pop inside. Let's chat to this dude. Are you aggressive? Yes, you are. Hang on. Not the greatest. Welcome. A little, uh... It's Foggy's the Brits feel at home. Thank you. Thank you, I appreciate that. We know what we're doing now. Thank you, PoE Twitch. <laughs> Is that the Path of Exile Twitch account? I, I, that would make me happy. If you guys just hanging out watching Morrowind for a bit. Is that what we're doing? Because, I mean, that works for me. This dude is a rogue Telvani wizard. And we've been told not to trust him. Let's see what's going on. It's in this closet. Nothing. Nothing over here. What about in this do- <laughs> now they can't- They can open doors, fuck. Ooh, they're much cleverer than I expected them to be. They understood. Oh, hang on. Okay. We're doing okay. We're doing fine. Don't panic. Sweet. Taking them down. Taking them absolutely down. Let's pick them up. Iron dagger, iron shield, bone meal. Don't need any of that. Quick save. Can I get my... my bound spear? I've got a 24% chance of casting this every time. 24% chance of something happening means that it's effectively a 50-50 chance of it happening. It either does or doesn't. Spot on. Now that is a shadow of a crocodile head. Which is not great, because they are quite powerful. However, this spear absolutely annihilated those skeletons. That chest is trapped. I'm not going to try and open it yet. Where is the crocodile? I saw you around the place. I saw your shadow. Y are you there? Are you there? Are you above? Oh, the lighting in Morrowind has got a lot to answer for. Let's just... Okay, so you're trapped. You're not. Is it worth just trying to open the trap chest and tank the damage? I'm sure I probably can. That's oh, locked. Okay. Are you... Can't open them. I do, however, have an apprentice's lockpick. You guys ready? Quick save. Ooh. Ooh. I'm... You just... lock Lockpicking, by the way, in Morrowind, it's just that. You just equip a lockpick and then attack it. Oh yeah, that was no, that was just a little tiny fireball. It was fine. That was absolutely fine. Don't know what you're all worried about. Dwarven halberd. Ooh, thrust 28. That is better than my current halberd, which is thrust 20. So I'm going to take that. Thank you very much. Pearl, ruby, 300 gold. Now, some of you might say that it seems like we are robbing this man. In a way, that is true. But in another, more genuine way, it's justifiable. 
Okay, I was trying to think of a way to justify it, but I can't. And we are just robbing this man. Let's just save again. Dwarven halberd, way better spear. Hang on, though. My summon spell. That's not bound to something, is it? No, I just know it. Okay, cool. Let's try and open this chest, shall we? Let's go with the Prentice's lockpick. Let's quick save the game. Lock too complex. Oh, wow, I actually can't. I can't even attempt. Do I have a spell of opening? Hang on. Open 40 to 60 points on touch. I do have that. I might just... Oh, you can read it. That's pretty cool. I might just try and open this. Hang on. Spells, magic items. Where is the... There we go. On Deucey's Unhinging. Should we just cast this? You guys ready? Hello. Come on. Come on, if you're going to make noise, you may as well come over here and have an audience. Come here, you big borky boy. Ugh. What are we balking at this time? What are you protecting me from? Are you protecting me from the things outside that move past the window? Other people? Are you protecting me from, like, I don't know, a goldfish's fart? Whatever you're going to immediately hear and just be really scared of. Is that what it is? We good? We safe? He's a guard dog, but he is a bit of an overzealous guard dog, so will guard me from literally anything. Okay, you good? And we have a little jealous dog down here as well. Hang on. Piper, come here. So, ugh. Piper is jealous. All the time, forever. If I show anyone or anything any affection and Piper is not getting that affection, Piper will want that affection and will jump at me and lick my face. She's like, no, you must pay attention to me now. It is my turn. My turn for attentions. That's what she does. You good, Piper? You good? Is outside okay? Outside still there? All the grass on the floor still? Yeah, look. Look, it's you. See, you don't care, do you? You just do not care. I'm going to put you down now. Guys, hang out. Stop barking as much. Don't need to. It's fine. You can hang out there. That's cool. This is what naturally happens now with the hair. Yes, that's how I style my hair. I've saved so much money on hair gel. So much. Now she's cool. I like her. Let's try and open this chest. Unlocked, but still trapped. Quick save. We immediately died. All right, cool. Uh, yeah, let's load quick save and see what happened. If only there were a way to... Can we apprentices probe this? Right. It's probing time. Disarm trap failed. 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 Trap disarmed. Sweet, guys. We did it. What's in here? 75 gold. Not even worth it. Not even worth it. Not worth the time it took to do any of that. Now let's just uh, equip the Dwarven Halberd again. And then we should probably get ready to cast Bound Spear. So I'm going to summon my Bound Spear. And then after summoning it... Sweet. Quick save the game and then run forward. We're meant to be talking to like a rogue Telvani mage, but I'm sure there was one of those alligator crocodile style head things wasn't it was it even profit i don't know we might have actually lost money doing that that may have been a thing that just happened so it wasn't that way it was this way possibly let's see what's down here oh up we pop the dude did say he didn't trust this guy he did say that like he lock level 50 trapped fine Let's use another unhinging. Your spell has unlocked its target. If we open it, what happens? We... We take some fire damage, but it's fine. Quick save. How dangerous can that really be? Like, can we talk to it? Doesn't seem... It's not aggressive. Okay. Okay, it's not angry at me right now. Poke it. No. No, you don't poke the crocodile. 
Is it a crocodile or an alligator? There is actually a way to tell the difference between a crocodile and an alligator, and that is one of them will see you later, and one of them will see you in a while. That's the, the scientific way to tell the difference between them. What is up here? That is a centurion? That's a Dwemer centurion. Okay. What, 11 out of 10 dad joke. Thank you very much. Damn it, Josh. Oh, that's what you come to this stream for. That is a Dwemer Centurion. They are relatively high level. Okay, Master's Calcinator. Master's Mortar and Pestle. Master's Retort. Master's Alembic. This is high level stuff. Hey. How's it going, dude? Uh, Baladas. Do you want something? I do, Baladas. I want you to have a chat with me. I am Bas. I am Baladas Ravani, and this Arv's Drellen is my home. Why have you come here? Well, Baladas, I want to ask you about Ragash Grashu's grub. She came demanding tribute for the Empire of Men. I was here before Nisus, before the Empire of Men. I will be here after Nisus is gone and after this short-lived empire has crumbled. The people of Nisus live only because I tolerate them. Why should I pay tribute? Okay, so... Ragrash has learned her lesson, let her go. Or, let her go, and nobody will trouble you again. Or, everyone pays taxes, mate. You know, everyone does. We None of us like it, but we all have to agree at some point. Right, no, I think... Look, mate, I understand that you're old. You're ancient. I've killed some of your skeletons already. Maybe they're your old relatives. I don't know. But how about you let her go? We won't trouble you again. Yeah, I get it. You've been here a while. It's annoying to see people come down. You let her go. You trouble me now. Do you think I have nothing better to do than listen to such lies? Leave now, or you shall join the orc in my prison. Okay. Cool. We're on the same level. I'm I'm picking up what you're putting down. Can you imagine that we have to go back at some point to the, the leader of the Imperial Legion and be like, Look, dude's like a crazy powerful wizard. I ain't dealing with him. You ain't dealing with him. How about... We just let this one be. You know, we just let this one hang out, chill, relax. We don't need to win all of them. We're not doing that. I'm going to find the prison and try and free her. This, to me, is either a bad bit of light or a door. But there is a prison down here somewhere. And I'm wondering... If we've missed a switch or something somewhere. Because they did say in a prison. If I were a prison, where would I be? You guys have any idea? If you have any idea, feel free to shout up. We can we can kind of crowdsource this. I think definitely the basement, but I'm wondering how does one get to the basement? How? If I were a basement where would i be ah i'd be under the house oh hang on big rat hey oh sweet this new spear is great hey 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 how's it going so that's trapped and locked very powerfully my athletics has increased that's good anything in these crates Nothing of value, apart from the raw ebony, which is extremely valuable, and I will take and steal. I'm now over-encumbered, so I'm going to throw away my old iron halberd and this dagger, which is crap. I'm still over-encumbered because ebony is apparently really heavy. I don't need this imperial shield. You could go. Yeah, that's fine. Much better. Right, what do we do? Do we ask the mage? Good evening from the lighthouse. Welcome, Soggy Bob. How are you doing today? Oh, a torch. Sweet. Hang on. Does that mean that I can now actually equip a torch? I should actually have a torch to equip. Where 
is the torch. I, there it is. Oh, that is so much better. Cool. So I have a torch now. This is decent. So we can put the torch on whatever room kind of... I'm going to steal that one too. That one's mine now as well. So we have a torch that we can use whenever we are anywhere. Does a torch have life? It doesn't seem to have life. This is good. This is decent. Don't think a torch can block. And you can't attack with it. Can I have a torch and a spear at the same time? You cannot. Okay, so. You kind of got to have one or the other. I'll, uh, I'll stick with this for the time being. I'm just going to F5 it. Lock level 65. Oh, I don't have anything that can open that. I mean, open 40 to 60 points on touch. That's not going to do it. I need like a really powerful actual good spell. Lover's kiss. We could go and kiss the mage. This could work. I think you either find the key somewhere or bribe the mage. I'm going to just have a look around and see what there is first. I mean, this... Why, as a mage, who clearly lives alone and doesn't like company, do you have, like, four beds? You don't... How many prisoners are you planning on having? Blue glass pot, pitcher, tankard, pillow, pillow, bed. Just... Okay, that's locked. That's locked as well, but I can probably pick that. Where's my lock pick? Yeah. Sweet. 33 gold, take you. I don't feel bad about robbing this guy, like, at all. Summoning room key. Seems... The Wolf Queen, book five. You have gained knowledge from this book. For 21 years, the Emperor Antonius Septim ruled Tamriel and proved an able leader, despite his moral laxity. This is a long-ass book. We can read this later. Okay, we don't need that now. I'm going to take this key. It might be useful. It might not. I don't know. But I'm taking it. It's mine now. The halberd's going back on as well. Behold, the red ink of better talky-talky. I'm going to have a nap in this bed. Sweet. That is such a dominant move. Just walk forward, have a nap in the guy's bed as we're robbing him. What about my apprentice's lockpick? Can I... Lockpick successful! Common pants, common shirt, common shirt. I I don't know what, what I was expecting, to be honest. But put that back on there. Let's see what's going on down here. Okay, so does this key open this room. Let's find out. Uh, do you have to actually, like, use it? So it says it's locked. I bet this key opens the summoning room, which is the room where he is, which was the one that I used the spell to get into. So actually, I picked up the single key that I don't need. Right. So... I used a spell to open the summoning room door, wasting both a spell and some health because the door was trapped, then went down to the basement and found a key for the summoning room. That's what has happened so far. Which means that somewhere around here, there is probably a key for the basement. But he is not going to be happy that I'm looking for it. Now, what I need to do is use my ninja skills. I am one with the plant. Jump over here. You'll never see me. Jump. What was that? Jump. Jump like a ninja. Yeah. Sneaking. What was the sneak button again? That was it. Crouch. Okay. None of these things are here. None of these things are keys. Is the key over here? Nope. That is a bulb. What about over here? In a crate, maybe? Can I look in a crate without stealing stuff? You can! You can look in crates, that's fine. Oh, hang on. Hang on. I know where the key is going to be. It's going to be on the mage. Right. So. Let's just... Quick save. 
Let's sneak. Let's interact you with You talk him. too much, Outlander. Now, we're probably going to be less successful trying to pickpocket this time, but quick save and give it a go. He does not have a key on him. Hell, gods! All right, how powerful are you, mate? Let's find out then, shall we? Oh, you've summoned an Atronach. You're very powerful. I'm being attacked. Okay, so... Oh, God. Actually, I thought... An Atronach can just kill you in just one hit. Just immediately kill you. Is that what, what happens? Outlander? Why do you disturb me? Just straight up kill you. Well, right. No, this guy's base. Don't kill him. I mean, he has just hung out, you know. Maybe I'll just quick save and chat to him again. Hey, man, look, we got off on the wrong foot. What brings you here, Lust T? Um, can I... Look, that person. She came demanding tribute. Look, come on, she's learned her lesson, man. Let her go. So soon. Even the short-lived orcs need time to reflect on their transgressions. Man, everyone pays taxes. Come on, dude. I do not pay tribute to any man. Do not anger me or you shall join the orc in my prison. Let her go. We won't trouble you again. You trouble me now. Can I just keep annoying you? Leave. Now. Just gonna, just gonna keep annoying you, see what's going on, you know? Just persuasion. Intimidate. Really? I'm not sure you could. Intimidate. You and what army get lost. Just intimidate the guy again. Get lost. Intimidate. Taunt. Taunt. Perhaps I will end yours. Sweet. You gonna... Need I call the guards? Yeah, do it. Taunt. I'm gonna keep going until you say... Anything else. I keep being angry at you. My, my speechcraft is way too low. I do need to... Where? If the key isn't on you, mate, where is it? Where is the... There's a lot of gold right there. If I were a key... for a dungeon... where would I be? Where would he keep a key? It's not here. It's not on here. It's not there. <laughs> Shut up, you. We're just... We're, we're key searching right now. Interesting. Jump up. Can't see you up there. Is it under there the pillow, potentially? It tell. could be under the pillow. You could keep it under a plant. That's true. Is it inside the plant? No. Is it next to it? Also no. Is it in the crocodile? Who knows? <clears throat> Persuasion. Taunt. See, normally when they say, how about I end your... Perhaps I will end yours. Normally they end up attacking you at that point. Okay, cool. So we, we can't get the key from him. We can't kill him yet. I have found the woman. Maybe I'm just going to buy her, like, a scroll of opening. You know what? Yeah, let's do it that way. Let's just go and buy a scroll that opens things. Let's go to the Mages Guild. Someone may need to Google where I can buy a scroll of opening from. The lock is, like, level 60, I think. Pretty sure it's level 60. And you can get scrolls of... It's 65, right. So, what's the best scroll of opening? Because I've got the scroll of unhinging, which is 40 to 60 points on touch. Can I get 100 unlock? The stronger open scroll is RNG... Oh, it's RNG at the vendors. That means I'm going to have to buy... the unlock spell... And then make my own. Because once you can make your own of stuff, you can make it super powerful. So let's go and see if we can find a Mage's Guild. And then from the Mage's Guild, we'll buy a spell. You can buy one in Soulstime. Your business here? Yeah, Soulstime is way here. too far away. And slightly too high level at the minute. You can try create a spell. I will need it many times. Yeah, I should probably try and create a spell, shouldn't I? Make sure you've got enough mana to even cast it. I probably don't. I probably definitely don't. I am two levels away from leveling. So maybe what we should do is just try and help the, the other guilds out for a bit, because we have 
We've pretty much exhausted this unless we can go and... We make a special trip. Just learn a better Same spell. Low price. Same with Wild Ruin. There's a Mage's Guild there. Balmora Mage's Guild has the open spell. Does it? Right. Same with Balmora. Travel to Balmora, my friend. My goodness, thank we'll you very much for the trip. donation. Just very kind of you. Same low Send me a message on Discord, but I assume you don't check those. I get so many messages on Discord. Please check out Embers Adrift. Yes, I've got... I get many messages every week asking me to check out... Wakfu, Dofus, Embers Adrift, Flyth, loads of them. Uh, I will try as, uh, as hard as I can to check out these games, but I get a lot of recommendations every week, every day sometimes, asking people if they will, uh, if I will be able to play one of their games. Do I know Bethesda released additional free content? I did not know that, but I will look into it. Yeah, I get a lot of... I mean, obviously it's very flattering to get so many people asking me to to check out the stuff that is you know valuable to them and i do want to try and do that but it is a lot of stuff for me to try and keep up with hey i'm going to sell some stuff to you let me barter let me sell some junk to you please make your thing slightly smaller and mine slightly bigger because i don't care what you've got i care what i've got all right what don't i need um common amulet don't need expensive ring not bothered about probably don't need any of these things the bargain stuff i'm not bothered about at all because it's just crap raw ebony you have got 700 gold let's sell that to you because i don't need any of that raw ebony don't need rubies i can find them in the future these books are all useless daedra hearts probably important for something in the future so i'll keep that i could sell the 60,000 grand soul gem winged twilight will you take ebony apparently Okay, total sold, 649. Seller gold, 700. Will you accept 670? Yes, art of the deal. All right, cool. Yeah, that's given me so much more space back. That's way better. I just wanted to lose some of the heavy stuff, to be honest. Report him to the guards. What? The fact that he took ebony. Are they not meant to? Are they not allowed to buy ebony? Is that part of the... Part of the deal. Been meaning to play Morrowind, but thinking about playing Morrowind is more fun than playing Morrowind. It's it's one of those yes, games where it is difficult. Right. You don't teach me spells. Let's see who sells or teaches open lock. It's a unique game with a unique take on old school MMOs. I'll give it a go at some point. It's on the list. It's a long list. But it's on the list. Ebony belongs to the Empire. Eh. Spells. Alright. If I was an open door spell, where would I be? Strength is a One of you will sell an open door spell. It'll be called Knock or something. Find out where on Ducey's open door, open 50 points for one second on touch. Sell it me. Beautiful. Can I now create a spell? Because Not now I know it, I can make a better spell. Spell making. Open. Right. Range touch, that's fine. Magnitude. Okay, spell chance is one percent. I am bad at this. Right, what that means is I need to create a spell. Wow, it's a spell that does basically 0 to 71. I have a 1% chance of casting. I could do that. A 1% chance of casting. Hang on. Hang on, guys. There's a very important message just appeared in the Twitch chat. Hello, Mr. Strimmer. Uh, Twitch admin here. You know it's legit because they said they were. As part of our new project, yep, gets it. Every streamer, I like how you've spelt it correctly, is contractually obligated to spend at least that 3.2 minutes every hour demonstrating their feet to viewers. Understandable. Fully understandable, and I'm not one to break rules. All right? I am not one to break rules at all. 100% focused. Uh, unfortunately, because we've got so many people doing the same thing now, uh, we now need... It's, I mean, it was funny once. The problem is, even if I were 
to show you my feet right now. And I know that some of you guys are going to be, you're very excited right now. Very excited. Some of you, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it because I'm a man of my word, you know. There's no, look, I don't do clickbait. Emotional titling, without a doubt. So no clickbait. But what you have to understand, guys, is that I'm a middle-class, middle-aged dude, okay? I'm wearing slippers because they're comfortable. Of course I'm wearing slippers, okay? They're very comfy. I walk around my house in slippers because they're comfortable. Look, see? Pairs of slippers. And people are like, oh, what socks you got on? Crash Bandicoot socks. Because Cadicarus would be proud of me. Crash Bandicoot socks and slippers. That's my life, okay? It's just what it is. How I am. It's how I live. It's who I am. You okay. have my attention. Cool. So I've got this spell that I can cast that opens up doors. On Deucey's open door, it is alteration. I need to train my alteration. How do I do... Yeah, it's Cash Banuka. Cash Banuka socks. From uh, from Jimothy, Jimothy Icarus, I believe, is his name. Yo, seriously though, don't impersonate Twitch admin. Yeah, don't do that. Yeah, that's... It's not funny. You lost me. After the fourth, try to be funny. You've overdone it. That's true. That's, that's very, very true. I have... Uh, hang on. No, you, you overdid it. Now you have 50% meme viewers. GG, Josh. I don't have 50% meme viewers. I don't even have 50% people who are actually watching the stream. People just put it on in the background. I understand where my demographic is. You're doing other stuff. It's on in the background. But I appreciate. Right, I need to train my alteration. How do I do that? What? School of alteration. I suppose I just cast water breathing repeatedly. That might work. Because you do... You get experience for every time you cast a spell successfully is it true playing old school runescape while josh is playing nonsense that's true just nonsense in the background that's all we're doing i'm paying attention and taking notes you are the only one do you i suppose i just train my alteration couldn't i like yeah this is hang on this is way easier i'm just gonna pay you money to train my alteration skill up Don't, don't walk away from me. We're doing this more. Is there a limit to how many times you can train something? Or as long as you can just keep paying money? Because, I mean, we've got... I've got 1.6 thousand gold left, so I can just keep doing that. I'm opening relics in Warframe. Nice. The trainers are capped. With an alteration of 40, you can cast a 100 points open spell pretty consistently. All right, cool. I'm going to train my alteration up to 40. I kind of wish there was a way to do multiple trainings in one click, because this is going to take a while. And you are actually quite expensive now. I'm going to need some more money. Training. 18. Do we have the money? I do. Okay, 20 alteration. If I were to now make a spell of open, which can go to... Okay, so 68 to 80. It's like a 10% chance. 65, which is the lowest, to... It will cost 43 points to do. I don't even know. Okay, so 12% chance. Cost 40. 200, it would cost me 284. I don't even know if I have that. Let's... Okay, 65 to 75. Purchase? Name. I don't think I have 295 coins currently. I do, just about, but I should probably use them on some more training for my alteration. And then we should go and make some money. After training my alteration up... Okay, cool, now I can't afford things. I have 20 coins left. Should have probably saved some for not needing... You know, using the quick travel and stuff like that. 
There's only one trainer with 100 enchanting, but the trick is that she's hostile. Ah, okay, cool. Can't even afford the strider back to Nisus now. That's okay. That's not a problem. We don't need to worry about that. What we can do is we can actually go... Because we're in Balmora. Now, remember, the whole plot was talking to Caius Cossades. And helping him out. So maybe I should go back and be like, Yo, Caius. Hey, man. Caius. My main man. My boy. My sweet cheese. Let's go chat to him, see what it's all about. First time on the channel, love all the content. Oh, thank you very much, man. Appreciate it. <laughs> hey, Caius, I'm broke. I spent all your money on various types of skooma and learning to alter things, and now I need you to give me a mission. Am I using Ob Morrowind or the Graphics Extender? The Graphics Extender, this is vanilla Morrowind, well, Game of the Year edition, with the Graphics Extender from the Nexus. Yo, Caius, he lives here. Hey, guys. Are you here to discuss your orders, Lusty? Yes, I am. I've, I've helped out some people. You can help me now. Ready for orders? Good. Go talk to Hasfat and to Bolis at the Balmora's Fighters Guild. Ask him what he knows about the Nerevarine. Nerevarine? I've always said Nerevarine. But it might be Nerevarine. The Nerevarine secret cult and the Sixth House secret cult. You'll have to do him a favor first. Bam chicka bow wow. Probably an ugly favor. Okay. The safe word is apples. Let's do this. Then get the information from Antibolus and report back to me. Right. Okay. The Nerevarine. By the way, uh, Hasfat is a student of Morrowind history. Take the chance to get a little education. Tell me about the Nerevarine. Some Dunmer believe that an orphan and outcast, a youth born on a certain day to uncertain parents, will one day unite all the tribes of the Dunmer, drive out the invaders of Morrowind, and re-establish the ancient laws and customs of the dark elven nations. They call this orphan and outcast the Nerevarine. They say the Nerevarine will be a reincarnation of the long-dead Dunmer General and First Counselor, Lord Inderil Nerevar. Interesting. Nice. Oh. Ir ir irrelevant, but interesting. Oh, hang on, it's dark. That's a perfect excuse to use my torch. Hell yeah. Ambience, baby. Ambience! Look at this. Yeah, the Nerevarine is said like tangerine. Hey, lovely lighting on your Quickly face. Quickly, right Outlander. I haven't much time. It's interesting that this whole Nerevarine legend is going on. I mean, it's got nothing to do with me, but it's interesting it's going on. Hey, Torch Buddies! High five. Yeah. Something, something, Max Gamma burned into eyes. I mean, I'm pretty sure I've got the Gamma turned up anyway. Like, if you go to, um, video. Look, Gamma correction. It's light. It's really, like, if I were to take it down, it's even darker. But the Gamma is all the way up, okay? It really genuinely is. Am I playing this windowed? Yes. Yes, I am. Does that affect it? Like, if that's, if that's the thing, you should let me know. The dark just adds immersion. It is, it's immersive. Right, Fighters Guild, who are we talking to? Some dude. Let's go chat to... All right, I'm listening. Is it you? No. Hey, Idris, I know I'm doing some stuff for you at the minute. We'll get back to that eventually. No rush, though. No rush. Speak to somebody about the Nerevarine. Is it someone down here? It was you! Hey, Hasfat! Yes? Wow, that was a good reply. That was what AI can make games, ultimately. It can make 2002 NPCs reply to you at the right Speak time. Speak freely, friend. Shut up. I'm talking to Hasfat. Good day, Lusty. So you're with Caius. So he had a deep voice, didn't he? Good day, Lusty. So you're with Caius, eh? And Caius wants information. Well, there's uh, this for that involved. I require a favor. Then I'll tell you what I know. Not a problem, mate. Tell me what you want. There are Dwemer ruins nearby, called Arkenthand. 
Yeah, Arkanthand. I pronounced that correctly. I need to run over there and find me a little cube with a circular design and some symbols on the side. It's called a Dwemer Puzzle Box. Bring me back the Dwemer Puzzle Box and I'll tell you what you want to know. Okay, where's Arkanthrang? The old Dwemer ruins are extensive on the surface and underground. Head south, out of the town, past the Silt Strider port. Then cross the bridges... E remember this. I will need you to remember this for me. Cross the bridges over the East Odai River. At the signpost, head north toward Caldera. Immediately on the right, see a signpost for Molag Mar. Turn right and head uphill on an old road to cross an ancient Dwemer bridge over the Fayoda Mamea. The entrance to Arkenthrag is on the east side of the Fayada, south of the bridge. Turn a crank on a pipe nearby to open the doors. Okay, so... Someone needs to remember this. Someone. Someone screenshot it? Okay, Dat, you say you've got it all. I'm very much relying on you to do that, because when I leave Balmora, I will forget. When I am streaming, I am paying attention to you guys more than I am paying attention to the game, which means that I need you guys to actually remember stuff. It's good to have levitation in those ruins. Right, okay, cool. So, who... Hello, Piper. Popped in to say hi. Who sells levitation? Also, what do you want the puzzle box for? The little cube I'm looking for is about the size of a fist, maybe a little bigger. It will be made of a coppery metal with a circular design and symbols on one side and some lined marks on the other. That's all I want. That little cube. Okay, we can go and get that for you. But... Are these free? Let's take these. But what I want first of all is to know where I can get levitation from. You are broke, you can't afford levitation. That is very true. So instead... Let's have a quick nap. Quick rest. And off we... I like how the fact the torch is still going. I just put it down on fire and everything right next to me. Okay. Dwemer Ruins. Can you ask your we can do this. So. Where are we going? Head south out of town past the Siltstrider port. This is good. You guys have actually got this. This is fantastic. I appreciate that. Cross bridges east over the Odai River. So we've gone south out of town. Who is that? Hey, help. Yes. East over the Odai River. So east is that way. So this is the bridges over the Odai River. Cool. That's number two. I like how you guys have actually... I bet you've copied and pasted it from the wiki. I've headed east over the Odai River. At the signpost, head north toward Caldera. Alright, we haven't seen a signpost yet. But I'm sure there will be one some, somewhere. We head toward Caldera. Let's keep going until we see a signpost for Caldera. I love the fact that you've got to do this. It brings a smile to my face. It's it's so much more interesting than just markers on the map. Okay, Pelagade, Balmora, Caldera. Right, head north toward Caldera. Immediately on the right, see a signpost for Molag Mar. Turn right and head uphill to an old road to cross an ancient Dwemer bridge. So... Is that the one? That's the Legion Fort. We've gone north toward Caldera. But then we see a signpost for Molag Mar. Hang on. Head uphill on an old road. I think it would be this way, wouldn't it? Because it's head head uphill. And we haven't gone uphill yet, so... This is probably the right way. I, we haven't seen a signpost for Molag Mar yet, but I might have just missed it. Plus, if we just get high up anyway, we're going to have a vantage point for where we need to be. But this looks like a Dwemer Bridge. Fantastic. It's a quick save. As long as nothing bad happens as we cross this bridge, everything will be great. There's a person down there. I wonder if they want to be my friend. Apparently not. Now, 
I could spend some time trying to kill the skeleton. But instead, I would much rather try and kill the summoner. Because then the skeleton dies. And my god, that was a close fight. Lost quite a bit of health already. Iron War Axe, Cuirass, Fur Boots, Fur Boots. Sweet. Quick save, and we'll have a bit of a nap until we are strong again. I just finished the White Day's errands and remembered the rhyme. Remember the rhyme, guys. Never forget the rhyme. The rhyme is valuable. Remember, the rhyme is Saturdays at 7, Sundays at 4. You ever think, oh man, wish I knew when Josh was streaming. Saturdays at 7. Sundays at four. Remembered by the old rhyme. Saturdays at seven. Sundays at four. Aha! That is the Dwarven crank. So we crank that, and the Dwarven balls open. And then seal. So, it's a puzzle. Crank it. Oh, I see. It's open again, has it? So we need to crank and then run. Remember, after cranking the Dwarven crank, you've got a limited amount of time to get in before the balls shut. Right. Let's do this. Exploring an old Dwemer ruin. Can't imagine there's much down here. We are after a tiny Dwemer puzzle box as well. It is very dark. Like, really dark. I feel that I need to somehow improve how light it is in the dungeons, because, I mean, don't get me wrong, it's cool that it's dark, but it's this is ridiculous. This is utterly ridiculous. Night Eye. Hang on. Yeah, I keep forgetting we have that spell, don't we? I failed at casting it. Is that better? That's better for me. That is... Oh, hang on. I dropped my spear. Shouldn't have done that. We put it back on. Equip it. That is legitimately better for me. This means that Night Eye is a spell that we actually need to cast much more often. Oh, gold. In the old boxes. Right, so... Let's try and find a tiny puzzle box. It'll be around here somewhere. Find me... A puzzle. The gamma slider only works if the game is set to full screen. What kind of 2002 jank is that? You know there are hotkeys for items you can assign. Yeah, there are. But... Oh, hello. What are you doing down here? Gonna be my friend? Shall we be friends? Hey, how's it going? This character is in combat. This is too easy. Oh. <laughs> this is too easy immediately dies love it absolutely love it he's like oh you were thought and then just dies straight away I respect that level of energy um tiny little puzzle box over here somewhere no just Dwemer stuff Dwemer junk I'm gonna keep casting Night Eye so I can see it is very dumb that you can't you can't change the gamma unless you're playing full screen. Okay, steel and iron Dwemer doors to Arkenthrad, the Weeping Bell Hall. That's a Pokemon. Let's do it into the Weeping Bell Hall. Got my spear. May as well just cast my uh, my bound spear. I appreciate casting that. Quick save run forward. All right. You want to be friends? I have you. Apparently not. Ow! What you got on you? Give me some good stuff. Some gold. I'll take that. What's over here? Okay, that's Heaven's Gallery. You might need the Heaven's Gallery. Am I hurting them? Am I hurting people because I'm not binding things to keys and instead I am just light 20 points for 30 seconds and 30 foot on target. Can I just... Can I just cast light on things? 
Can I just cast light onto, like, enemy corpses? That would be useful. Sparrow, my goodness, thank you very much for all the subs. That's remarkably kind of you. Welcome to the stream. Hopefully you're having a lovely day. Hotkeys. No, no hotkeys. Every time we change spells, we go into the menu, select the spell. In fact, I can probably make that menu longer. That's probably useful. What's up here? Give in. You're dead already. <clears throat> I think you're dead already, my friend. Cannot rest here. There are enemies nearby. Nothing over here. Get my old spear back out. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. It was trapped. Hang on. That's bad. Um, frost trap. 16 points of damage for just, like, a while. We might be about to die. So what if I can get my engraved ring of healing out? And then just very quickly use it. Oh, we survived. That was very close. Nearly died. Didn't. Skill. Straight up skill. Hang on, let me just... Let me just keep poking this ring until I feel better. Don't. This is a serious game. Serious RPG, alright? I will not accept any shenanigans while we're playing this. Maybe I should also summon my much thicker and stronger spear. Oh, no energy to do it. Well, you know what? It lasted a few minutes. That's longer than normal. Stop it. All of you. Serious game. I don't like it. Been watching you for a couple of years. Glad to make a live stream. Welcome. You're my first and only sub. Well, thank you very much. Welcome to the stream. Hopefully you're having a lovely day. Let's play an old RPG. Nothing over here. Nothing down there. Can we rest? Can't rest. There are enemies nearby. Where would they be? That is just a, a metal bed frame. You You throw some handcuffs on there. And, oh, no, damn it! I opened the trapped door. Let's reload the quick save and try again. How does it feel to know death is near? I don't know. <gasps> you tell me. Let's just grab that. I normally do quick save between everything because I'm, you know, smart like that. I also normally don't open the door that says trapped, but. You know, sometimes you just gotta. Sometimes you're in that kind of mood. That's what you do. Gaming. Full-on gaming. Gaming master. There we go. Just open the non-trapped bits. Round. You're using a spear. That's unfair. Uh -huh. Yeah, get on the floor, you. With your inferior spear. Your useless, terrible crap spear. I'm going to wait, and then I'm going to cast some Night Eye. Right, where's Night Eye? There we go. Now we can see better. That is a Apprentice's Hammer. That is a Lockpick. I need that. Nothing in this crate. We're after a tiny little cube. That's what we need, like a tiny, tiny cube. This all looks very important. None of this over here. If I were a tiny cube, where would I be? I remember this from playing it as a kid. The cube is very small and is on a, a rack somewhere. It took me a while to find this when I was young. I'm going to keep casting Night Eye, by the way, because Night Eye will slowly but surely level me up. The Hall of Centrifuge. Let's pop inside, see what there is. Surrender now and I might let you live. That's fighting words for a man with a spear in his face. Run while you can. It's about time I had some fun. <laughs> and then he died. But no fun was had. For he immediately died. I keep casting this night eye spell so I can actually see. Can I just rest until healed and then keep trying to cast it? The problem is the Night Eye spell only lasts for like 30 seconds. There we go. 
Right. What? Oh, okay, yeah, I can see why levitation would have been useful. You guys were telling me levitation was needed. I, I get it now. I see what you were going for. I am picking up what you were putting down. Yeah, levitation would have made this way easier. But, hang on. Are we back here? Isn't this where I came in? Yeah, this is where I came in, isn't it? Gotcha. I see. Right, so I arrived here. Sure I... Yes, I came down these steps and turned that way and went that way. Whereas they were over there. So we go back this way and then we go to the... This heaven's door? There was a door that had something to do with heaven. We go that way instead. Weeping Bell Hall, Weeping Bell Hall, Weeping Bell Hall. Go back through this way. Does this take us to a new place? It does. Okay, so there were two doors. Heaven's Gallery, that's the place. Alright, quick save. What's in Heaven's Gallery? If I were a tiny cube, where would I be? This is another thing that Morrowind does that kind of Skyrim and Oblivion never really pushed into. It doesn't highlight where items are. They just are somewhere. Good luck finding them. Oh, I've angered someone. There he is. Can you can you get to me? Are there steps that will bring you up here? I don't think there are. Oh, I see why it's called the gallery, because you stand up here and look down. That makes sense. Guy who's only played Muppet Monster Adventure before playing Morrowind. This is feeling very Muppet Monster Adventure. Surrender now and I might let you live. Taste my spear. Heavy Dwemer desk, nothing in there. Heavy Dwemer desk, once again, nothing in there. Nothing in there or in there. Where are you, cube? That's the Weeping Bell Hall. We don't want to be that way. The problem is these are big, big Dwemer ruins. What a great death sound. What an excellent, excellent death sound. Well, we're back up to a hundred gold coins, so who's rich now? It's me. Dwemer chest, lock level five. Pathetic. Utterly pathetic. Easy. Easy. <laughs> and you know what's in it? Uh, actually quite a good sword. Dwemer coins. Don't need them, but I'm going to take them. You all thought that I wasn't going... Never doubted me. Ne never doubted me at all. Right, that is actually quite a useful thing. Jink blade. Jink sword. Paralyzed for 10 seconds. But its weight is 8. I can, uh, I can sell that. That's decent. That can be sold. You can't rest, there are enemies nearby, not a problem. I will, I was gonna fight them with my lockpick then. I'll fight them with my spear. It's probably a better, better weapon for this particular task. Anything over here? Rusted cabinet, coins, boxes, nothing in them. What's through here? You all thought that might take a while. Log level 32. All right, check this out. Easy, all right? Easy. Journeyman's lockpick. Here we go. Lock to complex. All right, cool. On Ducey's open door. Zero percent chance of casting because I have no mana. Right. Um, let's go and have a nap. Oh, do I have any potions that would refill my mana? Might need... Restore Magicka. Easy stuff. Where is the... On Ducey's open door. Takes 15 points of mana, so I'm gonna wait for this. Let's just... You do not have enough Magicka to cast the spell. Right. Any more Restore Magicka? Um... I don't know. I 
don't think I do. Okay, cool. I, I need to get Magicka back. But that involves needing to kill some enemies, so... I can't use a lockpick as a weapon, my goodness. Let's rest until healed. Easy peasy. Now we do a little bit of... A little bit of opening. Magical. Absolutely magical. And you know what? I never even doubted it. No doubt in my mind. Give me Night Eye. The good thing about casting Night Eye every time is it does at least level my skill, which is good. Finally started playing Morrowind after your first stream. Well, welcome to the stream. Hopefully you're having a lovely day. Let's... We've got to try and find a Dwemer puzzle box somewhere within this Dwemer fort. Oh, hello. Okay, so you are a Dwemer centurion spider oh god it's a it's a ghost i might need to summon my bound spear for that because otherwise i will not be able to hurt you i don't have enough magic to summon the spell right can i stab a ghost with a spear you're not a ghost you're just a see-through person oh, you're a ghost we're just a shit wizard. Die. Dwarven Spectre. Oh. Okay. So I just killed a ghost of a dwarf. Maybe you weren't that bad. Who knows? Maybe you were protecting the puzzle box. Maybe it was very important that nobody ever find the puzzle box. But I need it. So unfortunately, we are... Oh god, it's a maze. Come here, dwarven ghost. You know what? I should rest and meditate on what I've learned. I have finally leveled up, potentially. You can't rest here. There are enemies nearby. Okay. This... We came this way from the start. Okay. Rest until healed. You have ascended to level three. Well, I think I'm going to put five points into willpower because that is kind of, you know, needed because I spent ages leveling alteration. Uh, strength, speed, endurance. Endurance is important because you get more health later on in the game. And I think we probably go with double strength. And then from now on, I probably try and level better. So I always get the plus five bonus to anything. Steel Dwemer table. Ascension should not be described at level three. Well, that's where we are. Let's go with uh, Night Eye. There's a 36% chance to cast this every time now. Way better. 36% chance. I'm basically a master. Can I get a local map? I can. That makes things a lot easier, actually. Oh, this thing's like a big 3D maze. I hate it. There we go. Gotcha. Local map. Straightforward, then either left or right. Easy peasy. A shit wizard. I mean, hey, whatever school of magic they want to study. All right. What's down here? Okay, the deep ore passage. I don't think we need the deep ore passage yet. It's in here. Okay, both these doors are trapped. Quick save. How dangerous is the trap? It's not at all. It's fine. Absolutely fine. Not a problem. What's down here? That might be more dangerous than anything else. Thankfully, we can keep resting because there are no enemies. Ah! Heavy Dwemer chest. Let me open you, my friend. Here we go. Unlocked. Dwemer Helm. Armor rating 6, weight heavy, and raw glass. Raw glass is actually useful. It's expensive. I think you can make items out of it in the future. So we'll just... A quick check around. Raw glass. Glass weapons, if I believe, are... They are light weapons, aren't they? Okay, this entire room seems pointless. 
Unless there's some kind of secret, which there is not. Falling down there would kill me, so I'm not going to do that. Looking around the edge of that room down there, seems like a hidden secret or something. I don't think there is. Can we take these tubes? No. Right, so this entire room down here was pointless. Apart from the glass that we found. Oh. Cast the wrong spell. Can't rest here, enemies are nearby. Where? Rested out here, it was fine. Spear on the ground. A spear on the ground. Look, I'm pretty sure I would have seen it. Had there have been a spear on the ground. Look, there's nothing. There is nothing here. You lied to me. Lied to me. You, you're a liar. Wrong. Can't believe you do that. Can't believe you do it. I take a brief water joke when I come back we're at poop jokes. Hey. This stream, it straddles all kinds of comedy. Okay? Lots, it, it, there's something for everyone. You lie like a cheap rug. That's what you do. Right, what's in here? Let's go inside the deep ore passage. Gotcha. Okay, so this is actually... It, it's dark. There's a passage there. I'm trying to find this bloody puzzle box. And I'm trying to also use... Where are the torches that we've got? Right, we actually need to use torches now. There's got to be a thing around here somewhere. Let's go deeper into this cave and see what we find. This is not... Oh wow, it is still part of the cave, okay. I was going to say, that doesn't seem like Dwemer. This feels more like Daedra. But... That's a ghost. Come on, ghost. Let me stab you. My spear skill increased. Alright, dead ghost. Can we have a nap? We cannot have a nap yet. So I'm not going to nap yet. I'm going to keep moving forward, saving the game as and when we go. Pushing forward, following the, the kind of very small flicker of light. I can still see. Need to get rid of the little centurion things. So I can then move forward, try and stab these guys. Morrowind combat is hit chance, remember? So it does just take a while. We have a nap yet? We can. Reason I'm sleeping so much is so I can just keep casting Night Eye. Because Night Eye is kind of needed for you guys to see what I'm doing. There we go. How's the Argonian Maid doing? Lusty, the Argonian Maid, is doing very well. Thank you for asking. She is doing lovely. Oh. Oh. God, good God. Okay, yeah, I can see why you guys said get levitate. It would be a lot easier with levitation. So much simpler. Any secrets down here that we can get to? Nope. Nothing in the water, I don't think. Let's swim up. And then jump out. Okay. Right, we've got to make our way around this entire... This entire thing somehow. So it's across bridges where we can get them. We've got to get up there, do we? I see. I remember the box being on a shelf. That's what I remember from the game. The box was definitely on a shelf. That gets me over to there. That doesn't get me anywhere new. Don't think there's anything down here. I actually don't know if this is where I'm meant to be. I don't think it is. Because being here doesn't get me anywhere. It's on a shelf, but I'm not sure which shelf. That's the question. Like, are we meant to be up there? 
Let's return. The reason I keep casting this spell is because every time I do cast it successfully, you get experience in that skill. And I need to be much, much more experienced than I am. I might also use the Scamp Merchant, because they have an absolute ton of gold on them, and you can sell them pretty much anything. It's seen as cheating by some people, but I would see it as playing tactically. Now, there's a merchant in the game with a massive amount of gold. I almost appreciate how useful Night Eye is. Because when you successfully cast it, you can see so much more. Okay, we can't go up here. What about over here? I still think the puzzle box is on a shelf somewhere. But I am also aware that it's very, very small. So, shout up if you see a puzzle box. Let's have a look at the map. Nope, oh, enemies. Hang on. It's on a shelf, but you've got to kill a guy first. That's fine. I can kill people. Not a problem. Absolutely a-okay -A -okay with that. Alright. So that way takes us to the new place. We've been that way already. Have we been this way? And then the other way? <laughs> Isn't it in the main rooms, the level below? We can find out. We can find out, because the main room would be... Potentially this way? And then down here. Like this way. Ah, that might make sense. Let me just uh, cast Night Eye again if we can. We failed. Failed. Let me get out my handy-dandy torch. Okay, look for the Dwemer puzzle box. You inspired me to re-download this game. Good. I'm glad. That is all I ever intend to do. I want people to play extremely old RPGs. Oop, gotta put my spear back on. I think it's yellow. Just gotta find the right room. I mean, if I knew what room I needed to be in, it would be infinitely easier than just randomly checking every room. The box is straight up the ramp in the very first room. It can't be that simple. It straight up cannot be that simple. I mean, I'll go back and I'll have a look. I'll humor you, but... Let's be real. It's not going to be that easy, is it? You know, I'll, I'll go back. I'll have a look. I'll see what it might be, where it could be. But you're going to feel very foolish when it's not there. You'll feel foolish. I'll feel foolish. We'll all just feel a little bit silly when I repeatedly go on the same root several times. Hang on. Hang on. I know where I'm going. I'm going this way. Then we go this way. That takes us to Heaven's Gallery, which is... Can we... we can't rest. There are enemies nearby. Where? Everything's dead. Like, I killed everything. There we go. Have a little rest. Little, little cheeky rest right now. Are you saying like it's up there somewhere? It can't be. I checked every single thing up there. That is the Weeping Bell Hall. Have we been this way yet? We might have been. Oh, this is new. Oh. Is this new? Or is this... This seems new. I don't think I've jumped over this bit yet. I, I'm scared to even try, to be honest. Ooh. Quick save. In the main area, no gallery or no weeping bell. 
Okay, I mean, we could try this. I'm, I'm not very good at jumping, though. So, quick save. Didn't go as well as I expected. Did not go how I expected it to go. Not a problem. Apparently you can just... Nope. No, we are now caught in an interesting between death bit. God did it! Check that out, see? Check me out. Quick save. Sleep. Can't rest. There are enemies nearby. Probably the floor. Big angry floor. Let's go this way. Josh played a 30-year-old game. Hey, it's only 22 years old. Let's not... Let's not say it's too old. Jump spamming. Easy way to max acrobatics. We're not going to cheat. No, we're not cheating here. We're playing legit. Let's go to the Weeping Bell Hall. And let's go... That way. Hall of Centrifuge. We've we been this way yet? I'm trying to get back to the like the first bit of the the dungeon. It's a big dungeon. And you keep saying that the puzzle box was in the in the first bit of the dungeon. I don't think it's that simple. Okay, how we're nearly back at the start. You guys were like, "Oh, it's just in the first big room at the start, second floor, one of the doors." Big room at the start. Okay, that would be this one here? This is the big room at the start, isn't it? Then we, we head up here, do we? Gets us to here. You said head up again? Big room at the start. Okay. This is the big room at the start. You said it's the second floor. And then we start all the way up here. Can't go up any higher. Back at the start. Let's see what you guys say. The middle floor. Okay. But I'm pretty eagle-eyed. I'm pretty observant. I'm a very good observer-ish. And I don't think I'd have missed this. So middle floor. Middle floor is this one just here. Okay. Now I'm going to cast my see better spell. For your advantage. Not mine. No, back. Okay, I've gone back. I've gone back. I'm here. I'm here now. Okay. Climb the rocks. The rocks on the left. These aren't meant to be climbed. These are scenic rocks. Okay. This is scenic scenery. It's not designed to be used physically. I will do it. Just to humor you. I'm pretty sure there's nothing around here. Look. Dwemer bowl. We don't need that. Paper. Useless. Rusted, a dwarven spear would be useful, but I've already got one. Some doors over there. I'll go through them. But I'm not holding out much hope. Cells of hollow hand. Almost there. It's on the left. Left hand side. It's on the left, you say. Do you mean through these doors here? No, I've gone in the doors. Let's see what you're made of. Nearly died then. Whew, that was close. Well, you good on you, my friend. Gold? So I'll take some gold off you. Straight up. Uh, fire resistance. Unhinging? Yep, yeah, we'll take another open thing. You got some beer. You're just stealing stuff left and right centre. Right, we've got a puzzle box. We've got a cog. Right, let's see what else we've got down here. Hopefully soon we can find that puzzle box. Nothing else in the crates. Told you, wasn't there. You're all banging on about everything else. And if anything, it was just a complete waste of time. You know what? I'm just gonna I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna go back. You have been unhelpful. You've been rude in many ways. Um I would say that. It's a good thing that I was able to find the puzzle box by myself without your help, because it would have been embarrassing had you have done that. 
But I think for now, we need to very much leave this place. And instead, step on the switch to open the Dwarven Ball. Go. Josh, you're making me sad. Why are you making me sad? Silver Nightwing, I, I have no control over your emotions at all. I make you feel nothing whatsoever. I'm just going to go back, go home, leave right now. That's what we're going to do. We've saved you three hours of despair. You are three hours of despair. You can save me anything. <laughs> kind of strange that no corpse has a very detailed handwritten note explaining their motives. If you are taking the piss and we don't find a corpse with a detailed handwritten note explaining their motives, I'm going to be very upset at you. And you know what? Everyone else will be upset at you as well. Like, if we go back in there and there is no note on a corpse explaining motives, there's no note. I don't know who to believe now, man. I don't know who to believe. I will turn this stream around. Things were easier back in 2002. It's a joke about Starfield. Do we need to be making jokes about Starfield? Sorry for necro posting. Submit the city of Pelagadio is derived from Greek Pelagos, meaning by the sea. Oh, I see. Hang on. Implying the G is our H and the stress is in the word La, but also who cares? Me, I do. Um, it's actually a silent P, P pronounced Falagade. And that's what I'm going to call it from now on. The city of Falagade. And you can be angry and annoyed if you want, but I am right. We rest until healed. Now, what's very important is that next time I level up, before I level up, I need to make sure to gain five levels in something that is endurance, five levels in something that is strength, and five levels in something that is, I'd probably say, either intelligence or willpower. So, strength would be... Long blade. Endurance is spears. Five levels and spears, fine. Speech craft. We can then probably go with intelligence, willpower, and endurance. Yeah, medium armor, spear. We're fine. We've we've got enough stuff. We're okay. Just start jumping. Good point, because you actually level Yeah, you level acrobatics every time you jump. So we just just start jumping. Oh, good. Two skills for one stat point. Gotcha. So we actually need qu quite a bit more than I expected. Gotcha. What I can do, though, is just keep casting on Ducey's all-seeing eye thing. And if I remember correctly, we... Oh, there's the fort. That's Fort Moon Moth. So we want to be going to Balmora, which is this way. Check me out, remembering the map. Josh, what character are you playing? You know what character I'm playing, and if you don't, welcome to the stream. I am playing Lus T. She is an Argonian maid, and in many years' time, she will have a story written about her. In-game. So we are very much role-playing as Lus T. What is the maid class? Uh, the maid class is a class that we have specifically made. Uh, she is very athletic. She is good with a long blade and a spear. She wears medium armor because, you know, you've got to have that leather going on. And she's very good at speechcraft. Uh, minor skills, she's great at using just her hands. And she's fantastic at fixing up armor as well. She can be a bit destructive, but she is enchanting. And if you are very lucky, you can hold her hand. That's why she's got the hand-to-hand -hand skills. But now, Lost T, the Argonian maid, is our hero for this journey. And so far, she has been pretty goddamn heroic. Did I make the start of a stream? I mean, we're only like 12 hours into Morrowind, so when you consider how long Morrowind is, yeah. Yeah, pretty much. That's, that's basically nothing has happened so far in the game. We have completed a couple of quests for the Fighters Guild, a few for the Mages Guild, and we're about to finish our first quest for Caius Cassades. And he needed he needed some information about the Nerevarine and the Sixth House Cult. And we need to get that information from a guy in the Fighters Guild, but he needed a puzzle box, which is why we have gone into that Dwemer ruin 
to find a puzzle box. So now we go and give the dude the puzzle box. New haircut is serving me good. Thank you. My new haircut is actually yes, just pure laziness. I have not been able to find time to go and have a haircut, but I do very much need one. Right, let's get to do the puzzle box back. So, have you done the little favor I asked? Here's your puzzle box. Perfect. Just what I was looking for. Let me take this Dwemer puzzle box, and then I'll tell you what Caius will want to know about the Sixth House and about the Nerevarine. By the way, the inscriptions on the box seem to be directions for setting a Dwemer key to open a, sac a specific lock. If you're interested, after you've delivered your report to Caius, come, come back, and maybe I'll have a key you can take back to Arkenthand. Dude, I just cast open door. Like, I've opened all the doors anyway, there's nothing there. Okay, tell me about the narrow... No, the Sixth House first. House Dagoth is the Sixth House. The Lost Sixth House. In the First Age, House Dagoth betrayed the other great houses during the War of the First Council and was destroyed for their treason. I can answer any questions you have, but I'll also give you some notes to give to Caius and recommend some Sixth House references. Here's a list of all the books that you should read about the Sixth House. Okay, cool, so... House of, of Dagoth. House of Dagoth. Uh, they just really like listening to the Rasmus, wearing black, you know, discussing all their feelings and stuff. House of Dagoth, that's what they're all about. Tell me about the Nerevarine as well. They sound interesting. What's, uh, what's that all about? The Ashlanders believe a reborn Nerevar will unite the Dunma against the Outlander invaders and restore the ancient Dark Elven nation. Nerevar is a legendary hero and saint of the temple, but the temple denies the prophecy and persecutes heretics who believe in the Nerevarine. Tell Caius that Shan Gram Musgob would be a better person to ask about the native faiths and superstitions. Didn't some Gram Musgob die at some point? But yeah, sure, I'll uh, I'll tell Caius that. You guys gonna give me a little little note? Ah, welcome. What may I do for you? Nothing. I'm good. Let's go tell Caius what we've learned. Did you get a voice role in Skywind? I should be there. I've not applied. I'd happily do a voice for them. I've shown you guys my range before. Yes, madam. I can do middle class British. I can do middle class British, but a little bit annoyed. I can do middle class British with a cough. My range is effectively infinite. You know, straight up. So many. Josh, can you do angry? Uh, I feel that you would be too intimidated if I did angry. I would do... I'd scare you too much. I'm going to keep jumping to level stamina. That's why I'm just mashing the keyboard repeatedly. Please give us a new yoik accent. There you go. Just did it. Straight up. Now, what you want to do is you actually don't want to level too much with... It's athletics that you gain when you jump, isn't it? Or it's acrobatics. I think it's acrobatics that you level by jumping. And that I actually don't have as a major or minor, which is good. So we're 38 toward it. We just jump for a bit. Let's see what happens. Now we are 45. To okay, cool. I can actually just level acrobatics loads because it's not one of my major or minor skills. Hey, Caius, learn some stuff. Are you here to discuss your orders? Yes, I am. These notes are from Hasfalt Antibolis. Excellent. I trust he didn't work you too hard for them. Oh, mate, he really did. I'll look over them in more detail later. For now, I have some new orders. I've glanced at Hasfalt Antibolis' notes. They cover the Sixth House admirably, but not the Nerevarine cult. Hop on over to the Balmora Mages Guild. It's right next to the Fighters Guild. Get Shan Gramuzgob to tell you what she knows about the Nerevarine. She'll have some silly errand for you. Do what she asks, and then report back. Okay. Shan Gramuzgob. Can do, mate. Let's go and do that. Caius is buff. Like we've said before, Caius definitely eats his Shreddy Breck, and he has a very... He never skips stomach day. That's a very important thing for Speak Caius. Traveler. Never ever skips ab day. Every day is ab day for Caius. He is absolutely wrecked. 
wrecked, ripped even. He's probably wrecked with the amount of sit-ups he is doing. Spinach maxing. Interesting. Rararin Radris just ran up to me. I am a sleeper, one among thousands. I bring you a message. Dagoth Ur calls you lusty, and you cannot deny your lord. The Sixth's house is risen, and Dagoth is its glory. Dagoth Ur? He is the lord and father of the mountain. He sleeps, but when he wakes, we shall rise from our dreams, shall sweep the land clean of the Enoir. Why have you denied him? As Lord Dagoth has said, all shall greet him as flesh or as dust. The Sixth House, the Sleeping House, House Dagoth, the House of Lord Dagoth, the True House, the One House to welcome all true Dunmer and drive the Enoir from our lands. Take heed, Outlander. The day of reckoning is at hand. Take what you can and leave our place, for when Lord Dagoth comes, there will be no place for you. What, Outlander? Why do you disturb me? Okay, so it turns out that the Sixth House, Lord Dagoth, is uh, potentially returning, whoever Dagoth Ur uh, is. Daddy, Mountain Daddy. That's what they said. They said Father of the Mountain, so I'm, uh, I'm, che I'm treating that as Mountain Daddy. I'm listening. Go ahead. Uh, I, I can't talk to you right now, Rannis. I need to go and do a quest for one of your mages before Mountain Daddy comes back and just tramples us all. You. May your battle show only victory, friends. Thank you. Sean, I need you to tell me about the Nerevarine, but I need to do it in about five minutes when I've grabbed a bite to eat, a drink, and popped to the bathroom. So, guys... We are going to be streaming for a few hours yet. Saturday and Sunday, late night streams. Stretch your legs, grab a drink, grab a bite to eat. I will see everyone in about five minutes time. A little five minute timer on, countdown. Right, five minute break. I'll see you then. I never actually take the full five minutes. You know that. So, back already. Sorry, back right now. But some people, they may have assumed they have three more minutes. So, what we're going to do is wait for now. See? I'm not... I'm not an uncaring god. I'm a kind and generous god. Filled with a sense of, you know, grand intoxicating innocence. So what we'll do is we'll sit here... We'll give them two minutes. You guys can enjoy protein bar ASMR. Mmm. Protein. Admit it, Josh, you knew where the puzzle box was from the very beginning. So the truth is, all I can remember is it was on a shelf. Like, I legit had no idea where it actually was. This is content. Have I considered a video on Dark Age of Camelot? Yes, I have. But I get messages from people daily asking if I've considered a video on whatever MMO they want me to cover. And there's so many of them. I'm going to repeat myself. The sense of being redundant. That's fine. I don't know if I'm going to be... Congratulations, man. That's fantastic. How are you feeling about that? A great grandfather. You got old, man. That means you can do the cool stuff. You can be the cool great-grandfather. But no, congratulations, seriously. Josh, how much of the main quest do you know? I know that... you end up going to... kill Dagoth Ur. That's about it. That's literally all I can remember. I can remember... I actually remember more from the Tribunal expansion than I do from anything else. I know that I've played the Blood Moon expansion, but... This is a true story. When I played the Blood Moon expansion, I had it on CD, on like disc, years ago when it came out, and I had a laptop that could not handle Morrowind. So I tried to play Blood Moon, but because there are snow effects in Blood Moon, I played the game at a, almost like a PowerPoint presentation frame rate. I had like a frame every two seconds, but I finished it. 
I finished Blood Moon by playing really, really slowly on a terrible old laptop. I did it. I was very proud of myself. And all I can remember is the final boss of Blood Moon gave me a cool spear. That's it. That's all I can remember. The vision, then the conjuration. This is unsettling. Thank you very much, Kerr. Welcome to the stream. Hopefully you're having a lovely day. Forgive me for eating a protein bar. I'm going to have this, and we'll play some more Morrowind. Slow run any percent. Yeah, pretty much. It hasn't truly sunk in yet. It will do. It's also time to crack open a cold one. It's Saturday. Ready for some ASMR? I bet you're all like, oh, what's he drinking? Cream soda from Costco. Some of you were like, oh, I bet it's an alcoholic beverage. No, it's not. It's uh, cheap, cheap ass cream soda because I enjoy the flavor. Not sponsored. I just quite like it. Is it cold? Of course it's cold. It's been in the fridge. I'm not an animal. Well, I'm not crazy. Cream soda, though, is a good drink. I'll uh, I'll be up for that. Yo, Sean, tell me. No, no interruptions. How many times? Oh, you're one of Caius's associates. That is a different matter. Caius and I have a very satisfactory arrangement, and I'm sure we can come to some sort of agreement if you will complete a little errand for me. Okay. The errand, then, is very simple. I need the skull of Levule Andrio. You'll find it in the Andrano ancestral tomb, but take care not to upset the natives. The Dunmer have some very peculiar primitive prejudices against necromancy, and take grave objection to unauthorized tomb visits. Okay. Right. Where is the Andrano ancestral tomb? The tomb is south of Felagade, just off the road. Just before you reach the fork, where the road goes southwest towards Sedanine and southeast toward Vivec, you may need an enchanted blade. Some spirits are immune to normal weapons. Here, take this short sword, and maybe these old scrolls will come in handy. Fireblade has been added to your inventory. Two scrolls of Taldam Scorcher have been added. Two scrolls of Vitality, and your journal has been updated. So, we now need to go and steal a skull. Are we the baddies? That's true. thing is that funerals and tombs they aren't for the dead they are for the living because the dead don't know you know they've got no idea they're not sure i'll share something personal with you i went to my grandmother's funeral about a week ago she passed away about two weeks ago and she was a beautiful wonderful woman uh, my grandmother effectively raised me uh, and my brother when we were young. And thank you for all the condolences in the chat. And it was obviously a great loss, losing her. We were prepared for it for a while. You know, she, I very much um, credit her with a lot of the values that I hold. And I got a message saying, Josh, you need to have a, a black suit for this funeral. And I, I didn't own a black suit. I had a grey suit, I had a dark blue suit, but not black. I got a message saying it's... It's very much your grandmother's wish that people come to her funeral in a black suit. And I kind of thought, how's she going to know? No one's going to tell her. Now, <laughs> the thing is, my grand had a great sense of humor. Like a really, really funny sense of humor. And she would find that really funny. Um, to... To put this into perspective, everyone grieves in different ways, okay? Some people, I mean, the funeral, terribly sad affair, crying my eyes out. But there were bits that were very funny. And <laughs> my brother gave a speech, a very eloquent speech. And of course, the coffin was behind him in the kind of chapel of rest. And the, the congregation was in front. And my, my brother, no word of a lie, he literally walked up, got the speech out of his pocket and went, All right, welcome everyone, Gran. Don't get up. <laughs> Which was brilliant. The fact... He, he told me he was considering doing it. And I'm like, look. Look, Zach. You're never going to get a chance to do it again. So do it. Because it'd be really funny. And he did it. And you know what? It was really funny. And uh, some people laughed. Some people were like, you can't do that. I'm like, no, no. My grand would have appreciated it. Have a bit of a laugh with it. 
Anyway, um, to get back to how this links to the game that we have to steal a skull, they're dead. They're not going to know. They're not using it anymore. All right, it's fine. Don't worry about it. Let's go and get it back. Let's... What do you sell? Can I sell stuff to you? Barter. Ah, you sell... You sell potions, it seems. Right. Uh, Dwemer Jink Blade. Paralyzed for 10 seconds. Fire down... Paralyze is really good. Like, really good. Hmm. I think... Because you're worth 350. You're worth 25. Can I sell you? You will buy it off me for, for 12. Okay, yeah, to be fair, it's only worth 25, so that's kind of okay. Dire Viper Blade Poison, don't need it. Jink Blade, I'm keeping. That could be very useful. Amulet of Shadows, Chameleon, 80% on self. We'll keep that just in case. Um, Soul Trap, restore health two points for 60 seconds on self. Could be useful. I'll keep everything else. Everything else is fine. Would you give me 21? Art of the deal. Right, let's go and do this. At some point, I will enchant one of my weapons, but until then, I'm just going to keep using my summon kind of Daedric Spear, because it's uh, it's great. Are you giving her back the sword she just gave you? No. I'm selling her back the sword she just gave me, because I am a businessman. I'm a businessman with a business plan, and I just made money in business land. So... Write that down. I'm sorry that I can't help just being an absolute... I was gonna... I was gonna say Don Draper. Because Don Draper is the character from Mad Men, isn't he? That's where my business mind went to. But my brain just went DD, and instead I went Dick Dastardly. So, I'm sorry that I can't help being a complete Dick Dastardly which is a very specific reference that people over a certain age will get. Any ideas when I'm doing the Path of Exile 2 interview? Oh, fuck. I should probably check when that actually is. Hang on. I'm, if you're with the POE2 people, I'm taking it very seriously. Very seriously. Let me just check my calendar. Sometime soon... March seems like it'll be far away. I'll check the guys at some point. We'll work it out. It's not a problem. Yeah, Wacky Races was great. Dick Dast... Okay, I wrote it down. Now what? Just keep it. You'll need it later. There'll be a test. Where the hell was I going? Hang on. Right. The Ancestral Tomb is south of Felagade, just off the road, before the fork where the road goes south towards Sedanine. So, where is Felagade? Felagade's there. It's south of Felagade. That is far. I want to take the Silt Strider. I don't want to... I don't want to walk. Walking seems like a long way. Catch the Pigeon and Wacky Racers was great. I very much enjoyed those shows. Yo, travel. You going to Felagade? Uh, no. Sedanine? Yeah, that'll work. We'll walk from... Where oh, would you like to go? I'd like to go to Pelagay, but you don't go there. So just let me deal with this myself. Right, north from where we are here. Just pretty much over that big mountain. This way and then left. That'll work. That's a weird looking... looking thing. Draggle tail. I want you. I don't know why, but you might be important. I'm taking you. Right, let's keep going this way. Now, what build are we going for? You have no idea. Absolutely no idea. This is where my motivational speaker gamer is. Big fan of your content. Thank you very much. Welcome to the stream. Feel free to lurk. We're playing Morrowind and chatting shit. That's how Saturdays go over here. Yeah, we're playing a maid build. Okay, south of Palagade, off the road, before the fork where the road turns south. Let's just go to Palagade first. It's an ancestral tomb. How hard can it be to find? It can't be that hard. Do you guys think when Felagade gets pronounced in-game, Lusty is just going to murder the NPC to correct the mistake? Hey, if there's no one around to say that you were wrong, were you really wrong? 
can't believe that I've just been <laughs> paralyzed by a squib. That I nearly lost. That could have been uh, could have been dangerous. Right, Felagade is this way. I'm going to keep reading this. Before the fork where the road goes southwest towards Sedanine and southeast toward Vivek. Is this the fork? It might be around here somewhere then. Hang on a tick. Hold the phone. Oh, shut the front door. We found it. Beautiful. Never in any doubt. Never any doubt in my mind. We just found the tomb. Now we just need to cast this spell and down we go. They are dead. That is not a great sign. But it's okay. Because I can summon a bound spear. We're learning, guys. Palaziad. Felagade. Let me hang on. Let me just. Let me have a nap. I can't rest. There are enemies nearby. Okay. What's my one handed skill? Don't laugh. Um, do I even. I didn't. Wow. My one handed skill is terrible. That is a short blade one handed. My short blade is six. God damn. Okay, we don't want that. That's that's bad. Let's go outside. Vite, my wife says you are hot. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. But do you think I'm hot? That's what matters. Okay? That's what I mean, are we how hot? Are we talking like tier one sub level hot or are we talking tier two or three? Where are we getting into with this? I need numbers. I need I need exact I need data. We need to gather data at this point. Everyone's like, yes. Yes, fast. Okay. Like if we I need to know how hot. Let's imagine that we're playing a game of Warhammer 40k and I use my space marines with regular bolters, which I believe have a strength of four. If I were to accidentally roll them as a strength of five, and you were to have a toughness of four, uh, that would normally mean that I'm wounding on uh, fours. But in this case, I'd be wounding on threes. Would you correct me? Or would you let me make that mistake? Because you know, I might be exploiting it. You don't know. I would respect you if you sat me down and you said, no, listen, bolt is a strength four. That means you're wounding on fours. That's, yeah, not, you're hot enough to cheat. I don't like this. Exterminatus levels of hot. <laughs> Wait, no, that's kind of cheating. It is kind of cheating, and you should not allow that. Doesn't matter how attractive you think someone is. You don't let them cheat in Warhammer 40k. Okay? You don't. Or any other board game. I, I mean, don't get me wrong. I, I, I'm very appreciative and flattered. But if we're playing Ticket to Ride... And I try and take the the six length tunnel, but I've only got five. You gonna let that fly? No. No, you're not. You are not. <laughs> Sorry, there's something funny about the fact that I've just come to this ancient tomb. There's a ghost that's been haunting it for years. I've just turned the corner, slapped it in the face with a magical spear, and it's died again. I would feel a little bit hurt, insulted even, if I was haunting my ancestral tomb, and some dude that I've never seen before just walks around and slaps me in the face with a spear. Like, they're trying so hard to defend their tomb. Like, worry not. I will defend the tomb with my life, my honor, my unlife, and then just some random horny lizard comes in and slaps you with a spear. It's insulting. That's what it is. Slain by a mighty maid. Yep. Slain by lust tea. Never stood a chance. Never stood a single chance. What's in this chest? Nordic Battle Axe. That's actually quite good. Bosco. Hi, Mr. British Man. Hello, Bosco, from the internet. How are you? Penetrated by the Argonian Lusty Maid's Spear. 
Daggerfall over Morrowind, is that statement true? So if I play Daggerfall, I'm going to play the Unity remake of it. Because let's be honest, the quality of life update in that Unity remake is worth it, and the game is pretty much the same. I do, however, like Morrowind a lot. Like, I, I don't think they need to remake it, but if they did, I would insist on being on the team. So, these are probably little tiny gift boxes that you give the dead. But if anyone in here has any objection to me looting the dead, feel free to say. Alright, cool. Guess we're good. No one seems uh, too offended by that. I'd say we're doing okay. So, Daggerfall was great for its time. And I feel that Daggerfall, the, the Unity remake, by the way, very impressive what they've been able to do with it. Very impressive. Nothing in the urn. They've effectively remade the game, but with mouse controls, easier movement, uh, a nicer UI, which I think is very impressive. The bouncer owns all. I've not banned anyone in a long time, but I will. Okay, don't... There's a line. That line is when Duragon does not stop it. Oh, God. Wow, God damn. Okay, we're doing a bone walker. Just walked all over his bone. Sit down, bone walker. The 36 Lessons of Vivek, Sermon 15. You have uh, gained knowledge from this book. These were the days of Res de Yenea, when Chimer and Dwemer lived under the wise and benevolent rule of the Almsivi. You're just making words up now, Todd. You just... I swear to God, half of Morrowind was scripted by just smashing your face against the keyboard and seeing what happened. Josh, if you were to be a voice actor for Morrowind, which race would you want to voice? Uh, I think I have the range to do all of them. But I'll... Uh, Dagger of Judgment, Short Blade, One-Handed. Okay, value six. Damage Endurance and Damage Strength. That is a good... Skull of Lavello Androno. Sweet, we've got it. It's a cool looking bit of artwork just there. What's in this chest? Scroll of Elemental Burst Fire. I'll take it. Native Gajulan Bone Mold Helm. We can't wear that because we are a beast race. I will, however, steal your skull, and then I will actually go and explore the rest of your tomb. Just wait until the greater bone walkers. We will greatly walk all over their bones. Josh would be a great Astarian. I've actually had the privilege to meet and hang out with Neil Newbin, the voice actor who does Astarian several times. And you know what? He is one of the nicest guys I've ever met. He's genuine. He's really genuine. Bloody good at keeping a secret as well. The fact that the first time I met him, he was in the middle of recording some of the lines and he didn't talk about it at all. Uh, no, he was lovely. Uh, Neil Newbin and Ben Starr are two of the people that I've been very privileged to to meet. Never worked with them, but I would love to. But I think that our work tends to keep us in, in a very separate circles, if you will. As in, there's not... Homilies of Blessed Almalexia. We'll talk about that in a second. I would very much love to. You, Jesse Cox, and Ben Starr. I met Jesse Cox... Um, when I went to Ghent, actually, for the Baldur's Gate 3 thing. So, yes, I have met. Is it Jesse or Jess? I can never quite remember. But, no, I've met him as well, and he was lovely. He was... Uh, he has this wonderful habit that I... I find it very endearing and annoying in equal measure, where he will just wander off and do stuff. Like, we were in uh, the city of Ghent in Belgium together. Lovely city, lovely guy. And I was talking to him, had a lovely conversation. I turned around, checked something, turned back, and he's just gone. He just wandered off, and I, I turned to someone. I'm like, "Hey, did I, uh, did I offend Jesse at some point? Have I said something wrong? Does he not want to chat?" And they went, "Oh no, no, he thinks you're great. Uh, he just wanders off at some points to do things." I'm like, "Oh, okay, cool. No, I get it. I, I totally get it." And no, uh, the the city of Ghent is beautiful. It's really. We took a a boat trip around the kind of river that surrounds the central castle. Gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. The uh, the cathedral there was lovely. Yeah, it was it was a really nice place. I would love to go back there. And you guys do chocolate so well. Yeah, no, Jesse he does. He very much has squirrel energy, where he will just run off. 
Lovely chap, though. Is that Josh Strife Hayes, the famous theatre actor and online personality? Uh, I'm, I wouldn't say that I'm famous at theatre. I would say that I'm... The best way to describe this, in, and I know that was obviously a joke, but the best way to describe it is I'm relatively well-known within a very small niche, which I'm, I'm happy to be that way. Right, everyone stop having fun. Time to learn. The homilies of Blessed Almalexia. Sothasil and the scripts. Young Sothasil, while playing in the egg mines, saw a number of scribs in a deep shaft, and he began to cast stones upon them, snickering as they skittered and scattered, until one of the scribs, lifting its head up in agony, cried out to Sothasil, Please, please have mercy, little boy, for what is sport to you is suffering and death to us. And so Sothasil discovered the idol of amusements of one may be the solemn tortures of another, Lord Vivec and the contentious beasts. A Shalk and Kaguti were strutting back and forth in a foyada. All these words don't exist, but uh, thanks to Todd Howard they do. Casting aspersions of one another's looks. You are the ugliest creature alive, the shalk told the Kaguti. No, you are the ugliest creature alive, the Kaguti told the shalk. For each thought himself most handsome, and the other most ugly. Then Lord Vivek chanced by, and settled their dispute. No, you are both are the ugliest creatures alive, and I will not have my pleasant sojourn spoiled by your unseemly squabbling. So he dealt them both mighty blows, shattering their skulls and silencing their arguments, and went merrily upon his way. And thus Lord Vivec proved that ugliness is as much in one's manner as in one's appearance. Just straight up killed two guys who were arguing. All right. So Sotha Sill understood stuff. Vivek, the thing with the gods in Morrowind is just because they are gods does not mean that they are good. The Boiled Kaguti. It is said that if a Kaguti steps into a boiling pool, he will leap out immediately to avoid harm. But if the Kaguti is standing in a pool and a wizard slowly raises the temperature measure by measure to boiling, the Kaguti will calmly stand in place until he is boiled. Thus we see that we must be alert not only to the obvious danger, but also to the subtle degrees by which change may result in danger. The Dubious Healer Once upon a time, a Telvani issued forth from his tower and proclaimed to all the world that he was a mighty and learned healer, master of all alchemy and potions, and able to cure all diseases. Lord Vivek looked upon this wizard and listened to his boasting, then asked him, How can you pretend to prescribe for others the cure to all diseases when you are unable to cure yourself of your own manifest arrogance and foolishness? Nice. Uh, Lightfellow, hello. If you had an offer of being put in a good game, that's rare, and were presented with an option to put as yourself, as Josh Drive Hayes, or as a separate character that you're giving voices and likenesses to, what would you prefer? I would happily be in a game as a cameo, uh, whether it's a fourth wall break that's just me as me, that's fine, but I wouldn't ever want to... I would only want to be in a game as me if it made sense to be in a game as me. If it was a game that was a fully serious game taking itself seriously or taking its own fantasy world seriously, I would happily voice another character, but if you just stick me in the game halfway through, that's a fourth wall break, that's an immersion break that you don't need. If it was more of a kind of immersion break in the style of Adventure Quest, where they have obvious references to specific things, yeah, that would work. Game Reviewer Simulator. Would I ask if the game is good? Eh, I'd look into it. So if it was a, a game where it was very obviously a game that's taking itself seriously, I wouldn't want to be arrogant enough to say, hey, destroy all your immersion to put me in. Josh, I watched your playthrough of the Mary, Kate and Ashley game last night. Oh, good times. Remember when we did that? And I cannot fathom who the target audience for it is. Uh, apparently, us... Like, they were playing the long game. When they made the Mary Kate and Ashley game, they knew that in several years' time, a middle-aged British streamer would play it. That's what they were doing. 
Hey, Josh, first time catching you live on my first monitor. Ah, that's a mistake we all make. It's okay, don't worry. In time, I will migrate to the second, and you'll find something more important for the first. I know it. It's okay. The Guar and the Mud Crabs. The Guar was so tormented by the other creatures, they did not know where to go. As soon as they saw a single beast approach them, off they dashed in terror. One day, they saw a pack of Nyx hounds raging about, and in a desperate panic, all the Guar scuttled off toward the sea, determined to drown themselves rather than live in such continual state of fear. We've all been there. But just as they got near the shoreline, a colony of mud crabs, frightened in their turn by the approach of the Guar, scuttled off and threw themselves into the water. Truly, said one of the Guar, things are not so bad as they seem, for there is always someone worse off than you. This is just Aesop's fables with a Morrowind skin. And you know what? I appreciate that. Right, can we cast Night Eye? I very much need a Night Eye spell that lasts longer than 20 seconds. I would happily pay for a Night Eye spell that has so much longer to go. Right, apparently there are enemies nearby still, but I'm not sure where they are, so... It says you may not rest here, there are enemies nearby, but where are they? None, they are not here. None of them are here. Everything is already dead or re-dead. You cannot rest when there are enemies nearby. There aren't. There's nothing here. Look. Have we been this way? Have we come from this way already? I'm pretty sure I've come from this way already. Yeah, nothing here. Everything's dead. Let's go this way. Elder Scrolls games very much do need until rest effects. That would be great. I would be extremely appreciative if they did that. That's, that's a bit too easy though, isn't it? Maybe the real enemy was the friends we made along. <laughs> There's a skeleton inside you. Oh no. Wherever we go, there is always a skeleton inside us. Shrine of St. Veloth. Would you like a blessing? Yeah. What do you want? Um, what's Veloth's indwelling? Alright, we now have Veloth's indwelling going on. What is that? Fortify Magicka 10 points. Sweet. Oh, there's an upstairs. Hang on. Have we been in here? It's down here. What's in... There we go! Skeleton boy! Skeleton boy! Also, apparently, some magic. Oh, 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 god damn. Right, you're dead now. Fantastic. Lesser bone walker. What's... Oh, that's... Oh, this is like a viewing area that you can see the... The thing down below. Oh, god damn. Hang on. Cruel spark arrow. Shock damage. Looks like some shock damage. Longbow. No, I don't need that. We'll get a Daedric bow later, it's fine. Josh is winning against Match of the Day. Thank you. That's all I've ever wanted to do. That's... That is a... That is a true honour. I am slightly more entertaining than a football show. I have a question. If I want to stream, do I stream games that I'm passionate about or follow the trends? The streaming is more for fun than trying to go for money. Do whatever you want to do then. Do whatever you want to do. So it's it's a knife edge. It's a weird graph. If you want to stream video games, you have to find a way to provide value to the audience. That's what you need to do. No matter what game you use, no matter how you stream, provide value to the audience. If you want to stream an extremely popular game, let's use an example of, you know, Power World or Apex Legends or something like that, you are going to be competing with a huge number of other streamers, which means if someone divides or kind of searches by just the game, they will not find you. They are more likely to search by the game, without a doubt, because it's a more popular game, but you are less likely to be seen. You're a small fish in a big pond. Let's say instead you stream a 22-year-old RPG. Let's take Morrowind as an example. There are not that many people streaming Morrowind right now. But equally, there are not that many people searching for Morrowind streams. Which means while you are more likely to be found by whoever searches for it, the number of people searching for it are just lower. 
ultimately, if someone finds you, they will stay because you entertain them. They will stay because you engage with them and you provide something a stream cannot provide. If you want to do it for fun, you have to understand that when you sit down to play a video game, normally 100% of your focus is on that game. If you sit down to stream, you have to find a way to split your focus between the game and the audience. And if you split it 50-50, both of them end up being bad. You aren't paying enough attention to the game to beat the game, and you aren't paying enough attention to the audience to entertain the audience. So you've got to find a way to play a game in such a way that you don't need to pay too much attention to it, but still have some level of skilled gameplay, while you're paying enough attention to the audience to entertain them. For example, I've just ran completely the wrong way on the map because I'm spamming jump and trying to respond to your uh, your content. That's why so many people say to me, oh my god, I can't believe I watched this streamer play the game and they were so bad. They would probably be quite good if they only had to worry about the game. I mean, if I if you want me to just play Morrowind, I can just play Morrowind. That's fine. I'll be way better at it, but I would be feeling guilty constantly about the fact I'm not entertaining. I will listen, Outlander, but make it quick. See, I read that quickly. It's a mini quest about them wanting to kiss you, and if you do, I'm pretty sure you get paralyzed. But I didn't make any content out of it. I decided not to. And that's a boring way of being. Is there such a thing as being bad at games in a skillful manner? Yeah, without a doubt. Definitely. But that doesn't mean that you don't need to have fun while playing them. The skill is to make it look like you're not putting any effort in, when in reality, you are... Like, if you see someone gracefully swimming across the surface of a lake, what you don't see is the fact that their little legs are going, you know, 20 to the dozen, under the water, trying to make it look like they're not working at all. Make things look effortless. And someone who understands how much effort these things take will look at you and go, God damn, you're making that look effortless. Sometimes... I can't think of anything to say, so I focus on the game. Sometimes I can think of a lot to say, so I focus on you guys and chatting and having fun. Ultimately, if I won't, if I'm not having fun with the game, I'll just stop playing it. You can't make it feel forced. It's one of those horrible things where I've got so many friends and relatives who say to me, "Oh, my, my son, my daughter, my my cousin, my niece, my nephew." Where would you like to go? I'd like to go to Balmoral, please. Is it Balmoral we're going to? Yes. And then Mage's Guild. Why walk when you can ride? So many people say to me, oh, my you know, my son, daughter, cousin, whatever, wants to be a YouTuber, wants to be a Twitch streamer. Can you talk to them? Can you give them some advice? And I see so many people, and when they say they want to be a YouTuber or a Twitch streamer, what they mean is they like playing video games. How can they make money doing that? And that's like saying, I like watching films... Therefore, how can I be an actor? Okay, it's a good place to start. You know what? It's a good place to start. I I've love heard watching a lot films. About you, Outlander. Go ahead. That's why I wanted to be an actor. But what I realized was that just watching films isn't enough to be in films. You then need to go and train at your craft, learn how to do it, that kind of stuff. If playing video games is fun for you, that's great. Watching films is fun for some people. It's like watching football on TV and saying, oh my God, I want to be a footballer. How do I have to do it? Well, ironically, you won't be watching anywhere near as much football if you want to do it. You then need to go and train to be an actor, train to be an editor, learn to be a graphic designer, uh, learn to be a researcher, learn to manage your own time, do all your own taxes, that kind of stuff. There's, there's a hell of a lot of work behind it. Most people do want to receive instant success by going viral. I mean, so oh, mad, the amount of companies that approach me. And I know that I go off on tangents a lot, but I tend to talk when I'm doing these streams a lot. If you want to stream for you, just download a really basic streaming software, stream for you. Super easy. Don't expect too much. You might get one viewers, you might get two viewers, but you will realize the moment you start to try and entertain those viewers, instead of playing the game, you don't make anywhere near as much progress on the game. And you lose it as well. You, you lose the skill and the energy that you put into the game. Why do you think we've been playing Morrowind for like 20 hours and we're like four quests in to each quest line? 
We could have been halfway through the game by now if I was just powering through the game. But the amount of companies, someone, you said the word viral, and that very much sets me off. The amount of companies that come to me and go, hey, Josh, we want to make a viral video. I'm like, oh, mate, same. How do we do it? And they, they look at me and they go, we, we were hoping you could help with that because you've had some videos receive over a million views. I'm like, yeah, I have. And I've had way more not do that. So what we could do if you want to make a viral video is we could make hundreds of videos over many years, slowly improving our craft and slowly niching down into a very specific audience that we want to, you know, cater to and have and entertain. And they look at me and they're like, no, we were hoping we, you could just make one video and it would get loads of views. I'm like, ah, gotcha. I see. I see what's out. I'm picking up what you're putting down here. Uh, let me counter. If I was able to do that, why would I work with you? Like, if I could just do that, if I could wake up and be like, you know what? <sighs> Guys, the only reason that I haven't put out a 10 million view video is I just don't want to. That's what it is. I can. I just choose not to. When I make a video, sometimes I make it too good. And I'm sitting there watching the final edited piece and I'm thinking, this is going to get 5 million views. That's too many. Let me put some wrong things in. Let me make the editing a bit shitter. Let me talk to the algorithm and, uh, you know, hobble my own kind of exposure to everything. Yeah, 800k to a million. That's good. I'll sit around that level. But companies come to me all the time and go, yo, can you get us these views? I'm like, look, if I could, I would get them for myself and not work with you because working with you is stress and I don't want that. I want to wake up, play my silly games, make my silly videos, paint my little plastic boys and go back to bed. That's what I want to do. I, I still edit the vast majority of my own stuff because I value it. I enjoy that. Yeah, let me, let me shit this up a little bit. Let me make this a little bit worse. What plastic? Well, right now, we've got both the boxes for the Warhammer the Old World that I will be working through eventually. Yo, Sean. Is a virtue friend. Tell well. me about the narrow... No, hang on. You wanted this skull. I got it for you. Very good. Right. Is, is Josh ever going to get a second pauldron? No. Hey, Mr. Josh, can you make a video for me that will get 2 million views? Uh, best I can do you is 800k, and it will take about a month to get there. That's what I can do. That, that's where the, the worst MMO ever kind of sits in general. I really love it when companies come to you with no clue at all. I used to work with companies who wanted to do drama training for kids. And they would come to me and they say, uh, Mr. Hayes, you've got about a, a six week slot to work with these children. You'll see them for one hour a week. Can we put on a show? I'm like, you six hours, six hours is what you're giving me. And they will forget what I've taught them in lesson one by the time lesson two starts. And you want me to put on a show, right? I would, you'd be lucky if they remember anything I tell them over these six weeks. You have far too much faith in me. Let's let's lower those expectations. Prepare to be whelmed. I, I mean, yeah, I can put on a show. It will not be good. I can I can very much put on a show. It will be bad. Yo, okay, cool. I've given you the skull. Very good. I'll just take that skull from you. Perfect for what I have in mind. She's going to drink wine from that skull. Thank you. Now, as I promised, I'll answer your questions about the Nerevine cult. Jorian, thank you very much for the gifted subs. That's remarkably kind of you. That's not what she told us about the Nerevine cult. That was separate. That was Twitch. If you're watching this on YouTube, there are no subs in Morrowind. There might be. Caius might have that kind of side to him. We don't know. We don't kink shame in this sixth house. Fucking Morrowind pun. Oh, I'm so happy I was able to get that in. My brain just went, boom, do it. That's the skill. That's why you come to this stream. You just got a sexual Morrowind pun. Those are few and far between. That was inspiring. Thank you. What is he drinking? It's, it's just cream soda. Like, it's not even alcoholic. You guys think I'm cool. I'm really not. Very lame. It's true. I Varden fell for that one. Go 
Oh, damn. There are not that many Morrowind puns. But we're finding them. We are very... If you're typing in the chat right now, you're probably going to be on YouTube. Congratulations. Okay. You know what we could do? Is... We could just ask Visa to edit this clip as if it looked like something amazing has just happened. Like something in Morrowind that no one's ever seen before. You guys all just go absolutely crazy reacting to this, the most insane thing ever. And then Visa puts it on on YouTube. In fact, we'll do that in a second. So well, I'll count down and then I'll be like, oh my God. And then you guys just go absolutely crazy. Ready? So, uh, and three, two, one, go. That should not have happened. No one's seen that in the game before. That is literally impossible. Nobody's ever seen that. That's, um, that's, that's not even on the Morrowind wiki. If you are not on the Twitch stream right now, we have just found an item in Morrowind that is nowhere on the wikis, on any of the websites, literally anywhere. The, everyone in the chat told me that it was impossible to get this. I cannot believe that we just Anytime found this. Now. Don't even talk to me, NPC. All right, I've just found an item that doesn't exist, and I will show you what that item is on the Twitch. Dignity of it all. The indignity, indeed. All right, cool. I think we've fooled them. I think we've tricked them. I really, really want someone to arrive at the next stream being like, yo, yo, what was the item that we just found? That was pure clickbait right there. Visa, make sure you end this clip before I say that, because that will give away that this was very much a double bluff. This is how YouTube... Good job, team. Everyone's in the chat like, I'm doing my part. You just... If you have just typed something, you now morally cannot be against clickbait. You literally just helped make that. You've got no more arguments against it. You straight up just made that happen. My goodness, Fire, thank you very much for the tip. That's remarkably kind of you. I appreciate the advice. The donor is for all the content you put out. Thank you very much. Grab a cup of tea with it. I will. I straight up will. Right, this orc was telling us about the Nerevarine. Um, Nerevareen. The Ashlanders have a prophecy that the legendary hero Nerevar will be reborn. They call the reanimated hero the Nerevareen. Nerevar is a first age hero of the Dunmer people. All right, pretty cool. Um, he was, oh, okay. He united the Dunmer against foreign invaders aided by the traitors of House Dagoth. He triumphed over Morrowind's enemies at Red Mountain, but died in battle. Interesting. So, reincarnated hero, fought Dagoth Ur many years ago. Now no one knows where he is. Fantastic. Anders, thank you for the gifted subs, and Snuggle, thank you as well. Welcome to the stream. Hopefully you're having a lovely day. It's exactly to show the problem with clickbait. I tell you a Morrowind pun, but Nerevar matter. It's close, Chuck Norris. I appreciate the fact that you're trying. I can't say anything negative about you because you will kill me. So, Chuck Norris, you got there. You tried. If I play Morrowind, will I find my big titty Dagoth, uh, Dagoth Earl friend? I feel that we're very much scraping the bottom of the barrel with Morrowind puns now. Like, there were, there were some good ones, and now everyone's very much trying. The Invocation of Azura and the Origin of the Mage's Guild are both in the Mage's Guild supply chest. I don't need that. Let's go tell Caius what he wants to know. Everyone's launching ChatGPT and be like, ChatGPT, write me a Morrowind pun. Oh god, it's, it's, it's coming for our jobs, it's taken... Isn't it weird that when... When the world was young, we just assumed that automation would take all of the boring jobs, like working in factories and stuff, and now automation is here and it's taking all of the fun artistic jobs that we really should still be doing. Like, if you've got the ability to automate the dull, boring, repetitive, monotonous stuff, great, do that. Don't automate art, because that's the kind of fun stuff that we could be doing while we're automating all of the dull, boring stuff. Yo, Caius. Uh, yes, orders. Get the information from Shangra's. Yeah, done it already. Very smart. For, look, I've already got you the information about the Nerevar, the Nerevarine. 
Nerevarine, Nerevar, Sean, Sixth House. I what? I've got you all of the things. Nerevarine prophecies. Nerevarine. Sixth house. I've given you everything. Do I need to do I specifically need to say Nerevarine prophecies to her? Is that what I need to say? The NPC has abs like Jesus. Let's be real, Jesus was never that ripped. Alright? He wasn't. Look up AR, that's where we've been done. Call me a boomer, but I enjoy the wiki. I actually enjoy the dialogue. If it was easier to navigate, I would very much enjoy it. In fact, do you guys want to know a really interesting random fact about Morrowind? You can actually... Do you want something? I want to know what I do next in the quest. So, the Morrowind conversation system is about choosing keywords and then asking about those keywords. But you can only talk about the keywords once I'm they listening. have appeared Go at ahead. least once in the game as a keyword. However, if you name your character a keyword, it appears in conversation because it is your name, but then it also appears in the conversation list and you can ask about it. So if you name your character Nerevarin or Nerevar, when you talk to Caius, it comes up as an actual suggestion because he's had to say your name, but the game picks it up as a hyperlink as well. Right, so, Nerevarine Prophecies. Ashlander culture honors dreams, visions, and prophecy, unlike the Temple and the Western cults, which regard visions and prophecy as primitive superstitions. Wise women interpret dreams and visions and pass them on to succeeding generations. The most common version of the Nerevarine Prophecy is the Stranger. Did you know that Nerevar was known to possess a magical ring named One Clan Under Moon and Star? Nerevar swore his promise to honour ancient Ashlander traditions and land rights on this magical ring. Okay. Okay, cool. So we have the, the Nerevar's magical ring. You have to ask about Nerevarine cult specifically. This Ashlander cult believes the long dead hero Nerevar will be reborn to honor ancient promises to the tribes. According to the legend, the prophesied Nerevarine will cast down the false gods of the tribunal temple, restore the traditional ancestor worship practiced by the Ashlanders, and drive all Outlanders from Morrowind. Both temple and empire outlaw the cult but it persists among the Ashlanders, who care little for the realm. Okay, cool. So we need to go and offer our fantastic fabled ring and hopefully get us some land for it. I will start a new character and double check that because I'm I'm sure I remember calling myself Nerevarine and getting access to the chat way before I should have. But I will double check. Glad to finally catch a stream. Welcome to the stream. Got a question? Wouldn't mind. Ever played APB Reloaded? Are all points bullet and reloaded? I have not. I know of it, but I haven't played it. Let's go this way. It's weird that in Skyrim, the, the Dunmer people were all like, I can't believe we're being treated this way by the Nords. And then in Morrowind, we're like, we should treat people this way because we are superior. Every... Every single Elder Scrolls game is in some way about racism, apart from Oblivion, which was pretty much entirely about the skeletons being massively overpowered. Right. Why is the Warden laying on the ground? Because the Warden fell. Physical pain. Physical pain. Orders. And these are Sean's notes on the Nerevarine cult, eh? Excellent. I'm promoting you to Blade's Apprentice, Lusty. I'd like some time to think about how this fits in with the Emperor's plan for you. So, if you'd like to get a little freelance adventuring in, go ahead. But whenever you're ready, I'll have new orders for you. Give me some more orders, mate. Do it. I've thought it over. I want you to interview three informants in Vivek City concerning the Nerevarine and the Sixth House. First, I want you to speak with Adhiranir, 
a Khajiit Thieves Guild operative. Second, I want you to speak with Hulia, an Argonian in the Morag Tong. They are the Assassin's Guild. Finally, I want you to speak with Mecha Milo, a Temple Priestess. Here, I've written the details down, so you won't forget. And here are 200 drakes for bribes and other expenses. All right, sweet. You uh, you want to train me in some stuff? Unarmored speechcraft, hand to hand? Nah, I'm good. If you care to talk, I would consider it a privilege. Because I've got a good reputation. Kais likes me. Sweet. Right, we're off to Vivek City. <laughs> oh, Vivek. Vivek is what would happen if a load of city planners got drunk and decided to bet each other who could design the worst city. Uh, the second place was Rivet City in Fallout 3. That ship that was hard to navigate. But the first place, by far, was Vivek City. Made up of several cantons which you cannot get around unless you go down to the bottom layer of a few of the cantons and then weirdly kind of circumnavigate all the way around the edge just to get back what to the top. Say you? So... I'm going to try and buy levitation. Because my god. I'm listening. I need Go to ahead. levitate. Do I remember much about the Morrowind late game quests? I do not. I do not. This is reopening memories, without a doubt. Spells. What's your rank, Lusty? No, sorry. That's when you're higher, but not now. Do we have the money yet to buy a. We might have the money to buy an unlocking spell. We might be able to go and sort that problem out. Hang on. Yeah, all the cantons do look identical. Now, in order to prepare myself for this playthrough, I have been slowly working my way through watching the six and a half hour uh, patrician tier recap of Morrowind, which is a fantastic piece of artwork that everyone should experience at some point in their lives. Tinner's Hop Toad. Very fun jump spell from the Mage Guild. Not used in Vivek, but used from there. I already have an unlocking spell, but it's not good enough. Need a better one. What's my take on Monster Hunter? Not played it anywhere near enough. Anywhere near. Let's train my alteration. And then let's train it again. Training. Alterate. Can't afford it. Okay, cool. Spell making. Open. Magnitude. 100 to 100. Spell chance minus 1. Okay, what about like 80 to 100? Spell chance 5%. Don't want to make the area big. Just literally on touch. No, we wait. We wait and then I do other stuff. So, let's go to Vivek. Vivek is a problem. Can you teleport me to Vivek? Yes, you can. Speak freely, friend. Right. Guys, here we go. Let's go and enjoy the cantons of Vivek. If I can remember how the hell to get out of the Mages Guild here. This is someone's bedroom. What if you made it a random 1 to 100 chance? We could do that. I, I'm not sure where the number would go to, but we can find out at some point. Let's just pop down here and work out where the Mage's Guild is and where we go to. Hi Josh, came from YouTube. Wanted to tell you the content's great. Thank you very much. Welcome to the stream. Hopefully you're having a good day. Hopefully you'll enjoy some Morrowind. Aha! Okay, the Foreign Quarter Plaza. Right. So this is the Foreign Quarter. But then we go out to the foreign quarter canton. Okay, so. Nice weather effects. Vivek is a city made up of these huge pyramid style things called cantons. And I'm trying to jump on the edge so I can show you guys. All the cantons look pretty much the same. And the city is big. So we need to work out where the hell we go and how the hell we get from A to B, because you actually, there's no way to walk up the edge of a canton to get to the top. Some of them, you need to walk around the bottom, go in, go up to the middle floor, leave the middle floor, walk across the bridge to the other one, go down to the other floor, take a boat somewhere else, go to the top. It's ridiculous. 
I hate it. And I'm pretty sure if you look up, don't know if we can see it from here, but there should be a meteor somewhere crashing onto the ground. We're watching you, scum. The Three Ordinator gods, armor. One true faith. The Ordinator armor is some of the best armor in the game, and we'll be trying to get some of that later. So they very much fixed Vivek City in the Elder Scrolls Online by just not having it be the way it should be. But see all these cantons? See how they look the same? It's ridiculous. Right, let's try and find some. So, we need to speak with Hulia, an Argonian in the Foreign Quarter at the Black Shalk Corner Club. Right. Foreign Quarter, Black Shalk Corner Club. This is the Foreign Quarter Upper Waste Works. We have to walk through here until we find out where to go. Let's not make this official, Outlander. Move along. We need to ask around about her. What was her name again? Someone in particular. Right. That's all the particular compounds that we can find. Don't need you. It was the corner club we needed, wasn't it? To find out where the hell the corner lower quarter waste works. I'm sure the way we got because you actually can't get everywhere inside. I'm sure the place we wanted to be actually was where we were. Vivek is terribly laid out. Just terribly. So sometimes you have to go outside and walk around the edge to get to the other side. There's no internal kind of corridor to get there, which sucks. In the Elder Scrolls Online, Vivek is still, from what I remember, being built. Which is... Because the Elder Scrolls Online takes place before Morrowind? The timeline's a bit messed up with everything, but in general, I think it's before. Let's see if we're in here. Okay, now at the top. This is the Foreign Quarter Plaza. Right. And we are looking for... Okay. Hulia, I'll go in, in the foreign quarter at the Black Shalk Corner Club. The Black Shalk Corner Club. Let's find wherever you might be. The foreign quarter. Is this a Black Shalk Corner Club? Yep. It's the Fighters Guild. Local. Guild of Mages. So the foreign quarter's here. Where is the Black Shalk Corner Club? Foreign Quarter Upper Waste Works. Let's find out. Favourite Space Marine chapter? Ultramarines. That's not even my opinion. That's an objective fact. Yo. Um, I need to know where the person is. We're watching you. If any of you have any suggestions for where I should go or how I should find this place, in the lower waste works. Thank you. That is good. That is something that I can work with. Yes, robot girly man. You haven't hydrated in a while. Thank you. That's true. Let me have some have some drink. I've got to stay hydrated, guys. Uh, upper waste works. We don't want that. We want the lower waste works. Foreign court. I think you have to go from the upper waste works down to the lower waste works. I think you have to do it internally. Cool. Foreign quarter lower waste works. Now we've got to find the Black Shulk Corner Club. Wherever that may be. Or walk around outside and go down a floor. Yeah, that would work too. Right, Black Shalk Corner Club. If you're here for trouble, you'll be quickly, able. Outlander. I haven't much time. It takes so long. That's the apothecary. To find anywhere. Rare books. Didn't we have a quest to find a book? Hang on. Options. Quests. I'm sure we had a quest to find a 
book, The Chronicles of, of Shuleft. Edwina asked me to find a copy of the Dwarven book, The Chronicles of Nishuleft. Will they sell The Chronicles of Nishuleft? Okay. Oh, no weakness or fault. Cantons of Vivek. Chronicles of Pr Consolations of Prayer. Just looking around. You can read all these if you need to. It's basically a library. It's a rare book, though, so they might not have many of them. Just, excuse me, I'm trying to look around. Be downstairs. We'll ask around. They might have them. Oh, lots of books. Okay. Interesting. Do you have... Khajiit has no words for you. Wow, you hate me. Well, do you have the Chronicles of Nishu left? Yes. Jobsha knows the Chronicles of Nishu left. Perhaps Jabasha has a copy. Let... Okay, so we have to barter with you and you have no search function. Right, hang on. You have no search function in your... thing. So now we must find where the Chronicles of Nishula... There it is! It's 250! You want 276 for it? I've got 90 gold! No! Goodbye! Good day, sir! Where is it? I will steal it. I'll just try to take it. I'll find where it is. Like, physically, it's gonna be in your room somewhere. Like it's it's got to be somewhere in here. Is it? Is it in one of these chests? No. Is it in there? Chest of books for general sale. Interesting. Where would it? It might be on him. Oh god damn! That would be annoying. That would be super annoying. Am I willing to kill a man for a book? Possibly. Quick save. Khajiit has no words for you. Why you? Nobody saw anything. Nobody saw anything. No, it's not there. Why look at every book when you know it's green? You s it might not be. Where? Because it has no be? time for you. Yeah, I know you have no time. For that. You've said that several times. The desk in there. I can't find it. I cannot find it around. It must be somewhere. But maybe it's in. Ah! No. If you're here for trouble, you'll get more than you bargain for. Maybe it's in that small locked chest. Right. When you peek at someone's inventory, you don't see everything they have. <sighs> Would Lusty, the Argonian maid, kill a man for a book? You want something? Would we kill a man for a book? This is the question. I'd, I don't not think we now, would. Outlander, I on. do not th save, kill, load. Potentially, but I don't... No, I don't want to get too into the saves coming. Oh, the ordinator's down here. Okay, hang on. That means you're not up here, so... Can I read all these books? Are they skill books as well? If you're down there, can I... Can I try and lockpick this really quickly? Come on. God damn it. Fine, I'll do the freaking open door spell. You... I failed it! Five gold. That is all mine. And no one knew. It's the perfect crime. Right. 
No. 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 God damn, you've got terrible books. None of these have any pictures in them or anything. None of these have any pictures. You are bad at choosing books. Oh, hang on, we got one. Fantastic. We got medium armor increased. Right, I can't afford this. I straight up cannot afford the 250 that it would cost me. So instead, let's try and find... I think it was the corner club, wasn't it? We've got to find the corner club somewhere. Oh, thankfully, we have got a bit of a... bit of a map going on. The canal works, the apothecary... I don't believe in books. Why do you need so many words? They say a picture is Why worth a thousand want? words. Yes, just put more pictures in. You know, if anything, you're just you're not being efficient. Okay, that's an enchanter. We don't need you yet. Would some snuggles get us a discount on the book? That would actually make it more expensive. And we, we've tried. Steal all his book, then sell them back to him. It's the perfect crime. We don't need to go that way. Watch yourself. We'll have no trouble here. What's what's that way? That's not the thing I want. What's down here? Someone said that the club we need is in the foreign quarter, and I'm very much trusting you that it is. Because if it isn't, we've wasted a lot of time walking through the foreign quarter. I'm waiting. Is it there? No. What about this way? Ah, the Black Shell Corner Club. I never doubted you. You are all perfect. I never thought there was any problem with you at all. I will listen, Outlander, but make it quick. I need to speak. Our doors are to... always open. Aha, hello. Marsh Sister, welcome. Marsh Sister, because we're both... There That's brilliant. I love it when they do I that. Tell. They're like, yeah, I recognize you. Fantastic. I welcome you as the friend of my friend, Lusty. But I wish to go to my friend's bookstore, and these troublesome fools are in my way. I have tried to persuade them, but they hate my race, and I fear there will be violence. Perhaps if you speak to them, but be careful. And be ready. Interesting. Your friend's bookstore? My friend, Jabasha. Mate, you have no idea how useful you're about to be. Has a bookstore. Jabasha's rare books. If you will agree to travel together with me there, I will answer your questions. But before we go, I beg you to try to persuade these troublesome fools to leave us alone. Otherwise, I fear they will attack us the moment we go to leave. Troublesome fools? The sight of a free Argonian offends these racist thugs. It would tarnish my Morag Tong assassin group. Honour to slay them. And I don't want to trouble my friend, Seralis Golmis, by fighting in his club. But I must go to my friend's bookstore, where we can talk in peace. If you have a way with words, perhaps you can talk to them. Or if you have a way with money, they might be bought. Otherwise, I fear there may be bloodshed. The Morag Tong. Only a low-ranking member, but brilliant. I like it. They're, they're assassins. Okay, cool. They're not the Dark Brotherhood. They are very, very important that it's not the Dark Brotherhood. You know what? Quick save. Weapon. Spear. Let's, uh... Let's have a quick save and then a quick chat, shall we? <laughs> I hey, will listen, Outlander, but make it quick. Am I talking to you, Fetcher? No. I am talking to the filthy lizard. What? You some kind of filthy lizard lover? You wanna give your little friend a big kiss? I mean, yeah, kinda. But that's not what we're talking about right now. Hey, how's it going? Shut up and butt out, Outlander. It's the filthy lizard we're talking to. The rotting piece of trash ought to be chained up somewhere, not running around loose. I will listen, Outlander, um, but make it quick. Do you... do you not see... me? Okay. Hey, how's it going? Get out of our way, Enoir. We've got issues with this filthy lizard here. His kind aren't welcome. He belongs in the swamp with the rest of them. Hey. Go ahead. Hey, man. How's it going? Good day. I'm Raril Gorill, publican of the Black Shulk Corner Club here in Vivek. We rent beds and I have a limited selection of goods. 
You got a problem with the lizards? No, they seem cool. All right, cool. Here's my plan. Uh, you're going to follow me, and we are going to fight our way out. All right. Will you travel together to the bookstore? We'll leave the door of the Foreign Quarter Waste Works, turn right, west, continue down the hall, across the atrium on the same level, then follow the opposite corridor. Yeah, sweet, cool. Follow me. Let's do it. Ah! Kill. <clears throat> You're dead. You guys will be dead. Seems like an <coughs> easy peasy. <coughs> you are a beast. Never in doubt. All right, cool. Let's just uh, grab these guys instead. Let's loot some stuff. We got steel tanto. Don't need it. Steel throwing stars. Yeah, you're cool. Why not? It's been ninja for a bit. What have you got on you? Steel short sword. Throwing knives. I'll take them. Don't weigh too much. And you've got nothing on you. All right, cool. Let's do it. Let's travel together. Yep, follow me. Let's go. Easy. Easy stuff. Never in doubt. You can also find the Shoe Left book at the Red Run Records in Vivek, or the Library of Vivek. That is around there to be stolen. Uh, okay, cool. Let's go and take it from the shop. But for now, we're going on a bit of a bit of a wonder as we take this dude over to the rare bookshop and then we will go to the library go ahead you're probably right we'll go to the library uh, i'm not getting until 8 p.m tomorrow is there a chance you can put your occupation uh, i see on hold despite people that aren't here that's yeah i get it no i totally get it so how about this if you can't get here until 8 p.m tomorrow i will start streaming at four o'clock but i will not do anything funny until then how about that that seems fair Thank you very much. We should be free from distraction here. Now, tell me about the Nerevarine cult. To understand the Nerevarine cult, you must understand the history of the Ashlanders. Nerevar means something very different to the Ashlanders from what he means to Dunbar of the Great Houses. You should also know about the persecution of the Nerevarine and the legacy of the false incarnate, for the Nerevarine cult is at the heart of ancient conflict between the nomadic Ashlanders and the settled Great House Dunbar. Here is a summary for Caius, but ask your questions. Okay. In the first era, the nomadic Ashlanders and the Settles Dunmer clans were much alike. But after the First Council and the formation of the Great Houses, the Ashlanders have been steadily forced into the poorest and most hostile lands. Now the nomadic tribes look to the prophesied return of the Nerevar for the restoration of their ancient rites and religious traditions. The temple treats the Nerevarine prophecies as heresy, and the temple imprisons and executes heretics, unless prevented by imperial law. But since the Nerevarine cults are hostile to the Empire, the Empire does not interfere with the temple when the temple persecute the cult. Ashlanders hate the temple, and particularly the Ordinators, for the ruthless treatment of the Nerevarine cultists. They, my goodness, there is we a lot of a plot friend. going on in this game, isn't there? There really is. I think you'll play an awesome master from Doctor Who. I would love to be involved in any of these kind of productions. The question is whether they would want me. Because unfortunately, you can't just walk onto a BBC Quickly filming lot and, and be like, do you know who I am? I am the very niche YouTuber that plays MMORPG games. We're watching you, scum. Keep a moving. Apples. Apples. There's two of you. Apples. Safe word. Go. Don't try and fight the Ordinators. You will not win. Have I tried? Yeah, I have. I walked on. I'm like, do you know who I am? They're like, you're Henry Cavill from Timu. And I'm like, you're, you're right. I'm offended, but you're right. Right, so we've got the information that... Okay, Hewlett hadn't heard of a sixth house cult... But he knows a lot about the Nerevarine cult. The temple's conflict with the Nerevarine cults. It'd be Nash down great hands. So, we've done the first one. We've got the information from Hule. Second one. We need to speak with Ada Hiranea, a Khajiit Thieves Guild operative in St. Olms. Right, St. Olms is one of the cantons, which means we need to leave here and find the St. Olm Canton. Josh, if you were in a Muppets Horace Heresy as the only human actor, 
Who would I want to be? Okay, first of all, that is amazing. I very much want to see a complete Muppet Speak recreation of the about? Horus Heresy from Warhammer 40k. I would want to be an absolutely nameless guardsman who is terrified of the fact that everyone except him is Muppets. Like, it would, he'd be fully aware of it. He would be sprouting that it's kind of chaos corruption and no one would be listening to him at all. And throughout the, throughout the episode, throughout the film, I think he would slowly come to terms with the fact that this is happening. That's what it would be. It would be a guardsman who thinks that the fact that everyone's Muppets is quite weird. Miss Piggy is the Emperor. This is perfect casting. No notes, 10 out of 10. Um, now, the fastest way to get down here, from what I remember doing as a kid, is trying to land on the edges of these bits. Like that. I can't... Which one was St. Olm's world? Oh, God. Okay, so that's the foreign quarter. I think we should be able to jump to there. Sweet, did it. We got it. We now need to just get down even further and work out which the hell these cantons are. Can I survive a fall off here? That's the question. I don't know if I can. Oh, well, we're about to find out. Yeah, apparently. Apparently that's fine. Okay, so... We need to work out which canton is which. This is Redoran. Oh, that's going to take so long to work out where we are. So, st speed running strats, just jump down. Oh. Now it's canon that Lusty knows the basic principles of skateboard grinding. Oh, she was good at grinding before. You can, if you get close enough, look at these and they will tell you where you are, but ironically you can't get close enough. So this is the Arena Canton. Okay, so we're currently... Vivek Foreign Quarter, Vivek Redoran. That's Arena. I need the map, like the actual world map. Could someone tell me, using the world map, which is the St. Olm's Canton? Ah, there's a boat there. I can just take the boat. Because the boat is a fast travel thing. Let's just fall down here. I jump to the boat. Yes. I know what I'm doing now. St. Olm's is just south of Arena. Thank you. Thank you. I'm glad you're able to get there. Lax, thank you very much for the cheer. That's remarkably kind of you. Sorry that was uh, a while ago. I just saw that. Okay. My time is precious, so make it Yo, quick. Yo, travel. None of those are what I want to be. Unless I'm already at the right place. It's just the St. Olm's canton. Arena. Uh, you said south of Arena, so we're over there. Let's go have a look. Yeah, you guys, uh, you see when I said that Vivek is horrible to navigate. Like, we're, we're going to be spending as little time here as we possibly can. I do not want to be spending more time in Vivek. St. Olm's. Okay. Canal North 3. Canal North 2? Like, the Thieves Guild has got to be in the canal somewhere. Yo, Thieves Guild. Tell me about the Thieves Guild. That's St. Olm's Canton. St. Olm's Cantons, blah, 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 blah. Someone in particular. Where was the Thieves Guild? Welcome to Vivek. Appreciate it. Speak, Traveller. Said the same line at the same time. Twice there, that's impressive. I think your target's name was at the top, you think? Oh, there we go. Yes, uh, thank you very much. Atranera. That's Sneak. She'll be here in St. Olm's somewhere. But where? I don't know. Try somewhere else. It's just not here. Okay, cool. So, like, you're in the right place. But I will not give you any more hints than that. That's all you get. Right, Canal, North 1. I am a sleeper, one among thousands. I bring you a message. Dagoth Ur calls you, Lusty, and you cannot deny your lord. The sixth house is risen, 
and Dagoth is its glory. Yeah, cool. I, I get it. Very impressive. Do you know where I can find the woman? You clearly Make don't. It quick, Outlander. You are a sleeper. Can I... Can I kill you? Are you fine with this? I'm going to save you some time, my dude. She's in the sewers. I appreciate that. You have not saved us any time because it's the getting to the sewers that's going to be challenging. That's the problem. It's not knowing where she is. It's, it's physically navigating to it. That is the issue with Vivek. Like, she's going to be around here somewhere. But getting to the sewers is the issue. Canal South 3. Like, do you walk through these canals and get to the sewers? Is there a, a sewer? You need to go to the waterworks. Okay. Right, the canal works or the waterworks? So we're at St. Oms. Canal South 1, Canal South 2. Is it even lower down? Like, do we need to be even lower? Or do we need to go... Is this one of those cases where you have to go up here and then down into the canton itself? I hate this. You can reach the canal works from the waste works, which can be found on floor 2 of the canton. Ah, <sighs> okay. Right. Waste works. St. Olm Waste Works. Now, from the Waste Works, we need to go down to the Sewer Works from the inside of the Canton. That's the Canal Works, but we need the Sewer. You guys just standing around like you have nothing else Thank to do. You quickly, Outlander, or go away. I'll go away then. Right, the Canal Works. Is this outside again? No, it's not. And this should get us into the sewer. There's a trapdoor in the canal works which goes to the underworks. And from the underworks, I think we're now in the right place. God, Vivek is badly laid out. Yo! You do not please us. Not here to please you, although I could do later. Discussion for a different time. Let's talk about this first of all. Great. So Caius says to you, speak with Adranir, and you have done this thing. You are speaking with Adranir. But Adranir will not talk to you about the Nerevarine or the Sixth House. And because why? Because Adranir is at this very moment very distracted by a nice census and excise agent who also wants to speak with her. You do not know this. They are the collectors of the Emperor's taxes and tariffs, and the Emperor has outlawed trade in many things, like Dwemer artifacts and ebony, and a census and excise agent will enjoy being a pest about such things. For several reasons, a census and excise agent is not Aldea's favourite person. If you want Adrenir to help you, make the bad agent go away. Then she will tell you things. Where do you find this agent? Perhaps your ears are clogged. I said if you want Adnir to help you, get rid of the agent who is bothering me. Yeah, like, where do you fight? Where are they? I love the fact that a legitimate quest in Morrowind is commit tax evasion. That's all it is. That's straight up what it is. Okay, let's commit tax evasion by getting a census and excise agent to leave our Thieves' Guild person alone. Where are they? Just like real life. <laughs> right. Where are they? Hey, how's it going? Uh, you've seen a census and excise agent around the place. They're the Imperial agent that collect tariffs. You know, the tax man. Their agents investigate smugglers and other stuff. Yeah, I know, but where would they Make be? It quick, Outlander. This is what, the main quest, the side quest, the faction quest? Uh, this is the main quest. This is straight up the main quest. That's what it is. Okay, let's keep asking around and find this uh, census and excise customs agent. See what we can find. Yo. Hey guys, how's it going? You uh, seen an agent anywhere? Census and excise agent? Just... Just looking around... See what's going on. I will listen, Outlander, but make it quick. Adrenia. Crassius Curio. Don't think it was you, was it? 
I don't care who the Empire sends. I'm not paying taxes. Where are you? I can't seem to find the information about you specifically. Speak, traveler. He's hanging out around the balcony. Oh, sure, that would make sense. We're going to do that. No trouble here. See, I don't mind you guys telling me where to find the boring stuff. It's when we're exploring that's fun. Speak, traveler. Hey, uh, census and excise agent. They're the Imperial tax collectors. They hunt smugglers. Yeah, I've heard terrible things. I totally get it. You Any look time now. You look so much like if you're a census and trouble, excise agent. You'll get more than you bargain for. I'm looking for a friend of mine, a female Khajiit named Adranir. Do you know where I can find her? Yeah, she took a gondola to the mainland. Or I think you might find her in the underworks. Are we going to be a little servant of the Emperor? Are we going to say exactly where to find her? Or are we going to be a bad boy? I'm pretty, I mean... Ladies, if you like bad boys, I am bad at everything. So, let's go, let's lie. She took a gondola to the mainland. What a disappointment. But, thank you for your time. I was just heading back to the mainland myself, anyway. Maybe I'll run into her there. Oh, mate. That was, that wasn't a lie. You're a lie. Shut up. Hang on, just, just, hang on. We can do this. Yeah, I, can. I wonder what the ordinators think when they just see someone repeatedly running into the wall trying to jump over it and failing. Respect up. Yeah. Oh, we're so good at this. You're working for the Imperial CIA. You are well within your authority to just lie to the Imperial IRS. I'd never thought about Morrowind that way, but yeah, you are basically working for the FBI. You are absolutely allowed to tell other people other things. Why are you here? Because it has no time for you. All right, got no time for you either, mate. Let's not chat to each other. Not spamming junk everywhere. Look, I'm trying to spam junk. Where? Junk. I am trying to spam junk. Where is my contact? Where have they gone? They were down here. See? Acrobatic skill increased. That is a squib? No, it's a rat. Thrilling stuff. Right. Is that you again? I don't remember you. You're new. Hello. This is the end oh, of you, no. Swift. Bad choice. Bad cho Bad touch. Bad touch. Oh, you've got loads of health. God damn. Oh, goodness me. Oh, okay. God damn, you have an absolute ton of health. And I'm dead. Right, let's uh, load the game. That was pretty powerful. Let's see if we can kill her, shall we? So, we can do this. Here's what we need to do. One, have a nap. Or... You had a disturbing dream. You could only recall one part. A tall figure with a golden mask led you among the dead, as though through a wedding celebration. You heard many voices, but no lips moved. You strained to breathe, but your chest didn't move. The tall figure spoke with each figure as he passed among them, laughing and joking, as if they were alive, but they made no reply. You tried to cry out, but without breath, your tongue fluttered in vain. Oh. Oh. What a dream. Rest until healed. Thank you. Okay, right. First thing. Bound spear. Summon. Failed. 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 Not very good at this. Finally, we got it at the end. We then go with the Lover's Kiss. Which should, if used correctly, stun this person for a while. Mm. 
You will die! And then... <coughs> Morrowind. That's how we do it. That is how you Morrowind. It's not cheating. It's everything in the game. We used our racial ability of the lover's kiss. No, it's been born in the, under the star of the lover. We used the lover's ability to paralyze them, and then we summoned a Daedric Spear and stabbed them to death. And what do we get? We get steel armor, which I'm not going to use or need, because it's heavy armor, and I am instead specialized in medium armor. Yeah, heavy armor to me is bad. I don't need it. None of this is useful to me in any way. It's not che It's not even bug use. It's not bug use. It's I'm summoning a spear and I'm using my own ability. You can train heavy armor. I could train heavy armor. I could get some pauldrons. They're pretty cool. These pauldrons, they weigh 8. Armor rating 22. Armor rating 22. That weighs 8. Look, armor rating 5 because I'm bad at it. In Morrowind, it doesn't just mean that if the armor rating is better, you know, it may be better for you. If you're better at using medium armor, then medium armor is going to give you more defense. Even though that's heavy armor, it doesn't actually give me more defense because I'm not as skilled in its use. And then my bound spear goes away to be replaced with this one. Okay, we need to find where the hell this, uh, hang on. A shrine? Oh! Oh, let me out, let me out, let me out. Oof! Quick, have a nap. Tactical nap. Quick, summon a spear. I don't know what that was, but I went there and got immediately attacked, so... We're just gonna quick save, pop back in, and then... And then die. Okay, cool. Let's uh, load the game again. Okay, this is very hard. I feel that I need more skills than this. And no, it's a quest I don't have yet. Yeah, I'm I'm going to let them live. I feel that they've earned their life. They can remain alive. That's fine. Where has my bloody contact gone to? Why has she moved? I need more lovers kissing. We do, but first of all, we should play Morrowind. Where is my contact? Where are you? There you are. Why have you moved so much? My God. It comes near. What does it want? Look, I've just sorted you out, mate. So, are you the one Adrian here must thank for getting rid of the annoying census and excise agent? Indeed, Adrian is very glad to see you. I'm very happy to tell a friend of my good friend Caius all about the Sixth House cult. This Adrian here knows about because it is about smuggling. Some smart smugglers are suddenly too busy for their old clients because they have a new employer. The sick. She didn't move, you entered from the wrong direction. I don't think that's true. They have a new employer, the Sixth House, who pays very well. But what do they smuggle? Adrenir doesn't know, because they are very secret. And that is odd, because these smugglers are always loud and bragging. And now they hush up like fat bellied kitties full of sweetmeats. Interesting. So, the Sixth House are doing a little bit of smuggling. We we do a little bit of smuggling. Ah, yes, I I see what may have happened last time. I'm waiting. You can continue waiting. I'm not talking to you. I'm going this way. Right. So, we have we have spoken to two people. What else do we need? Okay. Spoken to Adrenia. That's fine. We have spoken to Huli and Argonian in the foreign quarter. We now need to speak to 
Mera Milo, a temple priestess at the Hall of Wisdom in the Temple Compound. So Mera Milo, Temple Compound. Let's go and find her. Couldn't get confused in Vivek. Oh, you could. All the time, forever. Where is the Temple Compound? The temple, I believe, is one of the bigger cantons that I think is toward the edge. Quickly, Outlander. I haven't much time. <laughs> that is my accomplishment. I've spoken to two people. What else is there? I can't think of anything else we could possibly need to do. The temple is the southmost canton. Thank you. If I remember... Oh, look. See up there? This is quite cool. That is a meteor that has been held in the air and prevented from crashing down onto the floor by Vivek's magic. I'm going to see if I can spam jump, and I did not mean to do this. That was very lucky. That, that was not lucky. That was a failure. So that meteor up there, that falling rock, is being held up in stasis by magic. It fell down onto the... I think you can actually see that in the Elder Scrolls Online still, can't you? That, I think, is there. Right, what I need to do, however, is work out how the hell I'm going to get out of here. Could probably cast some cool water breathing at some point. And people live up there, yes. In fact, you need to get up there. But the only way to get up there is... with, if I remember correctly, a levitation spell. So we might even need to levitate at some point. But right now, I need to be out the water so I can actually get to the place, which is super annoying. Isn't there a prison up there? It's the corpus prison, isn't it? Where they stick the people who have got the weird corpus disease. I'm going to keep casting this just to level up. Levitation is one of the most important things we could possibly get. Who sells levitation? Because I need it. If I remember correctly as well, isn't up there one of the only full... Daedric armor sets. You have you can levitate to get a Daedric armor set, can't you? Do I have a list of mods I'm using? Um, pretty much just the Morrowind graphics extender. Right. Oh, hang on. Die, mud crab. Right, did you say levitation is in Balmora? If it's in Balmora, we can just go back there right now and get it. I am super tempted to do that. Hang on, we'll just recall to Balmora, like, right now. Let's have a nap. Recall to Balmora, and straight away, just get levitation. The mage is good. The armor is on a Telvani mage. Yes, I remember that. God damn it. Okay, so I cannot cast recall it seems, and I can't rest because of that stupid crap. Let us continue to rest and then use recall if I can. Recall on self. I am bad at this. I am so bad at this. Like, statistically, I should have cast this at least once by now. What's the chance of me casting it? Recall. If I can have a nap in a second. What is the chance of me casting it? 19%. Okay. I have a 19% chance to cast it. That's 20% effectively. And I'm failing it multiple times. I just want to recall. I should probably put recall onto an amulet, shouldn't I? Because you can do that. Thank you. Finally. Dirt, 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 dirt. Everywhere and dirt. All right. Wow, that was... That was a bit harsh. But... Oh, all right, sorry. I'll, I'll leave you alone. Good That's what you think of me. Looking for something in particular. Yes, I am. Teach me levitation. Levitate, 446 gold. Levitate 10 points for 30 seconds on self. You are too expensive. So I cannot get it yet. Can I sell you some stuff? Who 
can I sell things to? Right. Yes, what is it? I Give need it. to barter with someone. How much gold do I have? 95, that's not enough. Right, can you sell stuff? Yeah, here we go. Okay, how much gold you got? You got 200, that's not enough. Um, can I sell you these things, though? Yeah, okay, cool. What about give me 180 for that? Come on, let's, uh... Offer is refused. Goddamn, 170. Out of the deal. Right what there. Is your business here? I'm gonna go and sell some stuff to the pawnbroker. Then I'm gonna come back and buy... Levitation. Yo, can I... No, I can't sell things to you yet. What is this about? How did I miss the start? How did you miss the start? Quickly remember the rhyme? I haven't much time. Saturday is at 7 and Sunday is at 4. Didn't remember the rhyme. What does levitation do? Literally just lets you fly. Morrowind is very much a game built around the player being able to fly. Barter. Yeah, you buy, uh... Okay, seller's gold 700. What if I were to sell you that flower? What if I were to sell you... What if... Some throwing knives. So how about you give me 530? Art of the deal. Okay, cool. Now we have enough to go and buy this spell. Can you complete the game without levitation? Yes, you can. But there is a part of the game where you need to levitate, but you do get given a levitation scroll. So, there are many, many spells in Morrowind, and you can just put them in scrolls, or even on items. You could enchant items do you want? with spells, and then you can use the spell from the item, but it uses up charges. And then you must recharge the item through enchanting. Or you can make your own spells. So I will buy yes, Levitate. What do you want? Spells. Levitate. And now if I go to make my own spell, spell making, because I know Levitate, I can use Levitate as a basis. What if I want to Levitate on self, magnitude 50, which is very powerful, for... currently that's one second. The more duration you put up, the more expensive it gets, and the less chance you have of casting it. So in theory, if you want to levitate for 10 minutes, there you go, 600 seconds. Okay, levitation spell, 600 seconds. But let's make it actually possible to cast. Um, zero, even if I did zero, I have a minus 31% chance of casting it. That's pretty bad. One levitate for 30 seconds is very nice. What if we were to do one levitate for like 300 seconds, which is five minutes? Okay, so five minutes. Oh, yeah, okay, as soon as we go from... Yeah, we still can't do that. Let's just cancel that. The chance of me casting levitate now is... Zero. It's alteration, so I need to sleep oh, first. Let's find out. Let's teleport back and then sleep. Then we'll go to Vivek. Cliff, racers, tail spike, and a flower make levitation potions. I can teleport to Vivek from here, can't I? Yeah, you guys can just send me straight to Vivek. Okay. Yo. Travel Vivek. Then we leave here. Yes. Soul Trap plus Levitate, you will exit the map. Interesting. We will get round to doing that at some point. We will do many shenanigans. Don't yes. you worry. There will be a lot of shenanigans. Okay, so you can't sleep outside, which means you can't actually restore your mana, which is very irritating. Yes, I heard a lot about... I'm a busy gal, so if you could hurry this up. Not now. Quickly, okay. Outlander, or go Head away. On. Stop talking to me, everyone. I don't want to talk to any of you. Okay, so you can't even wait here because it counts as being illegal. Uh, and we want to go south, don't we? All the way south. I can't focus on anything apart from Josh's shiny hair. Well, I've I've worked many years of my life to get the shiniest hair I possibly can. It's It's been a long time coming, but we got there. Did not mean to do this. However, it's worked. 
Okay, that, that wasn't meant to happen, but... All right, here we are. Now we go this way. We, we can't wait. Do I have any things that restore magicka? Restore health, fortify health, fortify magicka. Because in Morrowind, you don't restore magicka slowly. That's one of the things that Oblivion and Skyrim, I think, added to it that was good. In Morrowind, you do not get your magicka back. It's very, very, very slow. Yeah, it's uh, it's illegal to sleep here. You cannot sleep here. Other stuff, fine. But you can't sleep here. Let's just run, shall we? Don't make me soul bomb Balmora. Yeah. If you're here for trouble. Can we can you take me to the temple? Travel. Temple. It's only two gold. It's totally worth doing. Okay, so this gets us to the temple. Yep, there's the there's the thing up there. Can we sleep here? We cannot. Right, the temple. Who are we looking for again? We're looking for. We're looking for Mera Milo, the Hall of Wisdom. Mera Milo. This is the Hall of Justice. The Hall of Wisdom. Is this one over here? Yes. Yes, it is. Yo, uh, Meramilo. Where can I find Meramilo? You won't tell me. Okay, cool. That's the, the Library of Vivek. Can we find the book? Can we Let's find... Let's not make this official outlander move along. What was the book called? It was the... History of Nashulef, wasn't it? Make this official outlander. Move Let's find the History of Nashulef book, and then possibly steal it. it was green, wasn't it? Looking for the green book. No. Oh, was it that one? The Chronicles of, of Nashulef. Quick save. Yes. Guys, we just did a crime. We did a criminal. As long as no one Watch asks yourself. Me. We'll have no trouble here. You won't have any trouble, mate, because I'm just like the sly fox of crime. Look, that is something that Lusty would do. Lusty the Argonia maid would definitely do that. Straight up. Book thief. If the books have a problem with being stolen, they should have said. Don't talk to me. Yo, where is this person? Where is this person that I'm meant to be finding? Local. It's just a library everywhere. What was their name again, the woman I was looking for? Was it up here? Not now, Outlander. Head on. Library. This is all libraries. Milo's quarters. Lock level 20. Save the game. Oh, you're, if, if you're new to the stream and you're wondering why I keep saying that, yes, it's because my character is Lus T, the Argonian maid. When we've made a, a full, unique can't cast open door. I don't have the mana for it. I do, however, have a scroll of unhinging. Yeah. Let's pop inside. I'm sure they won't be annoyed. They're not here. Anything I can take? They have some. There we go. Quality rising force potion. I think... That is the... That's the flying potion that they might give you. Talk to Milo first. I'm trying to find Milo. I can't find Milo anywhere. I mean, they're meant to be in this canton somewhere. 
but I cannot seem to find where the heck Milo is. Yeah, you know where Milo is? Oh, Mera Milo. Works in the library. Oh. Oh, she will not be happy with me. Right. No, I, I see where this is, is gone wrong. Yeah. Gotcha. Just yell Milo. That would work. That would definitely... You would find her... Hey, Milo. You talk talk to too much much there. I've not said anything. Literally anything. Like hey, Milo, how's it going? I don't have a lot of Move patience along. for questions, Outlander. Yes, I'm uh, Mera Milo. Kaya Kaya sent you. Follow me into the back of the library. We can't talk here. Three I'll follow gods. you. What Isn't it truth. crazy that we've all got copies of this book? You shouldn't. You shouldn't look for how many copies you've got. You've got enough. Go ahead. I'm afraid I don't know anything about a sixth house cult, but I can tell you about the Nerevarine cult. The temple worships Nerevar as a saint and a hero, but prophecies of his reincarnation are punished as wicked heresy. The Nerevarine cult claims the tribunal are false gods, hence the temple's persecution of the Nerevarine cult. A group called the Dissident Priests disputes temple doctrine on the Nerevarine prophecies. The prescribed book Progress of Truth describes their beliefs. Get a copy of Progress of Truth for Caius. That will tell him things he needs to know about the Nerevarine cult. The Progress of Truth. Excellent. Right, cool. I'm just going to quick save and... Pretty sure I saw a book called The Progress of Truth somewhere. On the, on the shelf, possibly. I'm sure I saw one around. Make it quick, Outlander. Quiet, I am trying to steal from you. If I was a book called The Progress of Truth, where would I be? I'm sure I've seen one around somewhere. Like, it may have been over here. I steal quickly, Outlander. Steal very quickly. No, it was the true noble's cause. Keep moving. No, not until I found the right thing. Can you just take books? This is a library. That's how they work. Let's not make this do you sell not books? What a long like, you surely... Submit to the three. Surely this is how libraries are meant to work. You just take stuff. Will I get angry if I take this? That's. Will, will they get angry if I just take books? You sell books? Do you want something? Progress of truth. Maybe I should purchase it from that other dude. Hang on. I know where I saw it. What outlander? I saw Why it in it. Disturb me? I what? saw it in her office, didn't Why? I? I saw the progress of truth in her office. Go ahead. That was where I saw it. Does that mean I can just take it from her office? Hang on. Keep moving. Hold the phone. I think I might have just solved this mystery. Now, she might be able to wa We're watching you, scum. That's fine, I unlocked this door earlier. It's not a problem. But you should look the other way. Pro, uh, doo -ba -doo -ba -doo -ba -doo -ba -doo. where was, oh, it wasn't, it was the Pilgrim's Path. Damn it! Okay, the progress of truth will be around here somewhere. I will find it eventually. She won't suspect you at all if you steal after she mentions it. Right. So, plan is, get the progress of truth. And that is the first thing we will do tomorrow. Because it is past midnight, and it's past my bedtime. Ladies and gents, thank you very much for joining me. Tomorrow, we will play more Morrowind from 4 o'clock UK time onwards, because it's Sunday. What else are we going to do? Thank you for joining. I will see you beautiful people 4 o'clock tomorrow. And remember, if you are missing any of these streams, they are all being archived on Josh Strife Replays, which is pretty much a full re-upload of all of the old streams. So, take care, good night, 
and God bless.